All right, Mike Ticks here with Jason Sauer, and what do we got going on right now? We got a brand new season of Trek Shot Live, right? 2023. That's right. We're here at Spring Extreme with Blaine Williams. He has brought us all the way across the country to Yuba City. Not just once, but twice. We are back here again to show you guys what you missed last year, if you missed it. But I'll tell you what, Destination Derby 101, this place is beautiful. The grass is green, the fruit trees, or the nut trees, are yeah. starting to bloom out. You guys, this place is absolutely amazing. We talk about Destination Derbies, this is truly one of them, Jason. It certainly is. This is, a, this is my first time here, and I am just astounded by the beauty and the great space and venue that Blaine was able to help create for this demotion derby. And I hear there's mud bogs and mud trucks and tough trucks as well too. I've never seen those. So it's gonna be a great weekend for me. I'm excited. But you know what else is happening this weekend? The most wanted fine art class. I love it. You know what? Let's bring Blaine in here and ask him about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Blaine Williams. Yeah, yeah. little round of applause. They'll, they'll hear it at home. All right, so this guy came all the way out to New York to kind of absorb what demolition derby? What did you learn in New York? Uh, it was a great, it was a great learning experience. Um, I met a lot of great people, and I think that was probably one of the one of the biggest takeaways from from uh, my travels this year was the uh, willingness and the the uh, w whenever I was open and, and willing to learn from other folks, the the amount of knowledge that I was able to to draft from them, and it was it was great. Uh, I learned a lot as a promoter, um, learned a lot as a, a builder. And uh, I'm excited for, for 2023, and, and I'm uh, excited to have you guys back, for sure. That's wonderful. So you brought some tech guys here from Ohio. Correct. So, so again, at Mini Meltdown, uh, uh, and again, thank you guys for, for the invite out there. It was, a, it was a great learning experience, totally different uh, style than what we've got out here. And, uh, again, great to, great to see it. So, yes, we brought two, two of the great guys that we met out there, Dave Klein and Alex Steffens from uh, Full Sin Promotions. They were kind enough to come out and give us a hand uh, teching. They wanted to kind of see what we're doing over here on the on the West Coast, uh, how we operate, how we uh, how we put on our shows. And so it, they've they've been here for a few days now. They saw some of uh, Central California. They're moving on up and and uh, into Northern California. And they've been here for a couple of days helping us tech cars. So it's been great to have them. Great to have them. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, those are great guys. Who else here is uh, helping you out? Uh, so we've got uh, our, our standard tech crew. Is that who you're you're asking? Yeah, yeah. I want sure. to yeah, give so, a shout out to you. So, so we've got. I mean, we have an amazing team, and and we're a newer promoter, right? We're we're we don't we can't pay them what they're worth in our hearts, right? And so we're they're here uh, they're here day and night with us making this happen. We've got some great uh, derby techs, tough truck and mud bog techs, and then of course our our crews that that handle everything. Uh, our, our gals that are checking in at the table out there, they're, they're phenomenal, right? And that's something we pride ourselves on is our driver experience. When you show up as a driver, we're welcoming, the girls are welcoming. Uh, we, want, we want you, we want you to uh, show up and have fun, right? Our dirt crew, they've been out here, it's been raining for the last couple of days, and so we're, we're, we're making dirt get dry real quick, and, and they've done a, an amazing job doing that as well, so. Yeah, it's wonderful. Now I've seen that you have a lot of great sponsors that are helping you out here, and also I've been seeing you've been doing a great job on the social media, making videos. The youth class, the youth class. So huge, 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 huge. Super excited about that. So we've got, I think we've got four or five youth drivers, and so youth is a uh, you know we've all wanted to do it. Those of us that have kids, uh, we we wanted to see something like that out here it's it's great we've got four youth drivers it's a very very stock uh, 80 and newer chain style build mm -hmm. they have to have a co-pilot which is another new concept for us mm -hmm. uh, you know it's so it, it's different it's new we're trying it heck we're using nine wire out here now right so that's right. it's it's a little different for us there which I come to find out that's not you guys you guys all sold on nine wires being super easy to use and user friendly and it is not user friendly whatsoever. So anyways, it's it's a learning experience and we're having fun with it. How many years have you been doing this promoting? So I we've only been promoting for about four years, five years. This is our fifth year. Uh, we we have two smaller county fair events that we put on uh, the Yuba Setter Fair, which is here in June, and then the Butte County Fair in my hometown of Gridley, which is kind of how all this started, right? Um, and so this is a this is a platform that or or an opportunity for us to to show the more competitive side. We're we're trying to scale a larger event out here on the West Coast, um, but but the our fair events are you know they're more geared around fun, the competition, and and having fun with the family and. 
I think Gridley's probably one of the funnest derbies that that uh, in this area people just come to have a good time. We run one shots, we wreck everything, compacts, full size, motorhomes, all of it, right? So it's just oh, yeah. it's all it's all it's a just a good time. Can you explain to the viewers at home who are our demolition derby what is tough trucks? What is that? So, so that's something that I it, we're very excited about. We worked last year uh, with you guys a little bit on 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 uh, showing the rest of our, this event. So it's a two day event. The first day is demolition derby. Uh, this year we're running multiple classes, and then on Sunday we have a tough truck and mud bog event. So tough trucks is is uh, Jeep Cherokees all the way up to full competition trophy style trucks. Uh, we build jumps, so they they uh, timed course. They run a. a around the jumps and see who can who can beat the clock uh, our mud we we're more of a mud bog than a mud drag uh, we dig a, a nice long pit across the front of the grandstands and we fill it with water and and we've got some we've got some crazy <laughs> wicked wicked trucks that uh, show up and some cars actually that are you know blown alcohol paddle tire rigs that, that are going to make some mud fly on sunday so so i'm we're super excited for you guys to be out here and, and show the rest of the world that side of our of our uh, business as well well, Track Shot Live is definitely happy to be here at William Enterprises. Where can they find you on your social media? So, obviously, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram. I'm going to be famous one day like Sour here on TikTok. Uh, that's that's my retirement plan. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, you can visit our website, williamsentllc.com. So, the most important thing that, that I've missed so far is that we are proud, completely proud, to be the first, I believe, we're the first, one of the first, if not, promoters to bring the MWFA class to the West Coast. We want to we want to bring the next generation into this sport. We want to get folks that are that maybe don't have the tools or the money to invest in a in a full-size competitive car. We've got to get them bit by the bug and we've got to get them started in demolition derby. So we are trying our darndest out here uh, to get these folks involved and we've got some very excited first-time drivers. That's one of the okay, so Real quick stat, right? Mm -hmm. I think we have about 12 first-time participants that are getting in a demolition derby vehicle in a tough truck or mud bog vehicle for the first time ever at this event. So, for me, it's a success. And that's something I love. I love when you reach out into the community and you say, hey, we have something really great going on and we would like you to be a part of it. And you are very accommodating and you do such a good job of creating a space for first timers here. And so I thank you, Blaine. You're really, truly a great person. And Demolition Derby thanks you as well. Well, we've got we've got uh, quite a few guys that probably would disagree on the first part of that after tech today. <laughs> Between the last two days, there's, there's a few of them, but thank you very much. Yeah, we love you. So stick around all weekend. Track Shot Live is going to roll. We're in Yuba City, Northern California with Blaine Williams with the Spring Extreme 2023. And it's going to be a great show. So stick around for some hard hitting action. Yo. Hey, hang on a second here. Ready? Set? One, two, three, hit. Okay. Hey, let's get this figured out. Ready? Ah. All right. That's where it is. So here we go. This is what we're talking about. Good morning, Demolition Derby World. Right yeah. here. 2023, Yuba City, California, Spring Extreme, number two season that we've been here. Totally excited to be kicking off the 2023 season right here with you guys at home enjoying us 
right here in California, you guys. Um, absolutely stoked. I, I, Jason. Yes. I, like, we I'm had pumped. a blast. We were having a great time since we got off the airplane right here. California has been treating us fantastic, has they? They have been. They absolutely have been. And, you know, the thing of it is, is uh, I already got a message. It is morning here in California, you guys. Um, we are here at 1158. We are ready to have fun with you guys. Uh, kicking off the 2023 year. Um, we just have so much fun going on. Now, you guys got to understand our background's a little bit different than normally, right, Jason? Uh, it's a special one, I think. I think everyone knows what's happening here. Yeah, absolutely. If you don't know what's happening, uh, you need to climb out of that closet or get out from underneath that rock you've been underneath. Uh, uh, TSL is, uh, we had a major loss this year. Um, it's, it's one that you can't even explain. Uh, our hearts are broken, and we have a huge empty spot in the TSL family. It's devastating. It's devastating. We went to the funeral in Indiana. It just So our dear friend Bobby Brockway has passed away, and... He's the 76X that you'll see spray painted on some of these cars today. And if you're at the expo, you're going to see Fatty. He's giving you away some postcards and stuff. But we miss our man Bobby. We miss him so much. And uh, so we got to thank Anthony there from Cannonball uh, Derby Products for making the flag behind us. So we have a banner flying on both ends of the United States uh, today. We have one flying there at the Smith Metalworks Derby Expo with our man Fatty, Hog Barn Fatty. Yep, Hog Barn Fatty. So there. Bobby was supposed to go out to the expo with Fatty, and it was just a sudden loss to all of us. So sudden. Um, it was sudden to me. I hate to sound selfish, but I was supposed to go to Bobby's house that morning. That's so I was, had my alarm set for 3 a.m. I finally had scheduled something outside of Chicago where him and I got to spend the day together. And, like, Josh Decker called me at, like, 1 in the morning and, like, just – Broke my heart, like, right away, you know? Broken. There's no words to explain the loss or anything like that. But, uh, you know, all the support and love and everything that everybody gave out there in the Demolition Derby family, uh, we cannot thank you guys enough. I mean, uh, Bobby was not a best friend. He was family. He was he was the true description of family and everything like that. To the Brockway family, uh, you know, Big Bob, his father, um, we uh, our, our condolences are still out there for you guys. We love you guys. Uh, you will always be in our heart. Bobby will always be TSL through and through forever. Um, and this year, you're going to see him everywhere. And next year, you're going to see him everywhere. Yeah. People have asked, you know, who's replacing Bobby? No one. There is not anybody that can replace Bobby Brockway. He is the one and only backseat Bobby, Hammer and Hoosier, and it'll always be that way. Um, you know, so keep the love and prayer going out there because the family is still recovering from it, mm. and uh, we need that love out there. We got so many stories about Bob, so many experiences. He's made so many times memorable. He's been fired by Decker more times than you and I combined. <laughs> that's what makes him so good you know fatty's gonna run for that no new, new title of being fired the most but uh you know uh i think fatty was the one that was fired the quickest but uh yeah that besides that we're back here we're back with bobby brockway that's what we're talking about um you know there's no better way to start out the 2023 season rather than giving the love to to the the late bobby brockway um, you know, and, and uh, if you guys get the opportunity, you see his family around, you see uh, you get to tag a 76X on, on your car, uh, we absolutely appreciate it. Uh, all of the memorial shirts that were purchased by Bull, uh, Bull Shirts, thank you so much for stepping up and doing such a great job with us making that available and an opportunity like that. Uh, you guys, those shirts are going to go into production here and get shipped out here real quick. Uh, you, the family out there, did an amazing job. Bought uh, almost $10,000 worth of shirts, and all the proceeds of that is going to go to a memorial show. Somewhere in this nation, hopefully in Indiana, we're all working on it already, we're going to have a memorial show next season for Bobby Brockway in memory of him. That is uh, the one thing that his daughter Lexi asked of, and uh, we are gonna we are gonna do that. We are gonna make sure that's gonna happen as a family. We are all gonna come together. We're gonna make that happen. So, so the legacy of Bobby is never gone. I made you promise me you weren't gonna make me cry in the first five minutes, bro. My glasses are on, and it's uh, I I tell you, it's it's already choked. Um, yeah, I, that's my why socks, I, my socks are getting wet. Yeah, that's why I just keep talking so I don't just break down in total tears but uh well, you guys let's celebrate bob yeah let's celebrate let's. him like he was here with us we, we we miss him and we love him you know 
and it's it's uh it's one of those things that's never going to get easier you guys it's still it's still it's it's not even real in my life yet um so we're uh we're just doing everything we can to, to keep him alive and and keep him in our memories and and uh, let's let's keep doing that through and through and through so um you know I got uh, I, I got to give a big shout out. We got uh, Bobby Brockway took over a lot of the sponsorship stuff this year, he and did. and uh, you know uh, Fatty stepped in and took over where Bobby left it. And uh, to all these great uh, new sponsors that we picked up this year that are excited to be part of TSL, uh, you know, thank you for taking that time and spending it with Bobby and understanding and trying to get uh, things better and and all the way around and the promotional side and in sponsorship side. Uh, he really went out of his way. So Track Shot Live is free. This is what you're trying to say. Track Shot Live is free, but it's because of the sponsors that you see on the side of our screen. Without them, and today while we're here in Yuba City, without Williams Enterprises and his extreme, spring extreme, extreme destruction, without all those sponsors, they can't fly us across the country. They can't bring Bob here. Uh, uh, Bob. Bill. They <laughs> Bill. They can't bring I'm sorry. My, my brain is like, I hadn't switched over from Bob yet. Uh, you can't bring Bill here without the sponsors is what I'm trying to get at. So we're very thankful. We work very hard at cultivating relationships with 50, 60, 70 promoters, uh, parts manufacturers, people who are sympathetic to Demolition Derby. And, you know, we got a big yellow notebook that we write all these names and numbers down, and we, we do it really, really slowly. Like, But we, we, try to, we try to do the best we can to make sure – Everybody has their voice heard in Demolition Derby, especially the drivers. You're the ones that put on the show for us. Without you, the dr without the drivers, we're nothing. So we appreciate yeah. the drivers. We appreciate the sponsors and everyone else that takes the time out to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, absolutely, and that is the thing, and that's what I was trying to get at in, in a quick and easy way in Sour Hell Me, was Bobby took them sponsors to the next level. Uh, he put packages together. He did. He had a dream, and uh, we are going to follow that dream, and we're going to do it to the nth level that we possibly can in support of Bobby and memory of Bobby. So to all the all the sponsors out there, thank you so much for going to that next level with Bobby and doing that with TSL, and uh, it's not going away. We're going to be keep doing great and wonderful things, and, and I absolutely stoked. So let's... Uh, Let's just give a, a moment of silence here. We're going to quit talking. We're going to bow our heads, and we're going to honor that man, Bobby Brockway, the hammering Hoosier, the uh, 76X, the man, the myth. It's uh, backseat all the way. So let's just bow our heads and give Bobby just a moment of silence, please. Love you, Bobby. We love you. And everyone else who loves Bob, drop a drop something in, in the comments. Drop a 76X in the comments. Show a little love and support for your Demolition Derby family. That's it. I love you, buddy. All right. All right. We're good. Right. All right. Now suck it up. Come on. Let's go. We're going to go we back. we got Demolition to Derby to bring to the people. You know what? Um, Demolition Derby right here in Yuba City, California. Uh, Blaine Williams and group, they have got a dream, a passion, a drive here that uh, is, is totally amazing to bring you the excitement that California Demolition Derby drivers give to these people in the stands every time they go out on the track. You have such a diverse group of wild old cars, new cars, builds, everything of the sort, and you have all these people just putting it on. They are hard drivers. They are proud drivers. They are... They are they are entertainment. Oh, and for everyone out east, these cars are clean. Yeah, I'm telling you, clean, so so clean it probably hurts your feelings. <laughs> but it's beautiful what they're wrecking out here, and I love it. The, you know, you know me, I love the paint jobs. We're out here, and we see all the great paint jobs that are out here. Um, people supporting their families and friends, and uh, there's a lot of really great stuff happening in the pits. Uh, we've been here about day and a half now, yep. and. Uh, the pits are electric. There's things happening out there. There's a lot of friends going on. I see excavators out there smashing trunks down. I don't really know how what what's happening with that. That's more of a your expertise yeah, there, buddy. You know, they're creasing the stuff and everything like that. They didn't get to do a bunch of creasing beforehand, so they got to crease it in the pits a little bit. So they had the equipment out there doing their deal and and uh, getting some pre-bends on stuff. Um, you know, there's uh, there's some cars that got loaded uh, that they chose to load. They didn't. They, they chose not to alter their or correct their problems or situations of build. So um, there are a couple cars that got loaded. There are uh, a couple cars that did some pretty major changes. But uh, you know, Blaine, 
Blaine brought in some some guys from Ohio to help inspect mm -hmm. and um, you know kind of diversified the uh, the inspection crew just a tiny little bit and that was really good. It was uh, um, it was a unique change for out here for these guys. It is. There was a car last night, so there's a rule where the what was it the valve covers can't be past the firewall. Yep. So there was a car out there that had the valve covers too far back and the motors too far back in the car, and they managed to pull that move that motor. Yeah. That's yeah. impressive. No, they did. Uh, and there's there's a couple other ones that had similar same problems, but you know some of these Fords have got some crazy steering in them that that makes it a little bit harder to do that. You know, as a simplicity. So, um, you know, a couple cars had that situation, and you know what their goal is here, people, is for for people to travel and understand what the rules are truly are and so that what you're reading for a written rule is how it's inspected mm. so you know you have to honor a promoter like that 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 does that and sticks to that well blaine did something really unique by coming out and hanging out with us you know he came all yeah. the way out to uh new york to hang out with decker and he met some track officials there and that's who we brought out here was he wants to you know so i thought that was i thought that was really commendable for him to be like, listen, we've only been promoting for so long. I want to know what I don't know, and I want to help Northern California have, uh, you know, a more robust and better demolition derby scene. You know what I mean? I think that's really, I think that's great. That's he says he puts it all out there, Blaine. He puts it. There's not. He has nothing to hide. He puts it all out there, and uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta respect him and salute him for that. I know he's out there hunting down these sponsors, yeah. and uh, these butts are getting in the seats. Yep, they're starting to fill up. They're starting <laughs> to fill up behind <laughs> us, and uh, you know what else is behind us? A beer wagon. <laughs> I think Not I yet. smell that. I think I smell that. No, uh, <laughs> you know, one other thing that I want to give a huge shout-out to, to Blaine and crew is uh, this is the very first in California youth derby. He brought the youth to California um, he came out to the East Coast he's seen it he talked about it he tried figuring out how to do it and how to get the insurance and everything like that he has power wheels and he has youth out here so um, you know we had talked about that before that you know a lot of the demolition derby drivers out here in California are getting kind of old there's a huge gap in between drivers there's like a early early 20s early 30s you know drivers and then you've got 50 60 year old drivers um, you know there's a dead spot in there and you know uh, as these younger drivers start going up to fill that dead spot, there's nobody coming up behind them. So uh, Blaine and, and uh, the Spring Extreme here, these guys have figured out how to get them here. So that is absolutely uh, awesome that, that he struggled to make that happen. I think the youngest competitor today is 12, and the oldest is 70 in that Farmer's Brewery truck. Yes, yes, that's, I heard that last night. Mm -hmm. that, how cool is that? How yeah, cool is that? That's pretty cool. And I haven't seen some of these drivers since Vegas. No. And it was like, uh, they were like, remember Vegas? And well, of course. And so, you know, we high five. Like, it's been like the Wolfman. Like, I haven't seen Wolfman for, I think, probably since Blizzard Bash, you know? Yeah. And it's fun to see uh, for us who travel. Like, there's people who are driving 18 hours from Canada to bring their cars here. Yep, and they're super excited to be down here because of the changes that Blaine made. Uh, to figure out that, you know, the rules are, you know, it's how they're written, it's how they're inspected. So, uh, you know, congratulations to that forward moving on that. Uh, you know, and you sit there and you talk about Vegas and stuff like that. The last time you seen them, I had the privilege to be here at both shows last year. So uh, mm. that was, I was very lucky to be out here in Northern California to enjoy both shows and do that. So I got to see these guys last year. And it's like, uh, you know, Northern California, you treat us like family. We appreciate the heck out of that. I certainly do. You were holding court last night in the food hall, <laughs> as you do. Uh, <laughs> I love I love this guy. <laughs> like, I don't need. To, I know exactly where he's at. Where the food's at, I'll find my ticks. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to eat. Boy, I'll tell you what. So, so we're we're sitting here. We're trying to figure this out. That we want to bring something cool and unique to everybody across the country. That as we go to different parts of the country, we want to show you guys something different and unique as to why you should make this a destination place to come watch a demolition derby. So we went to Hot Guys Chicken Sandwich in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. um, Jason, you know, he, he's a tough guy. He's a badass. I'm going to have me a spicy chicken. And when this little girl looked at him and said, I don't think you can handle it. And uh, so she talked him off the ledge from the hottest one down to mild. And I'm sitting there. We're sitting at this beautiful picnic table out there. And uh, next thing I look over and Jason's forehead is sweating. He goes, boy, should I sure I'm happy I got mild. <laughs> it really was. It would be a 10 in Pittsburgh. 
but be full of chickens. So that as that's unique for me. I, I have city chickens, so like it's pretty rad that see all these chickens running around. I'm like, how do they survive? Like how do like Well the funniest thing is the story about the chickens is last year when Decker and I were here, I wanted Decker to pick up this little itty bitty cute chicken. Well, he didn't see the 18-inch chicken behind it, the rooster in the weeds that had a four-inch claw on the back of it. I wanted Decker to pick up that little baby chicken, and you know, so we get on Facebook Live, and uh, and I figured that that big old rooster would come out and start spurring the crap out of him. You know, I was totally willing to risk Decker for your guys' entertainment at home. So please do understand that it wasn't out of hate or anything like that. It was out of love and passion for our viewing crowd. I've never heard of this Decker character. Yeah, quitter. Oh, right, power wheels. Yes. I see some uh, homemade bumpers out there. Look, there's a pointy. There's an Amish pointy right there. There we go. Hey, you guys, as you're sitting there watching these uh, uh, sponsors click over on the right side, you know, we got to give Bill a round of applause at home for, uh, for, for making this new platform for this. This thing's just live and real. Uh, look at this multi-camera, multi. Look at this. Bill worked all off season to upgrade cameras, upgrade everything. That way we can be the best free live stream in the world. Oh God, absolutely. Bill takes it serious and we appreciate Bill. Without you, Bill Francis. Yeah, right there, Williams Concrete. You're gonna be up there at Red Bluff coming up here. Um, totally appreciate the, 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 the continued the continued support from uh, Northern California right here, so. But yeah, that's uh, you know all that worked out. So if if you get a chance, go on to these sponsors' web pages, you know, buy something from them, tell them that you appreciate what they're doing for the sport. Because if it wasn't for the great sponsors and the great uh, uh, support from all of them, we wouldn't be able to do what we're actually doing here. That's right, Track Shot Live. You know, I love it. I love being here with you, Michael Tix. I'm very thankful to help start. The 2023 season of Track Shot Live. Um, I'm, really pumped. I'm, I'm pumped, pumped that we're here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. pumped. It's this is uh, this is a blast. Mm -hmm. This is a blast. Now, you know, we talk about destination derbies and stuff. I mean, this is a destination for us because Tuesday, our families are flying in here to spend the rest of the week with us. So Jason Sauer has got uh, uh, got a magazine that we're going to do some interesting stuff with on Monday. And then uh, we're going to start traveling on down to an art opening on Friday in Coachella for Jason. And our families are coming in Tuesday, and we're going to spend the rest of the week through Easter right here with our families and enjoy California. So, you know, as we talk about destination and stuff like that, it truly isn't BS because we believe in it ourselves. We do. I'm hoping we make a a little quick stop at Troy Tag's house. Oh, that would drive be awesome. South to the Delaras. Hey, you know what? Talking about Troy Tag family, you know what? Uh, you know Troy Tag. We we have uh, friends and families that sponsor us and throw us a a, a fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. Troy Tag and his family threw out a great sponsorship. Uh, he was talking with Bobby about it and everything like that. So to the Tag family, right there, man. Peace and love to you guys. Um, we're absolutely stoked that you guys stepped up and believe in what we're doing to help us out the way that you have. Uh, uh, we love the Tag family uh, just through and through. I enjoy being out in California. I, I think it's fun. I like the West Coast. Um, you know, it's the edge of it's the edge of America. You know what I mean? It's you it can't go any more west. You know, until you you know, then you're gonna hit Hawaii, I suppose. But there's something in the air, in the style, in the vibe is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Is there's some of the way California carries itself, um, and I'm excited to hear about it and see these cars. I heard them just ripping through the grass. They are outrageous. And then two, Counting one. down the power wheels. Let's right derby. Here. Derby and is live right here. We are here. started. Oh, balloons are being smashed everywhere. Oh, there's the wheelies. Oh, we got a rollover. We got a rollover already. All ah, right. Way to hold on and ride that thing over. Yeah, you got your, it, buddy. Oh, yeah, you got it. ankles. Yep. I still have an ankle spur from my son blasting me with a power wheel. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll never, re I'll never recover from him blasting me in the ankle. This is the true future of Demolition Derby right here, folks. You know, cheer the kids on. Let them hear it at home. Let's make some noise for these guys. Look at the number 2X truck over there. Stars and stripes just looking real. Mm. Got some DEC headers sticking out of the hood, and you got stars and stripes. 2X just running her good. You know I love it. Oh, 
It's so cool. Things have changed in Power Wheels. Uh, you know, they're building stuff and putting, like, the headers coming out of here. They're putting the big batteries in it. They're doing what derby drivers do. They're boosting up these cars. And uh, these, ki these kids now can do wheelies in these things. Yeah. With a little John Deere tractor just ripping around out there. He's like, I'm a harvester. That's pretty cool. Look at them wheelies. Oh, they got a pile in the middle there. They're all stuck up in the middle. The batteries are saying we had enough. The California heat at 60 plus degrees right now. It is feeling absolutely beautiful right here. Uh, sun beating down on our back. Oh. We're having a great old time. I love it. I hope I get a sunburn today. It's going to be <laughs> great. Listen, it's snowing with your power out in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. We got six inches of nasty, heavy snow there that knocked down trees and took out power lines. So the family was without power for a little bit this morning. So everybody back in Minnesota in the upper Midwest that had that storm come through. Um, the other one, the other storms we're going to talk about is uh, the Coy family, you know, down there. They had some major damage down in Indiana. So from some tornadoes and strong line winds. So uh, thoughts and prayers to everybody out there that Mother Nature is throwing some dirty at them. So... Uh, we're thinking about you all and your right. safety and recovery from the, the storms. While we're thinking about thoughts and prayers, let's think about Skinny. Yeah, Skin Old Dog. Skin dog. Skin. We love him and we miss him. Yeah, he's he not he's not prayers. a quitter like Sal or like uh, Decker, but uh, you know he's just unhealthy right now. Yeah, so Skinny could use some of your thoughts and prayers as well. Send him a message. Let him know that you care, and we're hoping to see him back on the mic as soon as possible for certain. He's we've, got a, we've really taken a – like, something's happened to Track Shot Live. We're, we've had – are we getting old, Michael? I, I, we are definitely getting old. There's no doubt about it. Right there, you got the two sponsors at the bottom corner of your screen. Housing Gun Stepped On this year is one of the premier sponsors of Track Shot Live all season long. You're going to see great and wonderful things coming out of Housing Hub. And obviously, the continued uh, uh, um, sponsorship out of AB Cat Tech. Thank you so much, Brad, the Redmer family, and everybody at AB Cat Tech. But our two headline sponsors right there, we have some other great sponsors that are coming up. Uh, Jacob Prusman, 448 Design, with, uh, with the drone. Uh, that's going to be seeing, you're going to be seeing that. We uh, don't know how much drone we're going to be able to do right here because right on the other side of the trees is an airport. Um, it's kind yeah. of a tough one. Uh, um, we risked it last year a little bit, but I we, don't know. We got know. more eyes on us this year yeah. than we had last year. So you we're, know about rules. Rules rules suck. They do. God, I hate rules. It's like permits. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> our felon, our felon, Jason Sauer. Ah. <laughs> per, ah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. All right, Power Wheels went yeah. really well. They're winding it up. I can hear cars being started yes. out in the pits. Yes. So we have, we have our in-car camera. That is another thing that we're working on. New this year, Bill has done some awesome stuff with the in-car camera. Getting it, uh, getting it figured out and how to do different things and everything like that. So um, Bill has got, we've got it in, we got it in oh. Joshua Babb has got it in his car. So um, in that, uh, the, the, the in-car camera is uh, a great Devil Dog sponsorship this year. Nice. Uh, he stepped up and he said, you know, he goes, you know what, TSL, he goes, I want to do something great and awesome. And uh, he decided to step up and he was taking the track, sh track shot cam, uh, in-car camera action. So um, this in-car camera, Bill has got a system that is going to allow us to go live with it. You know, if we run into a hiccup or something with it, please understand, this is a work in progress. This is the first time we got to put it in there. We got it in a safety secured box that it's uh, strapped to the cage and everything like that. And I, I think I think we got to figure it out. It's, uh, it's a really nice system and Bill is like giddy like a 12 year old when he was oh, talking yeah, about it. Oh yeah, he's got so many new toys for this season. So, oh. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I, I got a drone for my son Rowdy. And I, <clears throat> And Bobby was the drone guy, so I, I need my son to learn how to do some drone for a track shot live, you know? Like, he's young. He can be the drone operator yeah. if we start getting older into this effort. Um, so what was easy for us this morning is, since we're on the West Coast, getting up at 5 <laughs> was no big deal because that's like 8 a.m. for where we're from. So we started the day, like, at dark, dark, dark 30, and uh, we, were, we started out pretty excited. I faded fast last night because I had that jet lag. I was like, oh, oh. my goodness. 
You at, probably saw my TikTok. I had to throw away a skateboard <laughs> uh, in the <laughs> airport trash can. Mike Tix promises me that we're going to get some skateboards after this Demotion Derby, and we're going to make Bill film us attempting to do skateboarding on Monday. So now you guys got to understand, Jason Sauer comes from, he used to be a pro snowboarder X rider. I mean, he he raced against Palmer, the old sipping a beer, crossing I the line. I lost to him every time. You know? I, and, uh, it's like derby. So, so the funny <laughs> thing is, we sit there and we talk about that. Well, you know, back in the day, my fat little butt, I used to ride vert and I used to ride street skate and I snowboarded myself. And, uh, you know, believe it or not, I, I, I wasn't I wasn't the best, but I mean, I knew how to do a kickflip. I knew how to gnaw. I mean, I had her. I had her down to the point of fun. So we're sitting there talking about fun little short skateboard clips that we used to watch as kids mm -hmm. and have fun with stuff and everything like that. Our idols. And it's like, you know what? We want to have some fun for you guys out there. So we're hoping to get some short films and show you guys what Destination California is all about. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, we want to make some videos of us messing around. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, oh. but of course we're all business here at Track Shot Live. Uh, you know, we we come in here, we got to help Bill set up, you know, and get this oh. get this show out for the people. Because I know people have been waiting since October. Hell yeah. To hear your voice, Mike Tix. No, hey, not you, you they, weren't they, at it, the October show, were you? No, I didn't get to make it out well, there. They've been we were waiting busy. since we September. Had yeah. That was early October. Early at October throwdown. at we Minnesota throwdown. throwdown, yes. I, I miss Buried Alive. But, uh, you know, one of those things are that we're sitting here, and it's like unique different things. So you guys remember, Track Shot Live is not just Demolition Derby. It's just pure entertainment of what the event is. So tomorrow, you guys are going to be able to watch Tough Trucks. A lot of people are asking, what are Tough Trucks? They're going to take this track, and they're going to make some jumps out there. It's kind of like auto across in the in the upper Midwest, but it's uh, we're, doing, we're doing the Tough Trucks here. And then they're going to dig a big hole and make a big mud bog. That's really cool. I like these alternative motorsports uh, mixed in with Demolition Derby to help, you know, build a crowd, build a fan base, build a transition fan base. Uh, I think that's great. I think what Blaine Williams is doing is wonderful. And, you know, maybe it doesn't, you know, for California, this works. And I think, I think. oh, tip the driver. What is this? Tip the driver, something totally different right here. Look at that. Bill, you got that right there, sir? Tip the driver. There, there we go. There you guys go. Take a look at that. Tip the driver. Yeah, take a shot. That's right. That's Madison right there. You remember seeing her from TikTok fame? There you go. Madison was having fun with Sour with TikTok yesterday, showing off the MWFA first time ever in California. Dude, yeah. My God, Sour, you guys, you guys understand that Sour had this dream to show that that if you put something together and you understand what it is, keep it honest, keep it fair, keep it clean, and keep it cheap, the nation will take it over and run with it. Who knew? Uh, uh, what seven shows last year, Sour? Seven. It started with one Iron City Nationals two and a half years ago. With TikTok famous Colin Ray, Shoke, T.Y., Gerardo from Mexico, we went all in thinking it would be a one-time only event. We would never have a Most Wanted class ever again. I, we flew them in from everywhere. We brought in celebrities, and we are like, well, that was cool. And then you're like, let me do that. <laughs> I then, want in. And then Toast is like, oh, let me do that. And I was like, okay. And before we knew it, Toast put a show up at every at every one of his events, River City Rampage all the way through to the Columbus show and further. And uh, people started messaging me, hey, how do I get in on this? Like, you know, so salute our man Steve Sayopa and Nick King for writing those rules that America really likes. <clears throat> Without them, I would never be able to write rules. You guys know that. All I knew was, listen, the Most Wanted Car Club had a Lincoln Town car. It had a Cadillac. It had an Explorer, and it had a Ranger. And we were like, how do we wreck those without building anything? I don't want to build anything. And like, they're like, we can do it. And we put that show together. So we're at like 38, 39 shows. And if you want to do that show at your fair or if you're a promoter that wants to do the Most Wanted class, go to my website, mostwantedfineart.com. Go ahead and pull the um, – you're going to see the rule sheet. It's, only, it's a single page. <clears throat> then just tell me that you're running it. I'll put you on the list, and I'll make you some trophy plaques, and uh, I'll mail them to you. And I thank you very much for believing in this. And the reason is we've been in the pits. I've been in the pits really heavy now for like eight years. You know, I'm doing 50, 
spots every every year. Like I'm counting like two weekends where we do things. Other. So what I've heard is I want the old days. I want to kick out the windows and go. I miss that. And I'm not taking anything away, nothing away from the extreme builders. I'm just saying that there was a moment in time, and it's happening right now, where we have 800 million cars that aren't being smashed because we're only smashing Crown Vics, Cadillacs, Camrys. You know what I mean? What about that Kia Sedona or that SX5 from Suzuki? Let's send it off in one glorious smash before it heads to the chipper in the sky. Oh, absolutely. You know, send it off and give it, give it a legacy to just crash. I mean. And we're learning things about these cars. So that the scientist in me loves to see cars bend. Like, and I know you, because you're a scientist builder, you, you, you pride yourself in your build. So you understand how cars bend along the way as they smash further and further along. So it's fun to see how an Astro van does against a town car. Yeah, What's absolutely. Fun? <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what the greatest part about it is? Is you never know because Demolition Derby is 80% luck to begin with. Mm -hmm. And truly, in that class, it's 95% luck. Because, you know, all it takes is one foolish thing to put you out. And uh, it's, it's just awesome to see what certain cars will do. I think the best put out ever was Kai knocking Decker out in Minnesota. Oh, my gosh. That was a good one. Decker thought he had it. Yes. He thought he had it. He left his nose exposed. Kai's like, I don't see a spray-painted car, and took it out. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, and the funny thing is, then Decker grabbed that Camry and went out there and just ran the rear of that Camry just wide open and just used it. You now, know? Now, Prusman won that in, like, a clatter and old 305 in a metric GM. Yep. That, he limped it. He didn't stay away from the action and managed to limp that thing right to the end. They bolted the place. bumper on at the track in the inspection line. Remember, that car didn't have a bumper on it. They yeah, bolted it had that to be thing bolted on. on. Yep, bone stock bumper bolted on in five minutes, and that's what it is. So you guys take a look at it. The most uh, most wanted fine art uh, stock class is unbelievable. Street stock, God, how do you say it? Yeah, street. I just call it the most wanted fine art. Class, the MWFA class. That's that's yeah. Uh, MWFA. Class. I tried adding too much to it to make. Well, it I mean, there, it cooler, used to be like know, the like street stock challenge, and it just like most want to find our such a long name. Had I known when I started my website in 1999, how many times I'd have to type that out and it's full. Uh, you would have shortened it up. I would have made it MWFA like right from the beginning. But like whatever, this is where we are. This is what we're living with, and uh, so uh, for those of you who do do social media, please follow us on TikTok. Mike Tix has a TikTok, Tixie51T, and I'm most one of fine art. Of course, you'll find Skinny. He runs the Track Shot Live TikTok as well. So Yeah. No, we got a lot of fun stuff going on this year. It's uh, These guys are trying to teach me how to do my social media just a little bit better and everything like that. So it's, uh, you know, please follow, subscribe, and, and have fun. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. And uh, it's uh, truly, we are here for you guys. I mean, it, it, it is the Derby family. As you've noticed, the Track Shot Live is, is we have went everything to family. So let's keep it going that way and keep all the great fun stuff going on because we got another kick-ass year of we nothing but do. awesome stuff We have stuff so many on. shows lined up for this season. And uh, so you won't see me again to the final eight or nine shows unless Tix manages to get me into somewhere else. So um, they got this, this is my derby jam right behind us, man. Yeah. They're cranking music in the grandstands, like bam, I love it, mm -hmm. you know? So it's kind of fun. We're watching everybody walk behind us and everything like that. It's like, you guys are seeing truly what the Demolition Derby is all about right here. You see the spectators, you see them having fun. You see them walking by with the corn dog, a beer, mm -hmm. lucky people. Um, but we'll have a couple of those tonight after we're all done. Um, you know, so we're super, super stoked about what's going on here. We got uh, we got some of Bill's family that stopped on by, you know, Bill's sister and, and, and nephew Sequoia. He's been an awesome hand, you know, putting uh, putting the, the live camera in the car and stuff like that. We're going to try to get in a couple more cars, but yeah, it's kind of a tough thing. There's the plane right there just it really flying is. by. Hey, uh, let's give a shout out to our man Fatty running a van provided by Clutch Mo Marls Motorsports. Yeah. He's out there at the expo running in the promoters versus vendors. What is he, a promoter or a vendor? Son of a biscuits and gravy. I got a, I, uh, I forgot to get our damn shirts to the tent. I looked at the tent. I was like, where are the shirts at? God dang it. I suck at I, this stuff. I can hold it down if you want to go. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. 
Decker, you you said that I had this. You lied to me. I don't I don't have any of this. Yeah, you have done so great, Michael. Shoot. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, anyways, uh, actually, Mike is the one that's going to be more disappointed in, in us. You know, he, we had a simple job to do, and I forgot to get the dang shirts over to the tent to sell. So, um, <laughs> oh. we got this, buddy. All right. Day's not over. All right. Oh, so, spring extreme. So this is really cool. They're getting ready to do the national anthem right here, and they have the legends right here. Um, you know, and they, uh, God, this announcer is awesome. Yeah. He is super, super good. He's going to take your job. I, I have nothing like this. <laughs> yeah. $10,000 to win is what it's going to be. That's what's going on here, you guys, in the stock class. Mm. They have three classes of 12, 10 to 12 cars in each one of the classes. They're taken to the feature. This is going to be awesome, just awesome. These old cars, these 70s cars. Oh, my goodness. No, he said seven and a mad dog. Seven and a mad dog come out of the heat going to the feature. Oh, that feature is going to be sick. Wow. Hell yes, we're ready. We are ready. Yes. I'm ready to use old Skinny's 321 Let's Derby. I am oh ready to goodness, send yes. it with my boy. Yes. We love. Oh, there we go. Excuse oh. us. We got the national anthem, folks.
Hey there. That is what we're talking about That's right there. The best damn song best I've song ever heard. Best song in the whole world, damn man. It. Yes, Thank I you. love it. Thank you so much to every one of our veterans that have given us oh. the opportunity to be here to do what we want to do in the freedom of our country. Thank you so much to the past, the present, and the future veterans that have given us this great opportunity. We stood for you. That's what we did. That's right. We had to uh, turn the audio off because we're always battling YouTube, taking our streams down for future watching pleasure when uh, we don't own the rights to some of the music. So Absolutely. So car number 31 coming in. The first one is Brian Holt out of Oakdale, California. The number 44 car coming in of Gary Moore out of Oakdale, California. The number 23 coming in of Jim Miller out of Calusa, California. Uh, looking for the 195, is that Sauer coming in? Can you help me out? 199? Uh, I don't see it until they turn yet. 199. 199 of Ryan uh, Pryak out of Armstrong, British Columbia, coming down from Canada. Thank you so much for making that travel and representing Canada, my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. The number seven of Aaron Hoffman from Dixon, California. Hoffman Fabrication, Mad Mike's Racing, Superior Auto Body. Here comes one of those painted cars. Look at this paint job. Number 35 coming in there is, is that a, yeah, it's a 35. Not seeing a 30, oh, there we go. 35, the 35 of good times. Isaac Fragazzo out of Woodland, California. Green Zone Recycling, uh, Kavari Brothers, Black Knight Tint, and Man Cave Barbershop. There we go, we've oh, got the we Bobby Maxi. Bobby Maxie. Brooklyn, Bobby are you yes. looking at this? Yes, Bill, yes! <laughs> All right, the number 66 car that just pulled in was the uh, Nick Sagava out of Dixon, California. The number 19 of Josh McClure out of Mariposa, California. And the number 61 car driven by, that is where the Bobby Brockway camera is, the Joshua Bab car, number 61, out of Caruthers, California, driving a 1960 Lincoln. He's got a home-built power plant in there. Don Berry Construction, Cruther's Full Gospel. He is driving for Jesus, the man. And he wants to thank his wife and kids and all the grandkids for letting him have the time to be able to do this. And today is his grandson's new birth of life from a bone marrow transplant. Congratulations, Beck Bear, on your new walk of health, my friend. That is who has got the backseat Bobby camera in there. So cool. That is the, the 61 of Joshua Babb, the number 13 down on the far end. I missed him coming in as I was talking about that. We don't have a 13 on here. There we go. We got a 13X of Lauren Chitwood II out of Roseville, California. The 104, 104 of Tim uh, Palacio, Palacios out of uh, Vecaoville, California. And that is your heat number one right there, folks. Heat number one, seven go to the feature is what we heard, plus a mad dog. Look at this old iron. Yes. I don't know. Is it just me excited, or have you got some excitement too, Dude, Sauer? I'm ready for some demolition derby. I'm ready for the backseat bobby cam. Yes. That made me tear up. I had to, like, like well, the wolf man giving us some props. Yes. Oh, look at this. Uh, the uh, op You call that the opera window or portal window, Lincolns? Yeah, opera window. Opera windows. That's the older style one. That's uh, that's awesome. 74, I think. Like I say, Ryan Pro, Pro Psych. I I'm botching his name. I Sorry about that. Out of Armstrong, B.C. What a travel down to make it happen running that Chevy. 18 hours. And there it is. Green flag. Right, here we, we go. are ready to wreck. 2023 season right here, Yuba City, California, taking off. Nice, here we go. Man, that number seven is a clean car. Ooh. Nice shot by the 66 coming right in. Oh, he went down to the ground, unfortunately. That driver is number 66. He's Nick. all the way underneath that car. I think once he gets released, 
Good Tim's car looks plenty straight. Whoa, look oh. at that! Bobby's up there! Wow! He drove all the way up the back of that car, Joshua did. Didn't do any damage. 99 and Nick coming all the way across the track right there. Oh, you got the back seat camera. There he goes, he's tracking it up. 61 coming across, nice shot right shot on that right front on wheel, wheel of 31. Number 34's got a beautiful looking car. He's staying out of the mix of things. There we go, there's the camera, Devil Dog transmission. Oh. There it is, folding up that rear, tighten that thing up on the Hoffman Fabrication 44 car. I'm not sure how to say Tim Palacios, his car, the 104, is just beautiful. Here it is right in front of our screen. He's got a duck on it. I like your car, Tim. You know, I love the American flag flying out there in number 66's car. That's Nick Segovia. We, we love the support, Nick. Love that in-car camera right there. Boy, that thing is crystal clear. Good job, Bill, on that. You got the right technology in there. Oh, they're turning it up. Well, that 66 car, his trunk got all folded down and in, but it's rolling up pretty nice. It might be able to save it. Whoa, 34 here we go. coming right into the back rear corner of that. Don't take the whole thing. Let's just pound one corner in. Look at that. That's Brian Schadinger from Arbuckle, California. Good shot, Brian. Still pushing. The Robert Bright out there looking pretty good. The 16JR car, trunk monkey. Nick's right there giving some love back to the 34 car. He says, I'm not taking it all. Here's a little bit to you. Uh-huh. I applaud all these welders out here. All these bumpers are still on. Yep. Whoa! Crowd was looking for a rollover there. That was Josh McClure that took that shot, but he's managed to get himself back out of the hole. Uh -oh, oh, number 34 stuck. Took that shot on That's the wheel Brian there. Schadinger. Come on, Brian. Get out of there. Maybe he's got a friend out there. Give him a hand. There you go. You got a buddy. Shout out to Kyle Schadinger helping out. Nope, might not get him out. There you go. Joshua's coming in. Is he going to take that oh, shot? Almost oh, almost a near rollover again. Our fan favorite 66 out there. That's a Nick Segovia. Oh, Nick! Took a shot in the rear wheel there. Lauren Chitwood's car is looking pretty solid in the 13X. That's the one yeah, right here in front of us with the rear kind of folding up. Oh, good shot! Right in front of us, the 16JR threw that one down there, nose to nose with the 28. That's Robert Bright. Brian Schadinger still stuck in the dirt over there. We red got flag red flag. There. Red, red flag. flag. That's so Joshua right Babb, he's got a front wheel. Right front wheel is broken, laid over on the side. He is struggling with that. That is our in-car camera right there. You know, he is driving for Jesus out there. That uh, That's a bummer. They got a lucky shot that came in and got that thing. That's our bobby cam. That Beautiful. car. Yep. Devil Dog Transmission, the, uh, they've been a great sponsor of ours for a couple years now, welcoming back, you know, having fun in the 20, 2023 season. Thank you so much for your continued support. All right, we are back We're live back in action, action again. Oh, he's out. He got a friend. Well, 44, come on, get out of there. 
What? Look at that go. He's going. He's trying. He's trying. What's that part hanging out underneath the front there? Is that an A-arm, Michael? Yeah, a lower A-arm tore off the front side of the frame, top side of the frame. That's not good. Makes it hard to steer. That makes it a, that is a no bueno. You're right. What kind of car is that 31? That's a beautiful Brian Holtz car. Is that a, That's a, is that a Galaxy? Galaxy. I'm trying. The trucks I can call all day. The cars, I don't get them. I don't get them. But it's solid. That car's holding up really well. The front end's straight. Really nice. These guys know how to work the rear end of that car and get it all folded up and in, locked in tight, beat the tin in tighter, and uh, just, just get them to a dirty, nasty position. Mm. Good shot on the front tire there by Gary Moore. Gary Moore's been doing some good driving in that 44. The 19 over there. Oh, oh buried. Barry got the Josh wheels. McClure. Oh, here oh. we go. That's a friend. That's a friend. There it is. Yeah. Whoa. But backseat Bobby coming in clutch there. Yep. Not to be outdone. There it is. Another shot. Give it Excellent. a nod. Excellent. With or yeah. without that wheel, I'm going to do some damage is what Turn Joshua was saying. Another one. Yeah. Oh, man, this is sweet. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dude, this is great. 13 came all the way across the track, put a shot on the 31 car, just oh, the rear tire. That's a good, oh, they are turning up. They are turning up there. the motors. Wheels are flying. I love it. Well, he's just, he don't care about the front end anymore. He was stuck for so long, he just is ready to smash his car. Let's go, Brian. Of course, the Good Times 35 car, always looking solid. That's Isaac Fragoso. There we go, backseat Bobby Cam. He's got moving Red flag. again, but he is buried in the middle, you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but he is just buried in the middle with that bad tire. It is folded underneath Dude. and he found a soft yes. spot. Then they don't stay stuck. They no. don't stay stuck. They got friends who help them out. That's no pretty cool. It. They keeps the action going. And they feel it too. They're like, I'm on the clock. I need to make an aggressive hit immediately when they get out of that hole. <laughs> you know, there you go. Hard. Joshua Babb just took the, the mad dog walking what? into the feature. Joshua Babb, congratulations. Once again, the man, he did a great job out there putting it on. Oh, yeah, here we go, backseat Bobby Cam. Making it yes. proud right there. Yes, there's the flag. yes, yes. yes. There it is. That is right so there. awesome. Joshua Bass driving that. the car seat. Oh. 1960 <laughs> Lincoln, home built mill. Look at that. The man is happy. He's it's flying dead. out. It's yes. a High five. Oh, yeah. Big shout out right there to <laughs> Don Berry con, uh, Construction uh, Cruthers. Full what kind gospel. of car is that? 1960 Lincoln. Dude. That and was uh, you so know cool. what? To the family back at home that allowed him to build that car and do that, to the wife and kids and all the grandkids, thank you so much for letting it do it because Joshua did what he said he was coming out for. He wanted that mad dog. And once again, today is his grandson's new birth of life after a bone marrow transplant. Congratulations, Beck Bear, uh, on your new walk of life, buddy. Congratulations on the health. <laughs> Dude, he's got the crowd pumped up. Everyone in that corner is yelling his name. There that it is. so cool. That's uh, how you get it done and take that walk to the feature right there. Go out there, put a show on for you guys at home, the crowd. Way to go, Spring Extreme. And we're back to the action. Plenty of cars still out here moving. Yeah, absolutely. Lauren Chitwood to second. I like that 13X. Yeah. That rear end's folding in really It really nice. is. It's looking pretty good. Switch that camera. Tell him no more of the backseat camera. All right. That's pretty cool to watch. We got some awesome action still going on out here. Hey, that backseat camera may not be giving you any action moving around, but that was still a good view right there on track scene. You're right. It's like having a camera on the track. Yeah. I, be, I love it. 
I think our 66 is finally done. Nick Segovia, he, he did a pretty good job. He got the front end of that car completely turned up. It looks really sweet. Um, hopefully he can come back out to the Concies and put on another show for us. Right there, there's our full track aerial camera over there. That's a nice view right there. It shows you the whole track, the good action, and see what's going on from corner to corner. I oh, the 28X over there is buried hard. He needs a friend over there, Kyle Schadinger. Yeah. Oh, there you go. 31 gave him some help. Got him out of there. Back up out of that hole. Don't drive back in there, Kyle. Yes. Our sick, uh, Robert, Robert Bright was pretty stuck. The 44 of Gary Moore over there looking really good. That was right in front of us there a second ago. Uh, Brian Schadinger's car is still looking really good in the 34. Man, this Galaxy looks tough. Oh, 44, yes! All the way across Whoa. the track saying hello to number 35. That's Gary Moore right into the good times car of Isaac Fergoso. Fergoso's losing that back rail of his car. Here comes 44 again. He's looking. He's looking for somebody. And he found him right there. It is. Nice. The 31, that old Galaxy over there coming around the back side, looking where he's going. Coming across on that 34, getting that wheel. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a bumper. It's seconds away from dropping off in the Fergoso car. We got to be getting close to the top seven here, Michael Tix. I was just counting. I think we got eight out there as well. I think I that think bumper's got to be gone now. That bumper's gone now. Come on, yep. red flag. They see that? Come on, let's oh, get yeah. a red, red flag. flag. Right in the middle red there. Flag. Red flag. Red flag. Pay attention to them flags, drivers. That's right. While we got this red flag, I want to salute you, everybody at home that's watching. If you could, check in. Leave a message. Leave a message for Bob. Um, salute the car club, most wanted car club. Here's what they do for us. They put on every single tablet, TV, every single device just so we get the numbers. That's what they do for us there in the basements of Pittsburgh. They put on all the devices. So we salute everyone else who helps us get that algorithm pushed up there. The SCO, that's what we're doing here. We want to be and continue to be and stay to be the number one. Yeah, that is the ticket right there. Travis Nivell's out there working on in Indiana, working on his stuff. Uh, thank you so much for all your guys' support out there. Appreciate the living heck out of it. There we go. We are taking, we are taking our tops right there. Right here, the here we are. We're done. Leaving. All right, so I'm okay. I'm gonna go with 34, Brian Schadinger, because he's moving. 13x. 13x. Lauren Chitwood to second. 35. That's Fergoso. Isaac. 31. Come on, Sauer. First day reading. Brian Holt. The 44. That is Gary Moore. Gary Moore put in the work in this heat. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, Gary. Salute to you. Nice. And it looks like 104. Tim. Palacios, 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 Tim Palacios. Good job, We're going to try to figure out the other. There looks like there is two what? more that we are missing what? somewhere. What do you want to do? The number yeah. 61. So let's get a knife. Make some noise for your we need a knife. We need a knife. Yes, yes. Hey, do you got a knife on you by any chance? Can we bottle it? Oh, I <laughs> No knife? All right. Just run, just run to their pit site. Somebody will have one. Yeah, grab the girl with the camera. She knows then, everything. Yep. And then we'll find out who we have. Number three, we got to find out. Sorry. Number three. That's a weird gathering. Bill's GoPro out of that car. We're moving and we're flowing. That's, that's what you get when it's live. Right? 
Absolutely. That Moving and flowing. That Dude, is what the backseat Bobby Cam has my heart in my chest. I can't yeah. stop yelling at you about well, it. I, I sit there. You got to watch the. You got to watch our screen, and then you want to watch the action. Then all of a sudden, it pops over, and you get all excited about it and everything like that. <clears throat> and it's just awesome action. It's just great, great support. You know. Yeah. You, then know? you, you see Bobby's face, and you're like, whoa. Look at this platform right here. What's going right. on, brother? Hell yeah. Man. Oh, Good yeah. See you, my man. Hey, you everybody doing? who's sending me messages, I really appreciate it. Check it out. If you're watching in a hot tub, send me messages. If you're, Where are you watching from? That's what I want to know, right? Yeah, what are you drinking? Send me that picture. Whatever you got going on. If you're at the expo, send me a picture of yourself at the expo. You know where I'm at. Send me pictures. You know I love it. And if you get a chance, go on there and comment. Send a little shout out to Bobby. Let him know he's loved. We love it. High five to the guys behind me. These guys roll. I made new friends. They're in the FBI. They won't tell me nothing. I got your first interview. Have some. All right, I got it. Come on in. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so we're just getting started. Can you tell Track Shot Live who you are? Dirty Dale Nelson. Dirty only, Dale Nelson. Only Otis Motor in California. Okay, hold on just a second. Let me get you a little better here. There it is. You go better? I'm good, I'm good. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so you're from California. Correct. You're a Track Shot Live sponsor. No, I, I run Otis Motors, who is a Track Shot Live sponsor. Nice. Yeah. Okay, well, tell me about it. Uh, so I met all through the Derby, Joe Lenke, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, his dad built me a motor, and I'm the only one in California that has one. And just like I was, like I was telling uh, you know, him a little bit ago, I mean, the, the, the friends you make in Derby, I mean, they're in Ohio. I'm in California. It's I beautiful, one, isn't it? Oh, no, look at you, you guys. I mean, this is, it's just beautiful. However he gets together, you become friends from people from all across you know, the nation. Yeah. Freaking awesome. Well, how'd you get into this? Uh, 16, I was 16 years old. I had a stepdad who did it, and I just... Uh, Fell in love with it immediately, getting dirty, not yeah. not getting in trouble in the streets, you know. Yeah. Staying at home, learning about cars. And yeah. Do you have a project coming out that uh, you want to tell everybody about? Uh, well, it's another derby, so I don't want to promote another derby, so we won't say that. But yeah, we, there's a bunch of shows coming up that we we enjoy. We're happy to have you guys here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Anytime we get you guys showings from you know from California, I mean, because California has been nothing for so long, we've been working hard to get it better. And that's what I've been hearing in the pits is Northern California is having a resurgence in demolition derby. California in general is having this wave of demolition derby that's happening. It's like it's being known from one corner to the other corner of America, and that's beautiful. That is really beautiful, you know? Oh, it's taken a lot of work. Uh, like I said, you know, we're helping doing a promotion in derby cars, and we've uh, been able to – talk to other motors and kind of make unified rules so in the off season you can build you know multiple cars and have them ready to go so you can actually get more derbies out of them instead of different rule sets and that's a tough thing for demotion derby builders because then you have to choose where you're going and you have to read the rules first decide what car is going to be needed for the rules that you think you can use you know and oh, that's yeah. I know that's difficult. I know that they're try they've tried it in Nebraska. They've tried it in Ohio. Like, getting unified rules, getting promoters all on the same page. But I think, from what I hear, it's the inspection of those rules. Yes, 100%. Like, people try to take advantage. Well, this is a gray rule, and, you know, it's all about, you know, if you want to get better, you have to, you have to all kind of realize, you know, ask questions, call the promoter. Hey, this is a kind of a gray area, but I don't want to come there and get kicked out. But, uh, right. Yeah, we, we've, California has learned a lot from different states as far as helping us uh, get better. Utah was a big, big part of that. I'm and, sure. Yeah, and then, uh, just, like I said, the friends you make from other states, they come and, you know, just it's just it's like a family. Like yeah. Vegas, when Vegas happened. Yep. Oh, man, we need Vegas back. That was just, to see that, walking down the street and you see everybody in derby shirts, it was. That was a magical oh. moment in the history of Demolition Derby, those oh. two, see, that two, oh. two times they did that. It was great. They're still doing it. They've got TV stuff. They still are, like, talking about that Vegas thing oh. as, as oh. if it happened yesterday. I, I hope it comes back soon. I'm, I'm ready to go again. <laughs> yeah, well, that track's not there. The stands aren't there. I changed my oil in the parking lot two years ago. Oh, here we go. Backseat Bobby Cam. Watch him pulling the car off the oh, track. That's Josh Babs right there. I've run with him for years. That's pretty he, that, guy, that guy will never let off. He, that, you couldn't have put a cam on a better car. 
<laughs> do you feel good about it? Do, do you think we did well? Oh, Josh. Oh, Josh. <coughs> what, what, you should put it on his truck. He has a truck here today, too. Nice. That guy, he, he gets Mad Dog everywhere he goes. He is he is a definition in California of Mad Dog. Josh Babs is the man for Mad Dog. That's wonderful. And we couldn't be happier that he would drove and perform for us for Track Shot Live, for the world to watch. Not just America, not just North America, but all the world. Because we have people watching in Germany, in Japan. You know, we can see the uh, we can see the list of where people crazy? are watching. Isn't that crazy? crazy? Isn't that crazy? And then they'll share it. It's in French, yeah, it's and I don't even know what it says. <laughs> but for the people who share it in France, I'm watching you, and I appreciate everything you do for us. Invite us out. We want to be a part of your show, too. Can you imagine that? I can. Oh, that would be I can. that would be a whole nother level. Hey, we're gonna go to Germany or France, like you said, and go to a derby. I I still have yet to get my passport. I've been talking about it for like eight <laughs> years. I got one like when I was a teenager once and I just never got one again. Uh i it's we're gonna have to get all that's a lot of that's a lot of logistics, but I think we can do it. I think it'd be great. Now um now, did you build a? Did you say you built a car that's out here? No, no, no. This year I didn't build. I ran this one last year. Uh, I, I run a lot of shows here in, in California and Utah, and yeah. uh, this year had some family things happen, so just couldn't just couldn't get it out here this year. For I this get one. it. But, nah, but uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be back next year definitely. I mean, it's a good, good, good show. Anytime you want to go, when you guys show up to any of our California shows, everybody wants to go. Everybody wants to. Like I said, I'm. Otis Motors. I'm, you know, right there. See on the screen, Otis Motors. Yep. That's my boy. That's my motors. That's can't say nothing about it. you guys. Want a motor? There it is. That's give, a good plug. Right, that's, a, that's a real good plug. I love it. Give Joey a call. Paul and now, Otis, uh, aka the Mad Scientist. Well, exactly. Why? Tell me why they should get an Otis motor. I used to run. Um, I don't want to throw anything in the bus. I used to run a motor I thought was great, and uh, you wanted to get out of the like somebody's coming at you. You want to move. Sometimes you have to throw a door. You know, you, have, you don't want to get your – those motors, you step on the gas, yeah. you're gone. I mean, nice. it's, you want to throw it somewhere, it's going to go somewhere. And then you think you have heat, they're going to heat because you have power. So you're going to have heat. No, they, 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 they stay cool. They run phenomenal. I've never – I cannot say enough about the motor that I got. I, I'm so thankful that, you know, Paul and Joey hooked me up. And, uh, yeah, I, just, I love my motor. I'll support it all day long. I wore the shirt. I'll wear it everywhere. That's wonderful. And they just have a website, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just I just saw it right now on the screen. I was like, oh, that's my guy. Nice. That's <laughs> awesome. I love it. I'm glad you could come up here and hang out with us. Now, um, what do you know about these tough trucks tomorrow? Do you know anything about this I at all? I do not know anything about this. Me neither. It's, I, it's, I'm, I'm trash. I I'm, just wreck cars. <laughs> I like <laughs> smashing nice things. I agree I'm with, with you. I'm with you on that. I, but so, yeah, I just, I'm like, I'm just picking people's ears. I'm like, what is happening? So I just... I saw some of them pulling the pits last night. They're, they look pretty, pretty intense. I saw them, but uh, yeah, they, I think I think you're going to be more impressed with the the trucks at Derby here because these guys. Oh they, my they, good! They just get it. They just starting it. them up in the barns this morning when they went out for the parade, like they're ready to eat. Oh, right in the barn. They're like, <laughs> it's it was be so nasty. cool. It's it, nasty. And I, yeah, truck heats are always just a little more crazy because I think you're just a little crazier of a driver. Um, I ran a Suburban once at Bash for Cash. It was fun. I had a great time. Um, and I don't know, have you ever ran a truck? I did. I got knocked out. <laughs> so I'm tell I'm saying all the things you already know, right? Oh, yeah. But I was, I was 23, 24, just first. Yeah, I got knocked out cold. I woke up. I, hey, is it over? No. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been asleep. <laughs> nice. Was it self-inflicted or someone catching up? Oh, I was corner. I was young. I'm just going to go crazy, not pay attention who's following you in, and you know you bounce your head off a steering wheel and crack your helmet, and mm -hmm. there you go. It is mm -hmm. on to the next one. But yeah, I can't wait. See, keep an eye on that '61 truck. I'm telling you, you're, you're about to, you're about to have a whole different view. You think he's crazy in a car? Wait, till you see him in a truck. And I'm, he he's hit me plenty of times. Trust me, he's cleaned my clock out a bunch. <laughs> nice. Now, uh, so you've been Derby in how many years? Uh, I started when I was 16. I'm 51. God, you're, you're a young 51. Well, thank my golly. God, you're my new favorite. <laughs> my goodness. They <laughs> yeah, no, 51 now. Uh, it, it gets rougher. I have uh, twin boys that like to help me, and I, I, I see them getting excited to help builds. And How old are they? 10. So my son's great. 11, so I get it. That's yeah, awesome. It's fun. nice to see them you know, excited about something you, li you love. And so beautiful. They're mad they're not here tonight. So watch, they're probably going to be watching and be super mad now. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. We're having fun.
Uh, I wasn't expecting the guy. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it happens. It happens. So my cars, they say dirty down the side. They call me Dirty Dale. Yeah. One of these days, I got to get you to... I got to get you to dirty up the side of my car. I would love to, and oh. I would be honored to. You know <laughs> oh, it. no. That's I always cool. said, I'm like, How okay. did you get the name Dirty Dale? Yeah, you allowed to say on air? No, 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 no. Okay. I was young. Okay, so you've had it a long time. I've had it a very long time. And plus, uh, you know, you use, I use 31, and Brian Holt uses 31, and we run all the same derbies. So everywhere we went, one of us had to put an X on the car or a D on the car. It got to the point where everybody kept saying, hey, Dirty Dale, Dirty. So I just said, I guess I'm number dirty now. So just had dirty on the side, like people in the pits. Call, dirty, dirty. They don't even call me by my name anymore. That's beautiful. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I mean, I think it's because most of the time, like, it's a number. NASCAR, you need a number. It's not a name. But in Derby, there's barely any rules. So you can be whatever you wanted to be. Yeah. I remember going through that phase where I was like a jack o lantern and I was a skull. And then I was most wanted and, like, all these things. So it's <clears throat> it's it's nice to hear uh, an evolution. You know what I mean? It's, it's growth, it, it, as our therapist would say. <laughs> I have a question for you. Have you done the uh, minivan derbies? I've been in a minivan a few times. How are they? That that is one thing that I get your bell rung. I'm just like, I would love. To, I mean, obviously California, they don't have we don't have many cars, nothing. But I've seen those and your guys' shows. And I'm just like that. Just for some reason, it's pulling me. It's pulling me. Uh, you're gonna find that it's exciting. It's because when they blast you, you get bla blasted. So when you're looking out the back, you're thinking, Wow, I'm in like a '70 Chevy wagon because all you see is <laughs> roof line. For about 22 feet of roof line when you're looking out the back. Now, what I like to do because I'm chubby is I just straight take that back door off. And then when I get in and out of the car, I just walk it through the back, <laughs> get in. And when I'm done, I walk back out the back. That way I don't have to climb over the door anymore, climb up over the hood. <laughs> and they absorb some good shots. I mean, or, or if you uh, take some hard shots. Like these cars, a lot of times you have to watch how you hit and where you hit. And I'm, I see those vans, and it seems like they just continue to go, and they just continue to go. The, the manufacturer has designed to keep the soccer mom safe at 70 miles per hour. And the Derby world is now just getting the taste of what soccer mom van. Like, I'm I'm done with midsize SUVs. I am ready for a soccer van. Like, it's, it's beautiful. And there's so much fun. So I've only ever got one win in my... I think this is my 30 years of Derby, and it was with a minivan built by Steven Sickles. So I've never had a first. I've never really made it out of a heat too many times in my life because I go against really, really tough competitors. But the van, you're going to get licked. I was in Minnesota in uh, Track Shot Live versus the World, and they flew in this guy from New York, this old timer, and he took me out. <laughs> like, I thought, okay, like the van was, was just moving. You're a moving. target, definitely. It was just moving. It was just moving. I'm like, well, I'm not done. I'm not done if it's just moving. He hit me so hard, and I was like, now I'm done. <laughs> now I'm done. That was, I don't need to be, a, I was the last one left when Track Shot Live versus the World. So it was like six vans. And just Jason and I, and he come through. It was like days of thunder. There was the smoke, and I was just like, <laughs> with my hands like this. I'm like, <laughs> my foot's on the gas, just like dun, 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 dun. And the car, I was like, I didn't even touch the steering wheel because it's like it's not going anywhere. But I'm not going to quit on my friends. I'm like, I got you guys. I can still do it. Six on one and a van that isn't moving. Whack! Oh my goodness, it is so intense. I think you'll enjoy it. One but day, one day, I'm do. If it was do here. be prepared that. Yeah, and I, you can lay the hits too, not I, just I don't, absorb I don't them. shy away from violence. I'm good with it. Nice. <laughs> it's a I was one time in a minivan in Florida, and Florida uh, would let one-ton vans in the minivan class. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So I got hit by a one-ton passenger van that I thought for sure that van was coming in all the way to my seat. And that was probably one of the most wicked shots I ever took. I survived it. It blew the dash and put it right in my lap. Like, just blew the whole dash apart. Like, the radio in the back seat, <laughs> dash on my lap. Did the airbags go off? Uh, they already had them pulled out. Okay. I've seen some, and I'm like, did that airbag just go off? No, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, the most wanted class ends up having a lot of airbags because people just don't bother taking them out. And because these cars are so new, people don't realize that there's airbags in the seats. So they'll have... And those are the ones that hurt the most, are the seat airbags. Oh, really? Yeah, they come, they blast out like this, a curtain. And they take your elbow and punch you right in the mouth. Yo! We're on, uh, we're on TikTok. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> I, I, I've been trying to get a thousand followers. I want to put a, my phone inside of a car and go live on TikTok. You should. That, that would be freaking awesome. You should. Duct I only tape. have 400. I, I need a thousand to go live. But all right, what's your handle? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> how are you gonna? T- how are you gonna do a thousand? Oh, leave me my phone. Yeah, yeah dig it up. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm just like I was laughing. I was like, man, I, how fun would it be though to put a ca- your phone live when somebody can wa- just watch it? Mm-hmm. I mean, all those people, the, the view that we they have, we have. So I once went to the Motorola site. Motorola has cheap phones, like seventy five bucks. And we bought a Motorola phone and duct taped it in a car. Oh. Went live from Facebook in it. Oh, it's at, it's at Dirty Thirty One. <laughs> Dirty Thirty One at. <laughs> D I R T Y three one oh, dirty thirty one. Hilarious. I didn't even know my screen name. <laughs> there it is. That way, let's get you up to a thousand so you can go live later later today. Oh, well, man, I'll have to duct tape that sucker to somebody's car. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You got a case on that phone? Go for it. All that thing's so old. It, it, if it's broken, it'd be an honor to actually get a new one. The key is don't duct tape over where you need to press start. Oh, right. that's <laughs> always leave a little so you can press go. Hey, have you ever run an Imperial? No. But, so, but I have one, but I've never built it. So out here in California, we ran them for years, and they were really pretty much rust-free. So when you're talking about, you know, getting your clock clean and stuff, these these Imperials, they finally just banned a lot of them. Like uh, the last show we actually had a couple years, they finally banned pretty much all of them. But we'd go to shows, and it was 40 Imperials. Everybody, you got Headhunters, you got the 61, 62, 65s. Oh, built. And uh, oh, we're about to uh, launch the drone. When you want to talk about getting your clock clean, when you have an imperial, yeah, hit you. Whew, I bet that's a. They're, they're fun. I've seen them skip across the track. They're so solid. You know, there's like they're, they're just like toot, 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 When toot. you hit sparks, nice. I remember, I remember looking out the back and you hit boom and just sparks come in and you're like, man, I hope I don't have a fuel leak. That's gonna be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill, send that drone off. Bill's just trying out all of his new toys today. Hey, you're friends with uh, Skinny, right? I am. I, I'm sorry, not Skinny, uh, Fatty. Yeah. Why do they call him Fatty? He is not fat. Uh, I think it's the same way with the dirty. I was like, well, they can call me Harry. I'm bald. I mean. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's the I think it's the same. I think it's a story that you're only allowed to hear at a campfire. I always laugh. I'm like, why do they call him Fatty? He ain't fat. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I, I don't think we can say it. Or at least hey. what I'm told is absolutely inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's d- Derby World stuff, you know. It is. So we're going to wish him luck today. He's out there in a Clutch Marl's Motorsports van that uh, Clutch built for Fatty and uh, in honor of Bobby out there. They're running at the Expo. And so that's why I keep talking about. For those of you who don't know, uh, in Ohio is the Smith Metalworks Demolition Derby Expo. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. Um, that's what Casey's trying to do at Smith Metalworks is he's trying to create these expos. He's trying to get the promoters on the same page where we can start treating this like, I don't want to say NASCAR, but we can start treating it like NASCAR where there's more organization and more collaboration. And if we, you know, I'm not sure what the end goal is, but I think, I think the idea is like, can we bring an expo out here? We can bring all the parts and we'll have promoters all agree that, you know, these manufactured bumpers are legal in lieu of chrome bumpers or something. The oh, stuff, here we go. The stuff that Smith Metalworks has done for Derby World has been amazing. All right. We're 6E pulling in on the track. That's Doug Emery from Butte City. 152 is Alex Woolez from Auburn, California. 17X. That's Moose. Moose. That's Mike Kett. That's a big boy. That's why they call him Moose. You can say it. He's big. He is big. <laughs> I got to paint the side of his car. Number 26 is Jason Hefley from Sacramento. Ah, local. Sergio. 886 is Sergio Ramirez, who's got the tra- he's got the Bobby Brockway mural and painted on his car. Number 38 is Dom Campos. Dixon, Cal- now you go against all these drivers, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so you know everybody here. And yeah. then it's our buddy Mark Hare, number 77. He's going to be coming in here in just a second. He's actually a florist. He is a florist. And he's a florist. Him and I share stickers together. We're artists. Good dude right there. Very, very nice guy. 
Yeah, it's, I'm happy to call him a friend. So we did a uh, tribute to his father paint job who passed away from, uh, he was from North Dakota. Who was that, the yellow car? What, what was that number? 007. 007 is David Aggie from River Falls Mills, California. Tixie's back. Tixie is back. Oh, what's this coming in? That is a 59 that? Lincoln, I think. 59 Lincoln, who is that? Uh, no, that's not a 59 Lincoln. Yeah, maybe it is. I can't tell. Nine. You're gonna have two of them coming in uh, the third heat anyway. Who is that in the Lincoln? Is that a 59? That is Brian Silver. Silveria. Silveria. Silvera? Silvera. And then the camo car is who? Oh, he's from Monte Carlo. Uh, I couldn't see when it came in. 75 is PJ Millsaps from Willows, California. Number 11 is Ken Dreska from Dixon, California. Hey, thank you Good so much. Uh, you entertained Dixon. Track Shot Live. It was great. <laughs> Good seeing you, my buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming up and enjoying. Number 20X, that's Joseph Echart, Echart from Esparto, Esparto, California. So I, I, I haven't I been able to check out. I believe that's a Monte Carlo with the camo. I unable yes. to see the number on it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a tough one. Seventy something. No, that's. No, I already called that. Mike Kett, 17X. I believe I already called that. Yeah, he's right here. It's hard. We got 107 pulling in. 107, Cal Moorhead from Sutter, California. How about a 20X over there on the far end? 20X, that's Joseph Etchart. There we go. You got to get him out there so at least he can qualify for yep. the Ponzi, right? Give him a shot. Got to have, got to have four wheels on the track. That's Jason Heffley getting pushed out there, right? That's 26. Yep. We're going to go with Zach Canadas from 88 Doodle is what I'm going to guess is Orland, California, the camo car. All right, we're ready for heat race number two. Maybe this time I'll remember to count it down in honor of our man Skinny. Well, that's all right. Every once in a while we screw up. Well, I'm so pumped. Try, try to hit all my marks. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's Let derby. Yeah, skin dog. All right, we're kind of feeling each other out right here. Seeing how the track feels. The old X75 out there, the old Mopar for Decker. That's uh, that's a pumper right there. At 59, that's what an old Lincoln or something. 59 Lincoln, right? It's over there. I'm not sure what that is. Old Ford. Mercury. I can't tell the difference between them when they're like that. I hear something out there with the motor already got a little. Yeah, that's a Doodle 88 in the camo car. Overcut. Oh, good shot by the 107. Kyle Moore. Wow, oh, what a shot at the far end. The X75 put on the 007. David, he did not see that coming. Then they come over and they get the 17X of Moose. Put him up on his side, dug him in that hole. Come on, get out of there. Got to get out of there, Moose. Hair coming around in the 77 tribute car. We're watching Sergio out here. Sergio says he's coming out with a new idea and a new style. He says he's been working for five years as a demolition derby driver. And uh, he's been learning every time. Nice shot! By David Agee. David out there in that yellow 007. He's out there trying to get a mad dog. Oh, uh, you know what? David told us how to pronounce his name properly last night, too, and we were botching that. Full track shot across the back. David's coming around. 007 right in there again. Oh, good wheel shot. 
Managed to turn right into it. Moose still stuck over there. Here we go, he's coming in. Somebody's gonna get some. There it is. Oh, right crowd loves the it. The 20X didn't see that one coming. He's getting out of the way. Dave got his wheel knocked right over clean. Oh, lifting wheels. Here we go. Uh oh, is Mark gonna get it? Nope. Ooh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now that that's flag that thing. I think he's it. getting that mad dog. Let's. I think that's my opinion. I think the 007 is it. They're pulling him over there. Looks like they're taking him. Is Good job, David. That? There it is. Yeah, crowd. There it is. He number loves two. It. There it is, 007 taking that mad dog. That's beautiful. He is one of the legends of Derby. He stood out there as a legend. Nice. That's really good. Shaking hands, high fiving, good driving. It is ten thousand dollars to win. Ten, ten grand to win here. Oh my! Ten goodness. grand to win. It's worth the drive there, America. Yes, yes, worth it is. Worth the drive. Can you build a Cadillac? <laughs> can what can you build? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Sergio hard on the gas. Got a rear flat spinning inside of his tire. But he's still getting some grip before he sheds that thing. Six, he is just looking so good. That's Doug Emery's car. Look how clean this car is right here in front of our camera. And not hard on the gas. Oh, good shot. Perfect wheel shot by Emery right there. Oh, got all the way into his radiator. 152 of Alex Wallows Ox. Yeah. Wallows. Wallows? What I'm going with. Oh, no. Oh, He's he up got on there. Sergio, Sergio. Sergio got him up on that tire. He did. I do not think he's going to get off of that he's one. He's going to need some friends. Yep. Sergio's friends. blowing water out there, but that car's still running nice and strong. Yeah, well, he made it all the way to the radiator. Emery's oh. over there. Doug's coming over to get him. He better look out. Sergio's coming. Sergio's got him. Oh, yep. Sergio. What's up, buddy? A little, a little gentleman tip the hat. Sorry. Sorry. Wasn't that hard of a shot. We're okay. Emery's like, I'm out of here. I don't want to tangle Sergio no more. Well, Emery wants to get him off that wall over there, but Sergio's not going to give him the open space. He's not going to give him a breathing room to get that shot to get him out of there. I think he's lost steering too, our man. He really is blocking him, and he's he's letting his car get eat, eaten up by it. Sergio's got stiff steering on that car. He is fighting it with and that he's flat about to tire. Get shot again. He's about to get packed into the corner here. Oh, there it is. There, the back, even they evened up the door shots. Yep. <laughs> the right, oh my goodness! Still riding them in that old car, Doug Silveria. Wow, that was a good shot. While we're busy talking about Sergio, he come in there and put a licking on red flag. Red flag. I think we're I think down, down to our seven. seven. I think we got I it think now. We counted out on the wall is what happened. Oh, Sergio's like, yo, you're you're trashing my car. <laughs> I think he just knocked his wheel off on that shot. He's going to 59. Pay attention to the flags. My goodness. Here comes the Ohio guys to have a little conversation about how we're doing out here, okay? I wonder what they're talking about there. What's that, what's that smell? That's something new for me. Is that smell that? Napalm in the morning. Is that what that is? Is that tranny fluid burning? What is that? I don't know for sure. That's an odd know, that's, one. That's an odd smell. I'm, 
I think must probably something in a cooling system. So, yeah, I'm trying to explain smells to you while you guys are listening. That way you can <laughs> smell the derby. Let me explain what the derby smells like in California. <laughs> I know we got... Whoa, what happened? 20X. 20X is out of the car as well. They're radioing here. They're talking about something. The 59 car was spoken to down here at the far end of the track on the last red flag. He was driving around, squaring up a little bit, and I wonder, I wonder what they're talking about there. Maybe giving him a final warning, like you know, let's let's pay attention to this. You know, Blaine said in the driver's meeting that he's going to be very adamant about 60 seconds to make an aggressive hit, you know, an aggressive hit. So, um, you know, it kind of would be interesting to see how they go about that. There we go. We got green flags all the way around, right, well, and we're we back. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we're like at five cars. Well, we're waiting for 159 to be counted out is what we're doing. Wow, look how clean that car is. That's Doug Emery's car. Now we've done it. He broke off his stick. All right, we're taking the top seven. All right, so I'm going to just start guessing. 6C, e, Doug Emery. Uh, 886, Sergio Ramirez. Did, did Hare make it? Yep. Right, Mark our florist. The artist with flowers. 007, of course, made it. That's Doug Agee, legend. I'm sure my phone is blasting off about how to pronounce names. I haven't looked at it yet. That was a good heat. Yeah, it was. That was good heat. I like watching these cars bend. A lot of junk out there. But it all looks repairable. Right now, it looks like a bunch of tires. Lots of wheels and tires. Hopefully, Moose can come out in a consolation round. Oop, my bad. Oop, my bad. <laughs> Well, here, I can put it up on top, Sauer. Sauer's uh, dragging have, my cord, I, I my have, cord against me. He's choking me out. There we go. <sighs> Boy, that sun feels good here in Northern California. Let me oh tell you. Oh my ya. gosh, it is warm. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to wear my skinny salvage uh, beanie, but uh, as, as I feel pretty good. I'm ear hustling behind us. <laughs> so again, Track Shot Live is free. Free 99 to everybody in the world because of our great sponsors. We bring Demotion Derby free to you because Bobby Brockway worked so hard and tirelessly to get us sponsors to make sure that we continue being free. Yeah. Free to the people. Yes. Free 99, free. Can't say it enough, but because of that, we have to tell you about sponsors. Absolutely, but it's still free. And we love our sponsors, so I want to talk about them anyway. Absolutely. How about that last interview that you had up here? You know, uh, you know, Otis Motors all the way out here in California of getting representation out here. Uh, it's totally awesome. Uh, Joey and, and family, they jumped on with Otis Motors, jumped on in a $500 sponsor this year. Uh, you'll watch them come through the clicks on the reels, and uh, super, super excited. Thanks, Joey, for jumping on and uh, believing in track shot and wanting to put your name on it. Nice. And we have room for more sponsors, don't we? We always have room for more sponsors. We always have room for bigger sponsors, better sponsors. There's room for everybody. It doesn't matter. I mean, we actually have our friends and family list that's starting. 
Um, Bill did not get a chance to get that stuff all squared away, but we have a friends and family reel. We've got people that are just sending us just 50 bucks just saying, here, do something awesome. We appreciate what you guys are doing. So A to Z right there. Wearing the swag, appreciate the heck out of that. We had a great video with those guys at Capital City, uh, right there down out of Iowa. Alex, Alex Vasco right there, all for him racing. We're missing him. He brings another great entertainment value to all of our shows. Brian's Machine Shop, nice new sponsor this year. They're having fun with us. Bull t-shirts, everybody knows Bull. Take a look at what they got shaking. Cannonball Derby parts. The one and only, the battlers between Indy CNC, the TikTok masters, Siopa Nation. Mm -hmm. What we got going on is some podcasts, too. We got Revved Up Garage Cast. Yes. Cash on the Hood. We got out here, uh, Andrew Ryan. Yeah. Podcast. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We enjoy uh, listening to that. Demotion Derby World loves it. You know, so you guys, you have stuff to look up in between these things. You got TikToks to look up. Michael Tix is on TikTok. <laughs> I got to right. figure it out. I'm learning Tixie it while I'm here. T-I-X-Y 51T. So if you know his number, it's 51T. You can blow that up for him. He hasn't even got a picture of him on it yet. It's just a green circle. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. HLK there out at uh, the Smith Metalworks Derby uh, Expo. Housing Hub, one of the headline sponsors this year, stepping up and doing great and wonderful things with us right there. The TikTok Housing fans. Hub is out of, you, uh, out of your neighborhood. Yes, it is. It's a Minnesota company, Minnesota-based. Uh, Jeffy Showman doing it, doing it, doing it. K-Mac Hauling. That's uh, an East Coast company right there that just loves what's going on. Lanou Auto Parts, Minnesota right there. Randy Lanou, one of the oldest drivers up there. MWFA Street Stock Class. I like the rivalry between Indy CNC and Cannonball. Yeah, NLR, you know, the absolute superstore. There's Otis right there. Yeah. I like the I like that. Autonomous tow auto and towing, uh Southern Minnesota company there. They're a great group of guys. Pinnacle team. This is a great realty company based all across the country. The home base is up there in Minnesota is the guy. Revved up podcast right there. Jason, you're talking about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm passing out stickers. Skin dog. Love you, homie. Prayers up, bro. L last little bit there. We'll smash it. All right, here we are. The replay. Replay, Kim. Listen, without Bill Francis, I'm telling you, we love Bill Francis. He's the guy. How about uh, his sister's doing great, amazing things here, helping us out too. Got, at you Anderson. Know, yeah. At, oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, um, Sequoia is running around getting that camera changed around and everything like that. We absolutely appreciate, you know, the Francis family doing great and wonderful things uh, to bring you guys great entertainment like that 007 car did you guys in that last heat. The legend. The legend. legend. You, th oh. you once did something legendary. You gave the opening speech at the uh, Demolition Derby Museum, didn't you? Not the museum. Wasn't there a Demolition no. Derby Museum that you did it, uh, in Kansas? We did it at, uh, at, at Bash for Cash. I did the opening speech for Bobby. No, I'm a loser. That. I, I, what's that? I thought, you'd, I thought there was a Demolition Derby Museum and you once did There is in Nebraska. I thought you yeah, there's a Nebraska you. figure eight and demo derby. No, I'm not cool enough for that. That you thing know. that you did for Bobby at, uh, was it Capital Carnage? Yep, Capital. It was really beautiful. Now, if you know us, we pass, oh, look at this shot. Oh, these replays are great. So, you know we pass out stickers in the pits, and we give out stickers because that's like our jam. I was like, we were at the funeral for Bobby, and I just saw you over there. My, my goal was just make sure you had a beer in your hand and stickers in your pocket. And then I had to run home early because, you know, life. And I, I only got to do the first day of the funeral. So the second day of the funeral, I'm watching the live stream. And then when you see it, Mike Tix comes right out of the crowd and slaps a TSL sticker right on the casket. My heart just went into my chest. Like, we're bros to the end, man. Yeah. We are it. It's, and we appreciate everybody here that's going on the ride with us. We're doing it all together. We're bringing you with us. Absolutely, you know? and when you get that action cam like that, the instant replays, that is so cool what Bill is doing right there. It's, uh, that's, it's, God, he does some fun stuff with this stuff. We thank him so much for it. Oh, yeah, he had to drone out earlier while you were off working because you were trying to get the GoPro out of the car. You're doing more than just being beautiful. Yeah, and I forgot the damn T-shirts. I got I those saw there. I got the T-shirts. We raced okay. on over there. 
If De- uh, Decker shouldn't be watching, Decker should be in his boat right now sailing off. <laughs> sail away, sail away. Sail away, Decker. <laughs> so he won't know that you missed the T-shirt sales for an hour. Yeah. Well, so one of these things is, like, I get our backdrop isn't as cool as what it normally is, but you're seeing the crowd back there. You're seeing everybody behind us. We're having fun. Um, they shortened up the track. Decker and I sat down below the wall here, and we had, like, last year we had, like, 20 feet between us and the, the the cars. And it's a small dirt berm. There ain't much there to keep them back. So they backfilled some tires and stuff like that. And I'll be honest, to put to put the put us down there where we were to have the backdrop that we had last year, uh, that was no bueno. I was okay. not being part of that. I did not want to risk sour. I mean I I um, I would have just sat and rolled the damage out. I mean me between no, I, a car and a wall. Well, it's a new season. Let's try new things. Why not yeah. try this where the crowd is walking behind us? Right? And I got to say, everybody's been pretty good back there. We haven't seen it, them kids, of course. And then I say something, and then there's some knucklehead kids that walk back there and want to be part of it. Right? No, that's awesome. We love I, the kids. I, I love it. Uh, yeah, because what is we would be blocking the view of the butts and seats. Yep, yep. We, we so. don't want that. We want people to uh, experience Bobby. And, uh, oh, there's a parent. Oh, the kids, the kids just went and found the cam. They were over there looking at the video. They went out in the field, and they found the damage cam, the, the backseat bobby cam. Nice. Oh, that's great. That's great. Hey, you guys, we've got uh, – don't forget to take a look at our schedule. It is up on TrackShot Live on Facebook, and take a look at that and see where we're going to be. I mean, we're back here in California. We got uh, we got some new shows. We got uh, Moss in Wisconsin. We're going to be in Wisconsin this year, so we're clicking off another one. That's a crazy four days. Linden, Washington, two days. Yes. And Badger State beatdown. Yes. The next two days. Like, yeah, like, one day. One day. Okay, bam. One day. It's bam. You're in Washington for two days. You're kicking butt over there at the state of Washington. You guys fly back and race right over there. Um, you know, we're getting that all organized and finalized up and everything like that. It's going to be amazing. Moston, Wisconsin, we're going to be over there the following weekend. Um, it's it, We're going to have a crazy wild situation right there, but it's going to be so cool. And then the end of the year is just Bam, 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 bam. Oh. It's like it's got Buried Alive. It's got San Filippo. It's got Minnesota Throwdown. It's got the great Stoneboro Fair. Oh. I did it, Stoneboro. I brought Track Shot Live back to the Stoneboro Fair. They've been begging for it at Quillen's Cafe. They want it back, and I'm bringing it big time. That's huge. I mean, I was there the day that Sauer got that finalized, and I, he was giddy, man. He couldn't sit still. He was bouncing. He had nervous leg situation going on. <laughs> it was so cool. It was fun to see that. And it's just it's one of those things. That's, that's Sauer's hometown. That's where Sauer came from. That is, that is the OG. I'm happy Sauer. to be a part of there. Like, so I grew up in between Pittsburgh and Stonebro um, because, I, you know, Demolition Derby and Art was like a – was really you know good, was something that was a part of my life that gave me balance and discipline, and I I, be, I was uh, not a good child. I bounced yeah. between homes and stuff like that. So the art classroom and the garage at night is kind of where I found myself, and uh, so I have to salute my brothers and sisters and all my family in Stone Row. Salute Jake Berkner. Um, without you guys, I'm nothing. Without cousin Dane. So you're like sour. How the heck did you end up in this chair? So. 1992 is when I drove my first Demotion Derby with Randy Brazel, um, and we've just been going year after year after year. I've only ever won one derby in my life, and and it was with help from Stephen Sickles. So I, I'm not a quitter. <laughs> I've been losing that Demotion Derby a long time, and I just love it with a passion. I love it with my heart. Um, I've been on tour for 12 years now. Um, professionally and before that for the last 30 years i've always had a demolition derby cart one of my art openings out front so people could see where to go for the art opening but demolition derby is my identity in my core i love it so much i love it the way mike defrisia loves demolition derby i just we love it so much and i just can't stop talking about it so if i get a little excited screaming into the mic it's because it's genuine my heart's my heart loves demolition derby oh. michael i was telling the people a story about how i ended up in this chair beside you <laughs> hey it was a, it was an absolute asset to, to to put your ass in that chair that's an asset that's what i call <laughs> well you so. guys are so kind to me and giving me my space letting me be who I am and like bringing a little like a little something different and I appreciate it like you know it was the same way when I was in the army I was an artist in the army and I've been telling you the story about how I volunteered for drill and ceremony and my job was to do 
uh, the marching. I would, you know, call out marches. We would do parades, and we would, you know, do formations and, you know, uh, you know, lowering and raising of flags and funerals. And that was something real important to me as a veteran. So whenever I see American flags out here on derby cars, when I see people standing for the demolition derby, just feeling it in their, or, or for the for the national anthem, feeling it in their heart, I just, I just want to say, I, you know, I, I love that stuff, and it, and it really is, you know, something I truly believe in, you know. Yeah, look at that. Bill's got the drone out. He's playing with it. He's getting it, uh, getting us a good shot of the track here, showing you how the damage of the track was. They're out there fixing it up. They got the box blade down. They're trying to level it out to get those holes done. So uh, where Moose got stuck there and dug that big hole, you definitely don't want that happening. You know, you want to want to hold that thing out. So right there, that uh, the drone is greatly sponsored by Devil Dog Transmission this year. Totally appreciate everything. And they're that, coming uh, in. He's coming in. He wants to land it in my hand. Land it in my hand, Bill. I dare you. Oh, son of a gun. No, I'm sorry. The drone, that is that is uh, uh, Jacob Prusman, 448 Design. Jacob just ordered some more coloring books from me. I want to shout out to Jacob for, uh, so I, I did a, oh, the fly off. He, uh, we sent them to him. He should have them here by Monday, his coloring books. And uh, so that's pretty cool that he's still reordering coloring books and uh, getting them out there to uh, the fans of Demolition Derby. That's so now you got to remember here in a couple of weeks, we are going to be down there in Iowa at 448 Promotions. And uh, that is a show that's going to be on Track Shot Live. You're going to have Mike and I are down there for it. Uh, we're going to be down there camping. We're going to be enjoying it and, and uh, putting on a hell of a good time down there. You know, the Prusman family knows how to uh, take care of their people that are out there helping and all that stuff. So thank you so much. But you guys pay attention to that. You're going to see that right here on Track Shot Live. I enjoy how Micah does interviews. He's he, good. He is so authentic and genuine and truly interested in what uh or the, the who he's interviewing you know what i mean i yeah. just love our our crew this season it's pretty cool except fatty yeah jk fatty. jk that was fatty. for decker yeah did you what did he say a dollar for every time we said something bad about fatty oh really yeah i think so i think that's we what get it a was. dollar for every time yep. we say something ugly yep. about fatty nice no, it's, uh, you know, if you guys haven't seen or heard, I know Fatty's all over the social media down there at Smith Metalworks uh, Derby Expo down there, getting ready to run the van and do all that cool stuff and uh, just kind of pay attention and see what's going on out there. It's, they, they got some really cool stuff going on over there on the east side, and, and Fatty is over there representing TSL like, uh, like he should be. I'm going to give you a shout-out. Oh I'm telling you, buddy, I was just sitting back here when I was thinking about how many things you do. You're an inspector. You're a promoter. You're a builder, a driver, father, husband. You know what I mean? You do all this stuff for Demolition Derby out of love. And I always knew that if it came down to I hope that you and I are in a foxhole together. You know, <laughs> I swear, buddy, we, would, uh, we got this. And, like, so I'm, like, watching these tractors, and I'm like, Michael Tix has to do that too. Michael Tix would have to be out here running this equipment, you know, if you weren't already on the microphone. And like, you do a lot for Demolition Derby. And we're and just having fun. It, it's great. I think I think you're coming from the Midwest, uh, you know, and like you guys are used to traveling great distances to Derby. Like out east, within two hours, there's 25 places to Derby more. You know what I mean? So we don't have to travel far, and we have choices every weekend. But you, you drive to, like, Colorado, Wisconsin, North Dakota. Like, you guys put in a lot of miles up there um, to go to these demolition derbies. They are spread out, but, you know, the thing of it is, the big difference between your guys' travel and our travel is your guys' travel is hard. Everywhere you go is uphill. You know, yeah. it's always uphill in a 90 degree corner at the top or bottom. I mean, it it's is true. It's crazy like that. You know, as we go out to Deckerland and everything like that, it's uh, it's it's a different part of the country. It's uh, it's it's hard travels. You know, we can put on 400 miles and not touch the brakes. You know, you guys, you can't put on four miles no. without touching the brakes. 40 feet. Yeah. In a lot of places, <laughs> you know, especially in your neighborhood. Oh, but 
you know, the reality of it is, thank you so much for the nice compliment and everything like that. But, I mean, it is. It's, it's, it's just true passion of the sport. And, uh, um, you know, I, I don't get to run and build as much as I'd like to. But, you know, we got a great show that we're going down to in Lynn, Kansas here this season. And, uh, you know, a bunch of us TSL guys are going to be down there and we're going to be doing some fun and, and uh, running a, a, a two-man bone stock show. So super excited to be down there for that one. That's beautiful. I was there when your son won his first derby. Son of a gun, that's right. In the Camry. That's right, yeah. That was pretty cool. So that had been a pretty big moment for you. Oh, that was, that, that, that win was the most memorable for me in my life was riding with my son on that one. It, uh, it, it, takes, it takes everything. It's the crown. Mm. Yeah, I'm tr my son's interested in derby, not as... He's still only 11, so we're getting him interested in it. You know what I mean? I'm breaking him in easy. Well, I've been trying to get my son. I wanted him to go down to Jacob Prusman's and uh, and sign up and run the youth class down there, but they're running full-size cars. And my son goes through, and he goes, Dad, I'm a Camry kid. And I told him, I said, I'm going to give you a guarantee, son. This shop builds Fords way better than it does Camrys. So... Uh, <laughs> He, uh, he, he doesn't care. He wants to just stay running those compacts and stuff like that. And I told him, I said, sooner or later, I said, you're going to have to step up and, uh, and go, to the, go to the big cars because we're going we're gonna to X and A Camrys. Here we go. Number 24 pulling in. There we go. Look at that drone footage Javier right there. Orozco. 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 Javier Orozco. From Arbuckle, California. That's the number 24. I assume that's another galaxy or something. That 100 car pulling in there. That is our our backseat bobby cam. Actually, I believe it's I, I believe it's 100, but it says 73 Cadillac on there. The Dylan Pedersen. Is that the Good Times car? Yeah, uh, I think so. With the graffiti behind yep. 24. All right. There's one more, couple more stripes, and we're going to send these cars out there. That operator on that box plate that's leveling out that track does a really good job on it. He's got that thing figured out, putting a nice, clean, smooth track out there. I knew you would know that. I, I was like, that guy looks like a professional out there. He really is. Like, it is. it went from... Yeah, it's like the Zamboni at the uh, hockey rink. Yep. You know about hockey. You're from I Minnesota. know all about flat ice. I remember <laughs> talking about it on a uh, Jagoff podcast. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Jagoff. They love us. Really nice group of people, and they got a great thing going on out there in Pittsburgh. Giving the huge shout out to the Jack Off podcast out there in Pittsburgh. What's the gentleman? Oh, there we go. They're coming on in. Again, Javier Orozco. The 100 pulling in. I believe that is the Dylan Peterson. Dylan Peterson. Look at that car right there. That's a nice Looking paint good. job. He is carrying, he is running a Schrade motor right there. Um, Oh my gosh, I forgot the darn towing company. His brother has a towing company out there. And uh, just giving a huge shout out to his family for letting him come on out here and build the car and compete with us. Number 44. Justin Monch of Orville. 91. There's Cameron Wilson. B09. Oh, that's Bobby Burley. From Willows, California. The number 50 car? Is Jason Yamamoto from Wesley, California. Yamamoto One Farm. One third. One third is Jason Chan. Chan of Sutter, California. Man, there's one of these old cars in every heat. What is that? It's just the Ford. It's just an old Ford thing there. I love it. I can't see that number on that one. 50, 34. Joshua Holt of Oakdale, California. 69. Oh, crowd loves 69. Ron LaPlante, Orovo, California. 33. One of the Holt boys. Nathan Holt, Oakdale, California. 
Don't have a roof sign on that other one pulling in. Can't see that one. How about it, Bill? You swing on down. There's 783 or 83 coming on in. Jesus Campos, Jesus Campos. Dixon. 70. Michael Doyle Jr. Number three X. Bob Arant. All right, so we have a number 30 out here, which is the third car in from our left. The, it's got orange on it, and that isn't listed, so when we go past. Oh, go back on that. Is it right there? Right there. Oh, Christian Orozco. There it is right there. Look at that drone footage. That is so awesome. Thank you so much, 448 Design, for that drone footage. One of the proud upgraded sponsors that we have this year. Thank you so much for believing in what we're doing and giving you, the spectators at home, the best view in the house. <laughs> Two, one, one Lutz Lutz Derby! Derby! Oh, 32. There it is. 32 X just comes right in there. B09 takes one. Ninety-one looking for a mad dog. That's Wilson. Cameron Wilson from Pine Grove. Bill's still out there with the drone. Yeah, he is. Guy's got some great footage right there. Great Ooh, overhead. That's 24. Oh, great. Oh, here we go. Here it is. The 100 coming through. Oh, oh swing and a miss by Peterson. Square body Lincoln, the B09. That's Bobby Burley. Looking pretty good. Got a straight front end. Oh, that's 69. Remember they cut the chains off whenever we first pulled in here. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Look at what's happened. Now the back of the car is standing up about six feet in the air. Is that why? Is that why? That's one that, of the plants. that hump out. Woo-hoo-hoo. Crowd's loving this heat. They are getting wild. There's the 100 coming back. Peterson's coming in. Oh, he stopped. There it is. Oh, I'll run nice. all the way up in the back of it. Nice. Him. Made it all the way up into the gas tank on that one. Good shot. Oh, he's stuck in the back of there, he though. Is. He's Dylan got, is. He's stuck. got the rear bumper in back in Burley. B09 is trying to move away from him. Come on, Bobby. Dylan get out of there. Stuck in there. He's got so much weight on there. His front wheels are off the ground. Oh. oh the hit. Break him oh, apart. There it got, is. There it is. Rolled over. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. Back up, he's coming he's back down. He's dumping fuel, he's dumping fuel, stop it. Red flag, red flag. We're dumping fuel out of the carburetor. All right. Safety, everybody. Yes. Safety, everybody, safety. Please. Please. This always makes me nervous. I know the fans love it. Look at this replay right here, folks. Right here on go. top of the oh. action. What a slowest edge right over the rollover. Great catch on that replay, Bill. Thank you so much. Don't touch the headers. Don't touch the headers. Oh. Yes. Sequoia's got the replay over there. Doing yeah. a great job. Good job over there running the decks. We got some great engineers over there. Yes, we do. <laughs> when you paint it like a shark, you better be an apex predator. Nice. That was solid. Solid one-liner. Uh-oh. Don't finish it over. Was that... That's Was right. that Holt to put him over the 34? 33. Nice. 33, Nathan Holt. Nice. Quick shout out, Brandy Woes. Thank you, Brandy. 
Shout out our man Todd. Thanks, Todd. I know you're watching at home. I apologize. I have horrible, horrible service here. So I'm just I'm checking my messages real quick. I feel you guys buzzing in. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to the car club. Shout out to the PA. Love those guys over there. We know you all are watching. We appreciate you guys watching Track Shot Live. Without you guys, we are nothing. <clears throat> Car back on four wheels. Uh, right. Driver's walking away from it. Looks like Bobby Burley is not going to jump back in the B-09. These sticks on the ground, Michael Tick. Yes, what the heck? I wonder what happened. You said there's some fuel dumping That was there. a lot of fuel dumping out, enough to make me nervous. Enough that it should have lit on the exhaust, right? Yeah, you would think so at that point. Because it was dumping onto the, that four, what do you call? Is that it's not collected into one, and they're not turnouts. What do you call the four? Eight pipes. Eight pipes. That's all. That's all skinny, straight up eight pipes. Eight pipes. Yeah, it was pouring on the eight pipes. And we're about ready to go back to the action. They ain't wasting any time. Let's get this stuff going, and we are back live right here, Green Flag Drivers, and the action is live to you at home for free ninety nine, like always. Yeah. Well, we're ready. Oh, that jacked up sixty nine car is looking tough. Look at all that metal just hanging. Oh, oh my God! Oh my word! Oh. Yes! 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 All the way to the parking lot! Yeah! Yes, oh Dylan my. says, get out of my track! We're done with you here in Yuba City! Yeah! Wave it to the crowd! Right there, Dylan's got it right up. there! Dylan Peterson for president! <laughs> nice, good shot! We got a red flag, red flag. I think they're gonna fix that track over there. That's uh, that tire went flying. Everything went flying. I think that they should be that taking. That was a good replay, Kim. That was awesome. Wow. That was awesome. We got our crew out there from Ohio. They're pointing, getting people to stop and pay attention. Replay cam. Replay right here. here, we here go. It replay is. cam. Can I say welcome to my damage? Look at this. Here we're coming in hot. Nice catch on the camera. That was sweet. Woo wee! That was awesome. That was it. That was it. We made some junk. Yes. I got it. Bill caught that perfect on there. 83 is getting out. Done. Oh yeah. 83. That was Jesus Campos. You did really well out there until that moment happened for yes. you. That was a straight up shot. That's why you got to keep your head on a swivel out here. No doubt about it. That no was doubt about it. good. That was very timely there by Dylan Peterson. 44 car is looking really tough out there. That's Justin Monk's car. That's the uh, Maroon 44. Looking real straight front and back. Yeah, it is. Number three took a heck of a shot on the front wheel right when we went to red flag. Now it's gonna have some steering issues. That's 3X with some steering issues. That's Bob Ar Arant. There's that backseat Bobby cam right there showing you what it's looking like from that back bumper of that car. It's folding up and in. The back window bars broke loose a little bit, but that don't bother him none. I can hear the motor in Michael Doyle Jr.'s car out there. It sounds pretty, pretty good. That's the 70 that I'm talking about. Looking pretty clean front and back. Oh Tire, yeah. Tires are still underneath it. Holt goes in the backside of Dylan Peterson right there saying I oh. see you over there. Here we oh he's not giving him any room. 91 comes in and gives a little bit of help. 44 is coming in on Holt. Oroxo, Oroco, <coughs> excuse me, Oroso in the number 30 car, still looking good out there. Rear, rear end's folding up real nice, still got air in the tires. But number 3X is having enough of it. Ninety-one. What, what do you think that is? Seventy-two or something, buddy? See how the rear lights gonna go up, right? Peterson gets out of there, comes back, makes that hit within that minute. 
Nice. They had him stuck in the dirt down there, but they left him alone a little too long. He got out and he came back and said, hello. Crowd's loving it. Those two are just working each other over. Orozco and Arant. They, they really are connected. Nice little back-to-back -back bumper cam right there. Look at two rear bumpers coming together. Nice, I love these camera, Bill. Great action. There he is, coming back in, chasing him back. Red flag, red flag. It's an emphatic red flag. Something must be happening. Red flag, red flag, drivers. Safety, something. I don't know wait, who wait, got a mad wait, dog wait, out of that. Dog? Oh, we're doing all, there wasn't a mad dog. Are we all, is that it? No. All right, well you got Dylan Peterson that was running the backseat Bobby Cam. He's going to the dance. <laughs> I like when they get public scolding. Yeah. All right, we got the number 70 car pulling out there. He made the feature. Number 70 is Michael Doyle Jr. <clears throat> the number 30 car is pulling out. And these are unofficial results also, you guys. Uh, yeah, Christian Orozco. Or Orz Gosh, that one's hard for me. Orozco? Orozco. I used to be a school teacher, and I would just butcher names. And be Cam Cameron Wilson in the 91 looks like he's going. And you got the 33. Oh. They're saying something. When I see grown men running on a track, it makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, guys. Yeah, Nathan, Nathan Holt, the 33. I wonder if they're not giving him the mad dog. They might be calling for a flag. Yeah, maybe. They might be giving it to him. Yeah, watch, watching dudes running work boots. <laughs> Yo. The kid's getting excited over there, jumping and pumping. We love it. Again, thank you to all of our sponsors, everybody who supports Track Shot Live. You guys really, really do something great for us. Yeah. You do something great for Demolition Derby. All you sponsors together really help us. Oh, we're, we're told by Bill that he has a bunch of great videos coming up to play for us. Well, I'd say let's get on them right away, Bill. Why waste any time? Let's do it. We got time where they're clearing this track out. There's two what? Oh, geez. Nice. I There it is. There it is, folks. Look at that. Click it with your click it. Open your phone app. Open your phone app. Put it on. Put it on phone. Hold your phone to the TV and get a picture of this. We'll hold it. Right there. We got it. You got five, four, three. Hurry up. Take a picture. Two. One. Hold on. One more for TikTok. Hold on. Hold on, Mike. Yes, there it is. There it is. Get it. Get it, be a sponsor, be a fan. Help us out, help out Williams. We love Spring Extreme. You're not pretty enough for this. Get out of the chair. <laughs> Come on in here. All right, here we go. We have the new position of production right here. Who do we have? Rania, Francis, 
Rania Francis, my goodness. Come on, girl, we got to walk and talk. We don't got time just to sit still. So the fun part about this whole thing is, is you, have you been to a demolition derby before? I have. I went to one in Minnesota. Minnesota, I might know about that place just once or twice. I heard uh, I heard that's the best of the best up there. That's, so. that's yeah, just yeah. opinion. People that are born in Minnesota are pretty special. Yeah, so all right, so tell me, I mean, how excited are you to be here in Yuba City with us having fun with the production? So excited. So excited. I'm from Colorado, so I can't. You know what, this is the cool thing about Yuba City here. California always brings the diversity of cars. Um, I've been, had the, f the, the great pleasure to be all across this country watching Demolition Derby, and I have never seen the diverse builds of cars all across the country like that. We are right here in California. Um, Red Bluff last year brought it, Yuba City brought it, and it's just amazing to watch these different builds and everything. Where can you go see old Fords? old Chryslers, round back wagons, and then you got 80s Crown Vicks. I just love what comes right here from California. You know what, these trophies right here are what Sauer brings to each one of the MWFA class. If you're a promoter out there across the country and you want Sauer's MWFA class, this is what you get. He brings that, he gives that award. That is a trophy that you can hang on the wall and it's gonna last forever and ever. And it is a piece of artwork right from Sauer himself. All right, here we go. Standing here with a couple traveling inspectors. Who do we got here? Dave Klein, Alex Steven. Alex? You're more my height. I like this. I can I can see. I'm looking at I'm looking you know, it's like this is kind of one of those deals. Hey, tell me how did you guys end up over here in California because you guys are Ohio. Well, we ended up going to a derby up in New York, mini meltdown, and we ended up meeting uh, Blaine Williams, great guy, and we just got talking and we kicked it off and he asked us to come out here and spec cars. You know, that's really cool. That just goes to show that we're we're uh, we've got promoters all across the country that are trying to work together to figure out what the best thing is. Maybe not the best thing, but what works best for the sport. And uh, now I know you were standing at the blocks at, at Spinning Wheels. Yeah, I, I was up there too. I've, I have ran up there a couple years and uh, it's crazy. And I went up and inspected last year. After the first heat, I thought, you know what? This ain't that bad. I might come back. The second heat come out and I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Those guys are nuts in New York. You know what, Jason? You know about nuts in New York. <laughs> I, I do. I got my bell rung in New York so hard. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's still ringing in between my ears. Uh, well, we were here in California, and we're hanging out with some Ohio guys. And we were talking about the most wanted fine art class coming to their full send event there perhaps in June, maybe. But that's something that we're doing that Trackshot Live does. We hang out in the pits. We talk to the the drivers, we talk to the inspectors. We want to help the sport grow. I'm telling you, right? We want to be in full communication with everybody. And we're hearing great ideas. Like, didn't you win Dead Man like two years ago? Yeah. Compact team show. So I'm hanging with champions and winners right here. I, I love it. Like, so California has been treating us great. So it's wonderful that we're all the way across the nation talking about Demotion Derby in every little corner of it. And you know, the best part of what it is to sit here talking about this is everybody is traveling across the country and getting different ideas what to bring to your show and how to make your show a little bit better, just understanding everything in a general. Absolutely. I mean, that's why we're here. We're here to learn, you know. That's just what we're here doing. We're here to learn, see if we can take any back ideas back east with us or see anything that they're doing different or give our knowledge out here to what they may not have. 
Yeah, that is the best thing, you guys. So, hey, remember that. If you're a promoter out there, don't be afraid to reach out and contact another promoter. TSL and everything like that, all it's doing is making Demolition Derby across the country just that much better. And I think we should probably give a shout-out. I mean, I mean, we use the backdrop here. Do you got a shout-out at anybody here? How about some sponsors, or yeah, what are you like, proud of? We'd like to thank Justin Munch and Taco Bell. We couldn't do it without them. Well, my goodness. Well, how about a power plant you got in here? A 355 Baldwin motor. Yeah, this thing sounds dirty, nasty. You know, Baldwin knows how to put a good motor across. It doesn't matter if it's in California, Missouri, New York. These things are always good. Hey, man, good luck out there. We love watching you wreck stuff. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, we are back. Yes. Cuba City 2023 yeah. right here. We got three. Look at that. The girl's just jamming. Yeah. Full entertainment right there. <laughs> We love it. That's, oh, that's, yeah. enter, that's entertainment. There it is. Still free entertainment right there. Free 99. They are on there live. You might have seen Madison yesterday on my TikTok. Yes. She was holding the first place Spring Extreme Most Wanted Class Trophy. So we've been working together out here this weekend, haven't we? Yeah, Madison's been having fun with us. All right, going to the phone for to see what we got for the next round of stuff. Blaine Williams, there we go. Oh, you got it? There we go. Blaine's got it. MWFA class. What else? Come on, Blaine, what's the next one? Oh, look at that picture, Jason Sauer. Oh, sweet. Look, that's the last picture we sent Blaine Williams right there. Nice. In PA, showing what the rusty nail was. Yeah, we went to Kelly's in East Liberty. Oh, that was good. That was good. All right, that's where you got the youth class coming out here. I'm sorry, the MWFA class here. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cars coming out here for the MWFA class for the first time ever. I think that's a pretty good showing because California has never seen anything quite like that. Uh, it's breaking their, It's breaking them between the ears is what it is. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's so basic that people are like, I don't believe you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't believe you. So what's happening is this is the very first Most Wanted Fine Art class that started in New Alexandria, Pennsylvania, has made its way to Yuba City, Northern California, and this is amazing, and I'm very thankful and grateful that America thinks this is something to do. Listen, it's so simple, and that's what happened. I'm talking to people last night. They're like, I just didn't know where to find the gray area. I was like, well, there isn't one. There, there, is, there isn't one. We just want you to have fun. We want you to destroy a class, or destroy cars in a class. That's fun. So every time I hear people after they come out of that heat, they're like, whoa, that's the most fun I've had in a derby car in X amount of years. Yeah. So at first they're like, I'm not sure about it. And then when they do it, they're like, that's just fun. Yeah. And it like we put together 38 cars at your shop. Oh my god, yeah. We that and and you know what? My yard showed it after the derby. <laughs> I have never had such a mess in my yard than that <laughs> right there. It was absolutely insane, but it was uh it was well worth it. Right? Nice. Sequoia running and making making the tracks, doing the cam, making it all happen. <laughs> 6 foot 5 long legs. I'm trying to keep up with that kid, you know, rallying across the backfield. And it's like, oh, dude, you need to you need to slow down just a little bit. I can't keep up with you, you know. Nice. And then you got Bill's sister holding the umbrella up, so you know, precious Bill doesn't get sunburnt or anything. I'm just kidding. He's got to have that so he can see the screen. So Bill decided that he wasn't going to put the tent up, so it didn't interfere with any of any, anybody's obstruction of view back there. So uh, you know, Uncle Bill, thank you so much for that to make sure that everybody has a great view of everything. Now, I know that we only have nine here, but the record for most wanted fine art class cars is 50. Gosh. At the Iron City Nationals. You had 38, I think. Yeah. Um, I think that's also what TJ had. I think TJ also, uh, Dead Man had. Somebody a corrected me. I thought I said like 42 or 44, and they said, no, you only had 38 ticks. It's like, oh, my God. I think, I think everyone's team beeping track. Somebody's ready to see the 75 car heat. I want I, think, I want 150 and break the world record. I, I want to do 100 in Minnesota. I want 100. Let's do 100 in, in I want Minnesota. let's go for 100, but let's go for 150 and break the world record. The most cars on the track at one time is up in Canada somewhere and it's 100 and 
30 or something like that. What? Oh, I want to do 150 cars and break that record and bring the record back down to the U.S. We need that record, and we're going to do it with the MWFA class. That is my goal. That's that October 7th, right? Yep, October 7th at the throwdown. Is it two days this year or just one? I will give you a guarantee. If I have 150 cars and we break, you guys, I'm going to tell you something. So <clears throat> winner in the MWFA class at the throwdown got 500 bucks. I, I know where you're going with this. And we gave envelopes away to everybody that drove. We gave them an event T-shirt, and we gave them an envelope. This is so smart. In that envelope, you didn't know how much money you were going to get. First place got 500 bucks. Everybody else got an envelope. And uh, Colton, uh, Colton Mart's girlfriend ran the van out there. Her envelope had $1,000 in it. So if smart. we can break that world record, we put 150 cars on that track, I will give away a $5,000 envelope. Okay. I will give away a $5,000 envelope. Everybody's going to get some money out of there, but I promise you there will be an envelope for five grand. I'll guarantee you there'll be. I'll guarantee you some thousand-dollar envelopes out of there. Winner gets 500 bucks. I'll put that on there. We break the world record. I'm going to give away that kind of money at that show. That's so great. Of a you're a promoter in uh, America. Are you paying attention to this? What he just said is he put out 38 cars. He put out 37 envelopes. First place, guaranteed 500 bucks in a trophy. Second place, the 38th place, you could win. You could pull a $1,000 envelope. You could pull 40, 50. Those people took it right to your beer bar. That was pretty cool. You to buy rounds on the whole most wanted class. But that is so smart because if you're a gambling person, it I'll pays to bring a most wanted car. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You guys want to have fun with it? We'll do a $100 entry. I'll, I'll put two five thousand dollar envelopes out there. Shut up. I will put I will put that out there, and I will give away three thousand dollar envelopes also. I'll put thirteen grand up for that class at a hundred dollar entry if we got one hundred fifty cars and we break that world record. Otherwise, I'll Dude, pay one hundred percent of on. the price. You're blowing my mind yeah. right now. Hold on, one hundred fifty cars, and you're about to put thirteen thousand dollars in envelopes. I'll, I'll put thirteen grand in envelopes. Hey, John, you're my partner. I understand all this stuff, <laughs> but uh, I'm just letting you know that uh, yeah, I'm speaking I'm speaking trash right here. We'll put it oh. all the way out there. All right, here we go. Most wanted class. Please do look at this, you guys. Right here, the most wanted class, you see a truck. You see a Crown Vic. You see a square body. You see another Ford. Now a minivan coming in. Oh, that's, Char that's Daddy Doo-Doo. Daddy doo -doo. Doo, -doo, doo, doo doo baby or daddy shark, doo -doo 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 -doo. daddy shark. You got to drive like an apex predator if you're going to meet a daddy shark van. Yes, you are. <clears throat> All right, you guys. I got to explore another We have van. the 7D2 of KC Prill, the number seven uh, Malone Pick, Ma uh, Malin, Malin Prick. We have Alec. Thesis driving the 805. We have Nolan Clark driving the 16. We have DJ versus Chagan. Dude, is that an 82 LTD or is that a Futura? I don't know. It's, I've seen that one out there. That's the that's a dog paw car. I think we got that's the a 90, Futura. 98 at Todd's season. We have the 32 of Manny Madrino, the 611 of Amy Jensen, and the 75 of PJ Millsap. There we go, you guys. They are excited, and it is three, two, one. Let's, Let's derby! derby! <laughs> yeah! Here's what you're going to notice, America. It's quiet. I can hear myself think. Look at him just doing donuts. Big shot right Oh! There. Crowd loves it. Will today be the first mini truck ever to win the most wanted class? A mini truck is yet to win the most wanted class. Got that explorer out there is just tearing. Oh, look at the junk up. flying everywhere! Oh! oh corner shot from the square <laughs> body. He's got that. He's got that. That's a Dakota. He get it. He got it running. Dakota's still in it. Come on. He's not moving. Oh! Red flag. Red flag.
The Man. crowd is just going the crazy over this, you guys. It. We just watched all the stock classes go through, and I've never heard the crowd get this excited. They are just chanting in the background. This is so great, you guys. Uh-huh. I think somebody got their bell rung there. They're out there checking them all, giving them the right, how many back. fingers. Oh, the helmet popped off is what happened. Someone forgot to lock their helmet on. Taking it too chill out here. Dude, everything is still running, Michael. Everything is still running. Oh, we got our first break off. The minivan, impossible. Oh, there goes the tire. Yes! Yes! Look at that bumper folded to the ground. Live action motorsports right in front of us. Yes! Yeah. in California. Yes! These Crown Vicks and the Minivans, that Dakota and the Explorers still are out there doing good. Look at that rear wheel drive Explorer. Just get it! Get it! I love it! That's 611 Barbie Jeep of Amy Jensen. She's doing good out there. She's the one that lost her helmet. She's taking a couple good hits out there. Look out. She's giving it right back. Daddy Shark over there throwing down the rear on the back side. So, so Coming far, right over here. if you're worried about these cars breaking down, I don't know where we're at. We're probably at minute mark number 10, and we only have one car out so far. Oh, the crowd loves it. The crowd's screaming. I think the Explorer has seen better days. Daddy Shark, do, 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 Daddy Shark. You got Paw Patrol in the X-75. Dude, the Futura is still in it. The Crown Vic's just out there just having fun making lefts. Come on, Dakota. Dakota's looking for a little help. He's stuck. The Barbie car is stuck on the Dakota. Don't have any friends out there. Explorer the, breaks off. Yeah, the Explorer is broke off. He's. Oh, Barbie car gets free. Oh, yeah, good friend. Pro got out. He told us a thousand times last night what he was going for today. Look at this junk, Michael Tix. I Bar love it. Yep. I love it. That rear bumper has been underneath that Dakota the, the entire time. Yes, that's what I'm saying. This is like what I want to do on Christmas Eve in Walmart parking lot. Just smash everything. Daddy Shark, do 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 do. Apex Predator. I think we better be down to three. Uh, Barbie car looking for gears, digging between the seats. That's never good. She might have dropped her loose change down there, Sour. <laughs> right, right. What, hooking up her phone charger. Yes! 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 Right in the middle. Wow, good shot. Be All right, we got a red flag. I guess that bumper finally, finally fell off the Dakota. That might have been a kill shot on the Futura. Yes, the 75 of... So I want you to know, promoters, you're worried about junk all over the track. This is our first red stop for junk on the track, and I don't know how many minutes in we are. I expect you to be taking notes, America's promoters. Anybody that's doubting this, I want you to look that there's air in the tires. You don't need to double tube these tires. You can go out here and just go for it. All right, Daddy Shark's still in it. 75 X of PJ Millsap, he fired up, he did move. Oh, he's, he's going to have a heck of a time. His wheels are completely easy, and this is the fi finishing shot. That's the finishing shot on that. The wheel, the he's not giving up. up. He's got it fired up. The fenders are always. Oh, the Barbie van started. The Barbie van started. Wait, Along we're down to five. 16. We're down to five. But 75X or X75, the Paul, the Paul car, Paul Patrol. Uh, Amy the fenders Jensen are in the 611 camping. Barbie. Uh oh, the D Dakota is buried into the rear, rear of this uh, Mercury out here. Come on, 
KC Prill is driving the 72. That is that Dakota right there. He's about to get unstuck. Come on, a little bit more, get in. Yeah, all right. Yeah, crowd loves it. Crowd favorite. Yes, yes, what a great shot. I think, oh, Crown Vic breaks off. We're down to three. Well, the 75 hasn't broke off, but hasn't moved yet. Look at, oh, crowd wants the Barbie, Barbie van to do something. They love the Barbie van. Red flag, red flag. We must have some junk on the track. Do you think they're having fun, Michael? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The 72 right there of Prill right in front of us. So they weren't shaking anything, but they had a wheel and tire. Yeah. It's still semi-attached to the Danny Shark number 55. <laughs> 75 is out of the car, strolls away, and that's P.J. Millsap. He had a good start. Certainly but did. We made history at Spring Extreme with the first most wanted fine art class. Hell yeah. In California. Can you believe this came out of the streets of Garfield with <laughs> T.Y. McClellan? Our man T.Y. McClellan, he derbies in a football helmet. Ed Reed is what they call him. <laughs> we are live once again. All right, we're back. All the way around. Yeah, that, this a, whoa, what, are, what kind of driving is that? <laughs> oh, the crowd's like, Barbie wagon went underneath the Dakota. Daddy Shark, I think, is hooked up. I, think Daddy, I don't think he's running. I see smoke, but I don't. Oh, he his is wheels running. are turning, but I think his wheel is hung up underneath that Crown Vic. Oh, that's how you win. Take out the front tire. Will Prill be the first pickup truck in most wanted history to win? I don't know. Barbie car might take it. Might be the first Barbie car to win the most wanted class. Oh, Barbie's, Barbie's still moving, just. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, another wheel shot. That van needs to get turned around because she is just getting picked off. But that Dakota just blew something. It's smoking. Yep. Barbie Jeep's wiggling. Come on, Barbie Van. All right, Dakota's refired, but buried into the front tire. He's got forward. I don't see any reverse. I don't think there's enough wiggle room to get that transmission to shift. <clears throat> Something's happening. He, he's begging for them to be pulled apart. Yeah, PJ's saying I'm broke. That might be it. We might be on a countdown clock right now. That was a good finishing shot to win a derby. That was. That's the way to be. That's what Track Shot wants to see right there. Everybody at home. Go. Van start, started. The van is fired up. We're just looking. Come on. The van's searching for gears. Van's got gear. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Got forward only. No reverse. Neither one of them has reverse. Both of them only have forward, Michael. Clock is ticking. She ain't uh, giving up, though. You got to give her credit. Up. She on, she's ain't digging, giving up. She's digging between the seats. Come on. All I need Come is a on. quarter. Just need. Oh, she does she got a reverse. reverse. She got a reverse. Oh, oh she's oh, out. She counted. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. I was screaming. What are we doing? Oh, they've called it already, first and second. 
That's the very first truck win in the most wanted fine art class. Anybody can win in anything, Michael Tix. Anything can win. There you go, that the 72 awesome. of KC Prill right there winning that one. I Oh, crowd loves it. That's awesome. Second place going to Amy Jensen, driving the 611 Barbie Jeep. We know it's not a Jeep, but it sounds good. You know? Replays. Youth class coming up next. Look at this replay right there, you guys. All right, so this is kind of what happens after the most wanted class is everybody gets out of their car and picks up the trash. That's that's part of the that's part of the friendly entertainment of being in the class. If you're gonna have junk all over your car, you gotta get out there and walk out and pick it up. But that's a part of the community of this class. Oh. Get out there, walk out there, drivers pick up your junk. It's kind of like walking your dog. If your dog poops in somebody's yard, you pick it up. Your car drops stuff on the track, pick it up. That's it. The most wanted class is like camping. <laughs> you got to leave it better than when you came. There you go. Absolutely. No doubt about that. Dude, that was so cool, Michael. Yes. That decoder, I'm sorry, that, that Explorer was doing awesome out there. Wow. He was putting on God, just shots. got buried because the tires actually. Oh, he's got all kinds of broken steering up front. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Biggin and Son drilling. Yeah. Oh, Jason's got to go out and get There we go. Look at that. Jason's going out to give the trophies away. That's awesome. Jason's running out there in pure excitement to go give them trophies away. Jason's got his talking jacket on. Blaine Williams has got the headset. They got the trophies They're going on to do great, amazing things right there. Jason's so excited that a dream of his has come to this caliber and magnitude all across the country. It is so awesome. Look at that. I can't tell you, you know that man is just beaming with excitement out there. That is so cool. You guys, to all the promoters out there and everything, if you seen, if you liked what you've seen here at the MWFA class, fun, simple, entertaining, the crowd absolutely loved it. They made more noise out of this show than they did any of the other classes. So, you guys, this is reality. This is fun, this is excitement, and it's, it is very, look at Jason Sauer is even picking up the garbage and throwing it in the cars. He knows what the MWFA class is all about. Pick up that track and get her done. But you guys, take a look at it. It is one sheet of rules, it is simple. It tells you, basically, you can't do anything other than clean the car out, make it safe. You can't weld bumpers on, you can't, you know, add anything to it. No tires, no nothing. You just go out and have a great time, and that's what it's all about. And and uh, for Jason to be just that pumped about it. Look at that, you guys. Look at how excited the driver is. And then your winner right there, you have KC Prill. <clears throat> he likes to pick on Decker. That's what we like him so much is because he picks on Decker. We appreciate all the, all the TSL guys that are sitting at home watching and doing their stuff, working in the garages. Um, absolutely appreciate it. Mike is down at a dance competition with all of his daughters. And uh, so Mike is watching a little bit here and there when he can. And... We know Decker's at home critiquing us, making sure that we know what we did wrong. But we a uh, huge shout out to all the TSL guys that are at the shops working, watching, enjoying. We uh, we appreciate everything, you guys. It's uh, Sauer and I are having a great time over here, but uh, we definitely miss you all.
There you go. Look at that. Tons of fun pictures over there to go on social media. You guys are going to see that stuff all over the place. Like I say, if you are a promoter and you want this class there, just reach out to Jason Sauer because one of the coolest things is, look at that, the man's still picking up garbage coming across. It might be my class, but I'll still pick up the track too. That's what he's saying. So you guys got to understand, you know, bring something like this there. It's real simple. Jason will build the trophies and, uh, and ship them on out to you, and that is something so cool. So the youth class is coming out next. 11 years old to 15 years old is what the age of the youth class is. And this is the first time that this has been over here. And you do have to have an adult ride with you. So Blaine's son is going to be out there running. And Blaine's going to be riding with. And it's going to be awesome. He's super, super excited for it. I'll never forget the first time that I did youth with my son. Uh, fathers, mothers, if you ever get the opportunity, get out there and do it. Get your children into this sport because it's a lot better than video games, let me tell you. But I don't know who's got a bigger smile, Blaine or uh, Sauer there. That's awesome. Hey, who was I believe he did. I don't know for 100%. I think he did. Don't count. Don't don't quote me on that. I think he did. Get your sister over here. They're trying to figure out. And remember, all of the all of the results that we said are unofficial. So, um, if all of a sudden somebody didn't make the feature, please do understand that our results are unofficial, and that's just. Uh, that's just how we've seen it coming out, but it'll obviously come down to whatever the official, official results are that the, that the uh, track officials call it. So, well, my goodness, who is the special person I got sitting next oh to me my now? Goodness, what a fun day we've had! It's been crazy. Yes, absolutely. We got to tell the country who you are. Oh, uh, Rania. So Rania Part is of track shot. Yes. Help and put it on the air on the. Wi interwebs. Yeah, so Rania is out here enjoying. This is uh, this is Bill's sister and her son, uh, Sequoia, is helping us with a bunch of stuff too. He's been doing uh, a bunch of the screen switches and everything. He was doing the in-car camera, the backseat Bobby camera, uh, um, Devil Dog transmission, you know, backseat Bobby cam. And Rania is she's uh, holding the umbrella so Bill can see what's going no, on. She I hasn't moved at all. Very hardly. important job. It's, yeah. Because it's so tough with the screens and the sun, you know. It's such a bummer, but well, the show must go on. Yeah, I know. But, you know, the thing of it is, is we could have put that tarp up and then we or the canopy and then we would have blocked a ton of you exactly. other people. And, and it Bill was just, just too did, big. Yeah. Bill didn't want that and you assisted. You said you'd help out. So, yeah. so explain to me. I mean, what do you think of this track shot live in Demolition Derby here in Yuba City? I think it's amazing. I think the camaraderie between the people, the pr promoter, Blaine, just and all the people that are coming in, the volunteers that are here. The sweet girls walking around with the signs, helping people to tip the drivers. Oh, God, right? they got a lot of sweetness going on. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. And all the sponsors, you can see all the sponsors lining the track with their uh, logos and their, what are they called? Banners. Signs, banners. The that banners. It starts with a B. Yeah. No, it's, it's really neat. So, I mean, you know, um, you know, how much experience have you had with Demolition Derby? None. Zero. Zero. Yep. Nothing. Well, well, one time I showed up at your in Minnesota because I was working in Minnesota too and I showed up and so uh, I was there for a couple hours yep and that was fun crazy so, so it's really neat to get 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 uh, we're gonna call it virgins I can't believe know? that truck's still moving oh yeah it, it's uh I mean, that's crazy he's gonna put the taillights back in it and go get groceries later on oh my so gosh, you know that's a, the Barbie mobile oh, how amazing was that when well then she's just driver. a little sweetheart in there too you know oh my she's gosh. you know she that's so cool when you see that kind of stuff she was so. hardcore she yeah. wasn't dicking around she wasn't giving up either <laughs> she had uh, no, she had zero I give up no she was there yeah no, it's super cool. And this class right here is an absolutely introductory level, introductory level to where anybody can come out and do it. I mean, a passion, a drive, a thrill, whatever you want, you, this is for you. I mean, you can go out and do it. I mean, I've seen professional drivers to, to amateur first-time drivers go out there and do it. So it's wide open for whatever the oh, case may be. And it's still moving. Oh, yeah. She oh just gosh. hung up a tiny little bit. She wasn't going to give up for it. Let's see if we get her to so. wave at us. Hey, Barbie. 
I can't uh, believe that van is still moving. I mean, it's a minivan. I mean, yeah. I'm a mom. I'm a soccer mom. I know. Yeah, now did you ever feel that safe? pretty much what Sequoia did to my van. <laughs> now, did you ever feel that safe driving your minivan around Never. on the street like that? Never. Ever. If you would have known that, you would have pulled uh, out on red lights a little more often, right? Well, I think right? my son knew because he <laughs> trashed my van like that. It looks just like that, except for it's not pink. Oh, my goodness. All right, so so uh, now now it's really funny because, you know, as Bill and I were talking, he was super excited that, that his family was going to come here and enjoy this with us. You know, Bill is really super proud. You guys at home don't hardly ever get to see Bill or anything like that. He's camera shy. Um, I you forgot know. about the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it, it is. I so. <laughs> I forgot that the camera was on. I'm such a bonehead. Yeah, well, bonehead. that's all right. Well, you're just leaning down. You're just like, you know, hey. This is not so. me. Say, Ron, you get your SHIT <laughs> together. So, it, so it's really fun. So to have Bill's family come out here and enjoy it and stuff like that, um, you know, it, it's as you and I have had conversations and stuff like that, and and uh, you 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 make the comment about how we opened up Bill in different ways and stuff like that, and then you know for him to be so proud for you guys to come out and see what he does and everything like that, it's an absolute blessing and it's honorable for us to be part of this. Well, thank you. Me too. I'm just stoked. I'm stoked to be here. We have another day tomorrow. So it's not done yet today, right? There's still more happening. Yeah. No, we got the tough trucks in the mud bog tomorrow, so that's totally different. I mean, it's a it's a little different pace of action and everything like that. Um, we're not going to see quite as much car and stuff like that but it's going to be a whole different level of uh, entertainment and, and competition so so the young really guys neat. are coming now so yep. now how do they they write still riding obviously not many cars they're normal sized cars but yep. they're 11 to 15 yep 11 to 15 years old and they have to have an adult riding with them so that was part girl of or boy doesn't matter yeah, it doesn't matter you yeah. know so we were we were talking with uh, one of the young ladies that was driving i wanted to get her in, in her interview and and uh yeah if we can get one in one quick i mean it's going to be coming out in just a minute you know I would say if we get the GoPro in one, go for it. You got time? Anything. Who cares? You know, maybe go grab a, how about Blaine Williams? Bill, get it in Blaine Williams' son's car. Because then that way they've got something. We're going to. We're gonna you know what number it is? Sequoia. We don't. I don't have the number on it. Um, you know, grab a, Sequoia. Grab Jason and have him help you quick. All right, sorry, you guys, multitasking well, here. How cool is that? Jason's bit. out there picking up the garbage. Oh, yeah, well, it's what his class. He's got to do it. He's feeling obligated. That's true. So. That's true. But see how proud he was with his with his trophies for everybody? That was so great. Yeah. No, it's, so it's super proud cool. Of those. So he, he gets so excited over this class because it's not just, I mean, this is a passion of his. This is a dream of his. So um, that's, that is so cool with it. So. Um, yeah, so Sequoia is going to go out and he's going to put that camera in the in the next car. It's actually awesome because he is six foot five and he's got arms that are nine feet long. I couldn't reach in the cars to hardly do anything, and he's just like, "Here, I got this ticks," and he just jumps in there, and gets it all done. So it was uh, it was a lot of fun to meet him this morning, and he's been with us all day, and he's just been kicking butt and just just wants to be part of everything. So um, yeah, so the Francis family, it's awesome to come on out and and have you guys do your thing and be part of us. So you know. And I know it takes a little bit of stress off of Bill, too, you know, because we expect so much out of the man. So. Uh, I love how, it. because it's so loud here, we have to talk in sign language. But yeah. after the, in the beginning of the day, it's a little bit sketchy. But now, if we've been together all day long, we just look at each other and we know what someone wants. <laughs> and that's and that's exactly what it is. And you know, it's like we try not to interrupt and do stuff like that, but all of a sudden it's like this, that, you know, you're watching people in the back make hand signals and you know, I got a guy over here sitting here trying to talk to me. It's like, ah, dude, we're live. You know, it's like I can't have that conversation. It's like, just one question, Tix. It's like, ah, I get it, you know. Well, it's so funny because like you were saying before, it's like we're out here. There's no barrier because usually when you do media, you've got a barrier between you and the crowd. Which yeah. Is, but there's nothing. You can see the people walking behind us, even over here where we have all the technology. There's just nothing. No, <laughs> and, got, and everybody's been so respectful. Yeah. We got Bobby Bo Bobby Brockway in the background. Yeah. That's all that. That's what matters the most, right there. So, um, yeah. Sequoia's scared. He's not going to walk out there. You know. He wants to be respectful. Yeah. He's going to get don't, yelled at. Yeah. Don't don't, <laughs> don't get out there. He's I've like, trained him well. He's, yeah. He's a respectful boy. Yeah. Well, he needs God, to just get out like there and be the like, you know. Just go, Scooby. Just go. <laughs> Trying to get him. Just run out out there. Come on now. He can't see me. No. Nah. He's so focused on Jason. Well, yeah, which is cool, though, that he's, you know, he doesn't want to get hurt, and he doesn't want to hurt anybody. He's on it. There'll be time. He's, this will be the yeah. third car you guys have put it in, right? Yep. So he'll, um, 
trying to get Jason's attention. No, where's your where's your mic so we can just talk to you? There we go. <laughs> See? We did it! Sign language. Sign I flipped language. them off. <laughs> I was like, like come on, on dang it. it. Get on this we're stuff. We're on it. Yeah. Yep. So now where exactly are you from? Um, I live in Durango, Colorado, which is a great town, southern Colorado. It's like right Well, how do you know it's corner. a great town? What are you comparing it to? Because I've traveled and lived all over okay. the country. See, I now have, you got to explain that because oh I. Oh my goodness, I know I know this country really well. Yeah. Okay, then. I so. do like all parts. I think the only state I've never been to, or two states, Alaska, and Maine. Really? Yeah. Well, if you ever make it up to Maine, you got to get to Red's Eats and have a lobster roll. Oh, that man. is that is a Let's precious go. position. Let's go. Let's go now. Let's yeah, go. I'm game. We're out of here. So, so, so I just wanted to make sure because if I was going to listen to your opinion and everything like that, it's like, how do you have this opinion? Prove to me. You got to tell me, you know, because because you know, it's like I listen to Bill sometimes, and I'm like, I, I might call BS on that. You know, it's like, how do you know anything about that Bocatan or wherever the hell he went to that thing? And he's telling us all kinds of stuff about this this stuff, and he's this that everything, and it's like. Dude, did you just read that this morning to sound <laughs> smart in front of us? Because you don't it's have working. to do that. Yeah, it's working. We're idiots, okay? So so as you're telling me that, you know, that, that that's where you want to be, so you know. So let's get you in the – and did you see it? So now this is a screenshot for – oh, for Williams Enterprise. So what's it do once they click on it? Um, what's it going to bring it to? Oh. And the William Enterprise are the people that are the promoters of the show. Yep, absolutely. So that's why we're – and then we've got the other one. Tip your driver. Tip your driver, which is so cool. Like, what a yeah. great idea to not only watch, you know, or be here, actually, but to, like, be able to just go on your phone and give them five bucks, ten yeah. bucks, two bucks, 50 cents. Just no, like, it's hey, fun. Dude, it's we just love you. It's just this a is different. an expensive it's, hobby, Yeah, it's right? different and unique. It's different I mean, and even unique, if you so. win the ten grand, I mean, that's helpful, but it's – you know, it might you what might you, walk ahead today, but you lost in the battle. Right. So how so. how much are normally these cars like? like well, you got to understand, we're out here in California, and these cars are beautiful. They have a they have a mass collection of these older iron cars, comparison to the East Coast, Midwest, and everything like that, because all of our stuff is rotted away. Okay, so that's what I was hearing. So when the last thing happened, the last event, I could actually hear the cars. Oh, yeah. It made a different sound to win the other ones, but you're saying it's because they're iron framed. Yeah, well, they're all so iron framed and everything, different. but it's like your sheet metal's thinner and right. they're more tinny and you could plastic. Hear it and, when yeah. it hit. That was yeah. so But did you notice how the crowd went wild yes. with the MWFA class? I mean, that is so much fun because, you know, they don't know what the price difference between the cars. I mean, they right. probably have an idea, but, you know, they don't they don't understand it. The crowd cheered for that, and they had a blast with it. So it's like, like as I'm telling promoters, you know, you know, enjoy this class. See what this class does for the crowd because we're here for the competitors, but we're also here for the for the people in the stands. It's a two-way street. If you don't have happy people in the stands, they're not going to come back again to watch what you have for entertainment. Right. So right. Um, it's a two-way street. you got to take care of them. So. Yeah, and then for them, too, like it's a double whammy. So they're here watching, but they know they can go home and go on the YouTubes or the Facebook and boom, and watch track shot and see it all over and see things they didn't get to see wow. because of all the different cameras we have out. Yep, right? and we so got to make sure that they understand that they can do that. So, yeah. you know, that's where that's where our social media has to stretch out to the general population. Let them know to come watch and enjoy and have fun. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so Bill's got a camera by the bandstand, the grandstand. We got a big camera here. We got a camera on the announcers. And then he pulled the drone out, which is so cool. And then there's a camera in the car, one yep. of the cars. I mean, how? I mean, a one-man band. He is, a, he is a one. Yeah. Man. We're just here. We're just his cheerleaders. We hold the umbrella for him. <laughs> yeah. He does everything else. I'm feeling the sun. I'm getting some yeah, sun. Yeah, no, definitely. The sun is. Yeah. It's all right. It's behind the stand now, so we're not in it. But, uh, you know, this fat white guy's going to go back to Minnesota. <laughs> definitely tan. We're going to be. Uh, well, actually, have your farm or yeah, tan. Yeah. We got, uh, we got a week here. That we're going to be spending a week here. And we're going to go down California. south, go to Coachella. Yeah. It's we're, we're, beautiful yeah, down there. The, we're super stoked really about sweet, that. Really um, sweet. The desert there is just. And it'll be incredible now because of all the rains yeah so hopefully the flowers yep. will be coming up that's what i just read it's online so this beautiful. morning was the flowers are blooming down there yeah. they're starting to break and so that's it no we're super super excited you're gonna go about to joshua tweet um i don't know who knows it can because you can't it's close yeah you don't have to go all the way in but you can still see all the beautiful cats i gotta walk so no you don't have to walk okay. there's a whole then, then driving I might, I might trail be, all the way through no, no walking i might be into to. it then i didn't bring walking shoes yeah no that's <laughs>
<laughs> no. So, uh, so you guys are going to listen to some music tonight. I don't know if you we're going to make it or not. Oh, yeah, well, you're so. getting questionable on it. All right. Yeah. So, you know, Bill was kind of excited about it. You I know, know he wanna, loves me. Bill yeah. loves music. Yeah. If you guys don't know, there's one thing about Bill that I do know that I know isn't BS. He loves music, yeah. and he has he has an extreme knowledge of of music. Yeah. So that's that's super cool. Especially electronic music. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. I mean, yep. You know. We sit there and we talk about that different stuff. Sorry, we got the youth coming in here, Bill. Let's switch that camera over and take a look at the youth coming in because this, we want to make sure that everybody knows what the youth is. Oh, the my youth. gosh. Is there another word we could use besides youths? Youths. <laughs> the, the youths, the juniors, the juveniles. No, that's not good either. <laughs> no. I am I am, ax, I am so But what generation are they? So they're not... Where's the no. chat? Where's the chat? The YouTube yeah. chat. I am uh, I am missing. I do not have I do not have the kids' names you're killing. I this do not sucks. like this gate in front of us. Well, you're shorter than I am. <laughs> you like, can't see you over it. See All right, I'm gonna tell you what, I know the five car coming out there that's tagged in the TSL right there. That is Marshall Tucker. Uh, young kid, talk to him, amazing young man. Um, the number two pulling out, she's driving a ninety-eight uh, uh, Crown Vic there, first time driving. I got her her name earlier. I wanted to say it was Sarah, but I'm gonna be wrong at that. We don't have it, unfortunately. So uh, it is uh, it is her, her father, and they're riding with her. She is a veteran driver. Oh, and number the, seven is that the promoters? The seven X. That yes, that is uh, that is Blaine and his son is it Scott. God, I I am horrible at this. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, this is one of those things, but anyway, this is the youth classes. Oh, Rhonda, thank you so much. She stepped away and giving Jason Sauer the microphone back. Yo. Rhonda, that was awesome. Super nice. What do you nice. think of that, Sauer? I brought us part. That's awesome. That is sweet. Uh, it went really well. Everybody is super pumped that they got to do it. Uh, the guy out there in the white uh, car that I got this from, that's first time ever driving in a demolition derby. He's a tough truck guy. He figured he'd step away from tough truck. He's got the tough truck for tomorrow. But he figured he'd try derby. He that's wants awesome. to know when the next most wanted class is. <laughs> that is There's perfect. about three or four people that said to me immediately, when is the next most wanted class? What is, uh, do you know what, what Blaine's son's name is? Is it Scott? No? Dang it. Sorry. Sorry all right, they're starting this right here, Vegas style, stir and dirt style. Ooh. We are going around in circles. This is how they're doing it. Look, Bub Nation. Oh, here we go. Hey, yo. Nice, <laughs> just on the gas. Just doing it. Everybody. Everybody's doing hard lifts. Yeah, on the gas! Right here it is, folks. This is the true future of Demolition right. Derby right here. Thank you so much, Blaine Williams, in coming out here and bringing this to California and giving these kids a place to grab the wheel, a foot full of throttle, and just enjoy smashing, crashing, wrecking Demolition Derby style. That's so cool. Oh, Blaine, watch your elbow. <laughs> oh. Bill, that got right into your camera, didn't it? They tried to knock your camera off that car, Bill. There we go. Oh, is that enough to get Marshall off of there? No, nope, they are stuck hard. Look at that thing. Come on, Marshall. Oh! Cleared that one. Wow, made it all the way to the motor. Now they're all three stuck. He might finally get out, though. I think he's free from the other car. There he is, they got out. Come on, yeah! Oh, rollover! 
Pause, pause, stop. Wilson in the number two car. Get out, safety, we got children out there. Yep. Be cool. Heart, hearts in my chest Here's right now. Here's the replay. There oh, they are. Okay. okay, all right. And her adult. Derricka Wilson and her adult. That's Derricka. a girl driver, it sounds to be. Derricka? She's okay. Yep, she's Thumbs not. Up. Look at that. They're all. Um, look at Blaine. Blaine got out of his car. Kayla Wilson in the number two car. The young gal, Kayla Wilson and her father. The Malachi Crunch. That was first certain. So I suspect this is the first of many rollovers we're about to see for the rest of this, the day, buddy. Once we get to them trucks. They're gonna start digging in. They are. Scotty Williams, it is. Scott Williams is, is Blaine's son's name. Yes. That was really good. Everybody's safe. Yep. I feel good about that. Always makes me nervous. Makes you nervous, I know. Now we can see how much they cheated with their car upside down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> JK. Joke. Wow. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh yeah, having an absolute blast. I love California. They treat us so darn good out here, Sour. It's one of those things that you just sit there and you just look at it and you just look at everybody and just smile with how much fun we're having. Mm -hmm. All right, they're all looking that car over to make sure that it's safe and everything like that. Checking for gas, checking for- They're done. They're done. They're yep. done. They're the guys I, from Ohio are like, we see gas. Yep. Alex, Alex is out there just doing it. Thank you to the safety crew. Thank you to the fire department that's here. You know, it's it's one of those things that that sucks to be taken out that way. You know, not being able to get back in a car that could possibly run and go, but it's uh, it still comes down to safety as number one. We we want everybody to go home safe and uh, enjoy the next day. Ah, they started it. Blew dirt out of everything. <laughs> Look at all the dirt they're blowing out of it. All right, they're gonna let them drive it off. Yep, I it. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, a car like that that's full of gas, it just takes a simple little spark to, to make a problem. So. Yeah, we don't want any of that. We've, no. had, we've had good luck up until this moment right now, and let's continue with that great luck. It's still stuck. Excavator. Never mind. We're done with it. Yeah. <clears throat> Little Irish folk music in the background, just getting things jammed up, ready to go. That's right, we can't let them hear it though, yep. they'll block our stream. Yeah, we just gotta talk about it. We can talk about anything we want, they just can't hear it. I am not feeling it for Blaine. Blaine is in a precarious situation right now. That number two car has tasted blood. Yes, yes. And Blaine is buried underneath Marshall Tucker's car. I'm sorry to say, but Blaine and Scotty are looking like chum in the water right now, unfortunately. Yeah, they look like they're about to be in a nice collision. Oh, they're like, wow. we're out of here. Oh, they're, they're working no, Oh, they together. are stuck, though. Yeah, Marshall Tucker is over that. Oh, he did get they off of that out. thing. That fender is all the way in that car. Young Marshall is not giving up. He wants more. Look at that track shot live on that car. It looks great. Little 76X on there. Oh! Nice. There it is. Oh, there it is. 
The back end of that opera window is just looking good. She folded at a 90, it's below the window. Scotty can see everything. The number two, she's driving good. She just took a wheel shot. I think she, no, she does still got good steer. Nice. I believe that number two car is Wilson, if I remember correctly. Whoa, swing and a miss. Oh! oh! Folded that thing up. Look at that. Just 90 to that the motor, Marshall Tucker and his father. Oh! oh. Careful, Dad. Yeah. Oh, there goes the bumper on that square body seven. Oh. Yeah, number Here. two got she was right on that rear wheel. Right what a shot. Again. She started losing that steering wheel and she let go of it. She got her fingers out of there. That's good. Dad must have taught her well. That's right. Blaine stuck. Blaine and Scott, they're trying to rock it out of there. They're looking for some help. Here we go. They got her. They're wiggling. They're coming out. Coming, coming in, in rear. Swing and a miss. Marshall's seen that coming, keeping that head on a swivel. Yeah. Yeah, Marshall's going to only have to look out the back of the car. Oh, Bub Nation, that's your crew. Oh, yeah. Oh, that front bumper is stuck in the ground. They got it just wedged. I've never seen that before. Man, they need that chain to break off already. Yeah, it's like, come on, leave me alone, bumper. I know you're my bumper, but get away from me. Well, this is when it gets dangerous. This is when the bumper goes through the floor pan. We don't want that. Yeah, Marshall. Nice shot by the seven right up the back. That's Finally awesome. Lost. Oh, lost the bumper fine. Only third of it. Yes. Yes. We love the youth class. Yeah, it's so great. They're done. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! You did really great! <laughs> there you go, Scotty and Blaine right there. I don't know who's more excited, dad or son, but I'll tell you what. That is an amazing situation. It's an amazing feeling to be in there and do that. That's so cool. There we go. We are green, green flag all the way around. That bumper bracket must be buried inside that sheet metal somehow. There they go, they got off of it. Uh-oh, well, here comes a wheel shot. Yeah, crowd's ready for it. Just packing them in. Just getting them tighter and tighter. Look at that, Marshall Tucker is not giving up. He's like, I'm not stopping. She backs off again. Here we go, going for that front tire. She's got it. <laughs> uh oh. We're done. There it is. They're calling it. Your last 
<laughs> Kayla yeah. Wilson. Kayla yeah. Wilson's our winner in the number two car. Oh, that fills my heart with love. I love it. That's so cool. Yeah, Michael. Woo! That was there it is. Look at that. They love it. Look at these kids having fun. Oh, yeah. There it is. Want to go fetch your camera? Get Scotty. Yeah. We're gonna get little Scotty to come on up here. Look at that, man. Look at oh, the look kids just loving each hands. other. That's yeah, awesome. Good game. Good game. Yep. That's so cool. That's the fun of it. <laughs> Let's get look all at those the kids, kids out here. Just, just excited. Yeah, once they get done with that, I want to get Scotty up here and let him tell us what he thinks of that. I don't know for 100%, but I believe Scotty is the youngest, if I remember right. Yes, because the oldest is 70 years old, and he was the... Uh, youngest, right? Scotty was 11, right? Yes, I was trying to say 12 for the camera, but, you know, it is 11. <laughs> There it is, look at that. All five of the kids right there. Huge yeah. round of applause. Yeah. Well, Blaine's got to feel good. Yes. Yes, you guys, this is the first time the youth have had a place in California to Derby. This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, that is great. That is amazing. Actually, you know what? I think we got to get Blaine up here. You both, you, come here. We're going to get both of them. Yep. Grab that other set of headphones. Yeah, did you want to grab that camera off that um, car while have, it's there? Have uh, uh, I can go Sequoia grab, the camera. grab that. Want to grab that camera while it's right there? Sit down, Scotty. Get in here, Blaine. All right. So I don't think I have to ask you if you had any fun because <laughs> neither one of your smiles are less than ear to ear. I think I may have had more fun than he did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Scotty, tell me about it. What do you think about that, brother? Well, it was real fun. Um, I don't know. It was pretty crazy fast. I'm ready for next year. Well, geez, there we go. All right. Well, so your chores list just got bigger at home it because did. you got to pay for the next car because Dad got you hooked. So now you know it's a situation where you got to earn it, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, so what did you think? What was your game plan going out there, my buddy? Uh, to drive with my back mostly. I did that pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, I just had a pretty good time. I did my game plan. I wanted pretty good. Drive back. There you go. You know what? The thing of it was is keeping your nose clean is always a good thing. Blaine, so sure. we were talking all, all day about this, that this is the first time the Californians yeah. had youth like this. You know, I mean, how does that make you feel to be able to bring this to California, buddy? I mean, it, dude, it, I, you know, I, I've been so emotional about this whole thing. It's it's such a cool thing, right? As, a, as a, a derby driver, as a dad, as a promoter, what more could we ask for? We had such a great group that was able to come out here. We're, we're literally changing the history in California Demolition Derby, and we couldn't be happier and, and more grateful for, for all of our youth drivers, all of their parents, sponsors, supporters, and Track Shot Live for bringing it to the country and, and letting everybody see it for the first time. Man, it's that awesome. Was, you know, oh, we, had, yeah. we had a rollover out here, and everybody wow. got out. They hugged and everything like that, and that young girl wanted to get back in oh, the car. Absolutely. She was ready to get back in. Uh, uh, Kayla Wilson? Yep. Was that? So okay. she's the winner. You know, how cool is that to see a young girl? You got beat by a girl, Dude. Scotty. Hey, did you notice? I mean, I don't want to rub that in or anything like that, but I tell you, it, it was it, you know the funny part about this is, is we've been saying that the whole time. These everybody around here wants powder puffs. We don't need powder puffs. Look at these young ladies getting out there and just handling their business. You yeah. know what I mean? 
Absolutely. You know, and it's odd. So, so as we sit here and we look at this, I mean, this truly is the future of Demolition Derby. Um, what, what are the next steps you're going to take to get this out all across California so these kids want to travel and come to your show for the next time? I, you know what? I, I, I don't think that there's anything more that we could do besides make sure that they see this event, right? It's, it's been great. We had the opportunity to interview these folks, the, especially the, the youth drivers we interviewed. Get them in a car. I think now that folks have seen it, you know, riding passengers a new a new thing for a lot of us here in California as well. So now that we've kind of broke through those barriers, MWFA is the same way. We 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 did it. There was those that were willing to take the chance and, and brought it here. Hey, now it's now it's an opportunity for everybody else to see how it worked and what we did. And now they can join. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And you know what, you guys, everybody out there in Track Shot World, you guys, please understand. I mean, this is a promoter right here that took took a risk, took a gamble, uh, took a lot of uphill battle to get this accepted here. Absolutely. And it's not, it, it, every state is a little bit different for allowing certain things. So it's uh, Blaine not giving up and giving Scotty and all these kids a place to come out here and wreck stuff and get uh, get get acclimated into the sport at a younger age and, and get them attached and get them away from video games. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I want to take a, a second, if I can, and, and thank uh, uh, Casey Smith and, and Frankie Guy. They, they have been they have they have been such great uh, sources of, of knowledge and experience for me to to, uh, uh, you know, call and ask questions and so so open and welcoming to hey what about this what about this and then to be uh to be invited to be one of their uh, participating promoters beyond excited and, and I, I hope that uh we made them proud with uh, the event that we just had right here i hope that the expo got to see that it may be over by now but uh anyways we're, we're excited holy cow are we excited yeah hey, you know what i like i told you i said the first time i sat in that car with my son just the, the the amplitude of excitement is out of there and i mean you just look at this father's smile right here sitting next to his son i mean you can't put a prouder prouder expression on your face than what you got right there um you know from from all across the country and tsl and everything like that to you guys right here at the spring extreme and everything that you guys got going on congratulations I'm going to say straight up, you're kicking ass in California. Right on, Keep brother. it going, my man. Thank you. Thank you guys you know, so much for being out here. Hey, Scotty, <laughs> what do you got? You got any uh, any sponsors or anything you got to give a shout out to, man? Um, Ace Hardware, they sponsored my paint. They did. Ha ha, they did. nice. Who, nice. Hey, who else are you forgetting right here? Yeah. Williams Air Prize. That's it. <laughs> I was going to say, they give you a warm roof, they give you food, they, uh, all that good stuff. So, um, you know what? Uh, what 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 your parents do to allow you to have fun and stuff like that. Uh, some kids will go through life never being able to experience something like that, you know. So, so uh, enjoy it and tell your friends to come on out and be part of it and because it's only going to get bigger and better as it goes on right here in Northern California. That's it, man. Thank you guys again. Okay. Man, it's our pleasure. Thank you so much for coming out and believing in or having us come out again and Absolutely. believing us year after Absolutely. year. And and uh, you know the the what what you guys have got here is is one of a kind. And that's uh, uh, the you know yesterday we were talking after the inspection and stuff like that that there was some tough stuff that was kind of hard to swallow and everything like that. But you know what? It's forward movement like that and actions like that to prove to everybody out there in the country you're seeing something that's going to be a fair, honest, clean show. That's why it's destination. Load your car up, come across these mountains, and come see exactly what california's got to offer that's it man we, we, we welcome all of you uh you know we're, everybody's gonna give fair shake whether i've met you today or i've, I've known you for 15 years it, it's gonna be the same thing so uh we'd be more than happy to have you your youth drivers we want to build this youth class we want to build the mwfa class so thank you guys again that's what we're doing once again trucks. congratulations the trucks coming out scotty congratulations for getting beat by a girl buddy <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, that is so cool. When you sit there and you look at that smile on, on the family here, I mean, this is real life. I didn't get to see mom anywhere or anything like that, but how cool was that? That was so, that was freaking great, man. I just, God, I love that. Absolutely love that. Jason Sauer, that, is that not sweet? God, that is best. I love it. Yes. I love it. Oh, my gosh. No, it was so good that you guys ran down there, you and Sequoia, and got that cam in the back of that thing, got some great rear-end action shots like that, and he was he was ready. He was driving that thing backwards. He had a game plan, as he said. Uh, yeah, Dad's been coaching. Yeah, no doubt about it. But did you see the smile on Blaine's face? Yeah. Yeah, that is, that is so cool. I mean, I, I got goosebumps. Well, I got sunburned is what I got. Holy yeah, look shoot. At you. You, need your, you, know? you need your uh, speaking jacket on. Yeah. No, so that's cool. Uh, Marshall Tucker. You know, I just love his name. Yeah. That name is so cool, man. I'm waiting for him to jump out with the guitar and start jamming, you know. So, um, there's, yeah. There's a good shot of him on my TikTok. I got to paint that number five on his car and the uh, 76X. 
uh, tribute with the TSL on there. So salute Marshall and his family for uh, thinking about Bobby. Yeah. And uh, having us paint. I'm having a great time. Oh. Uh, I just checked my messages real quick. Uh, America's having a great time. Uh, Josh Decker is not on his boat. And uh, he's wondering why you haven't given away more money. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like 15 grand, that's it? Jesus, cry money? Uh, I tell you. If we had Decker's money. Yeah, money, exactly. I'm if I was the number one salesman in New York like he was, I'd do six figures. But I don't have that Decker number one salesman position. So I I'm just a worthless crane operator. I was just going to say, he, he's got the number one sales job. We're, we're proud of him. Yeah. Working hard. Yeah. I mean, quitter or not, I mean, we got it figured out. He's uh, he's doing his things. You know, you guys, we sit there and we bust Decker's chops and everything like that. But he is the number one social media guy. That guy has it figured out. And he makes sure that we're getting all that information out to you guys so you can see it. So that is absolutely huge. So we totally love what Decker still does behind the scenes. Um, you know, it's just uh, uh, his family is in a position of his kids are getting older. Trent is going to start Derby in big time. He's got big plans this year. He bought year. a two-car trailer. They're going. Yeah. They're going. So. I mean, most kids buy what? Four-wheeler. Uh, Schmutty magazines. Yeah, something. <laughs> oh, bad joke. A stupid Toyota. Yeah. No, he buys a two-car hauler. Yeah. That's, you know, that's something. Yeah, that's, that's uh, you know, it, it's, it, he's dedicated. He's in. He's ready to do it. So, you know. I'm enjoying myself. I, am I think absolutely. we got what trucks next. Yeah, we got trucks. Then we've got. Uh, well, we got to get our skilled guy. Here he is, right on cue. Yep, it is. Let's get this. Let's get this zamboni and get this dirt cleaned up. Ah, oh. <laughs> zamboni. <laughs> zamboni. You're, you're making me feel at home. There, yeah, we got zambonis up in Minneapolis. <laughs> no, sand bony. Sand bony. Oh, say I got sand, it now. Sand bony. Oh. Thank you. Sour just made a funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> dad joke. Good one, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what was that young kid's joke earlier? Oh, uh, why did, did the cow cross the road? Why did the cow cross the road? I don't remember. You forgot that. the punch? I did. Yeah. I was hoping it'd come to me as well. Well, you could have told me it's like ticks, I don't know. You know, then I wouldn't have made you look I was like really a fool there. It's something about move. Yeah, <laughs> I did move over or something. Yeah, it's like, like move over. Yeah. I was like, that joke, right? Yeah, we <laughs> suck. We suck at that kind of stuff, but you know. No, that's right. Everyone will fill my you can fill my inbox with dad jokes. <laughs> that way I have better dad jokes to tell later on. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, shout out David Kettlewood, Austin Seeger. Uh, uh, big shout out. I, I just got a little bit of phone time there that I was able to look at something. Eli Hickman up there uh, working on that car for uh, Clearwater. Um, it's going to be an awesome derby coming up. Track Shot Live is going to be there again. They got a great raffle car. Um, one of the good destination derbies to head on out to. It's up in Minnesota. It's a two-day show. It's a great facility. And they do live music at the end of the night and, and party and have fun. Uh, that one there is going to be a, uh, uh, a fatty. And Mike are going to be at that one. I actually have to play hooky on that one on Friday. Totally forgot that we had a... Uh, we have a concert that Friday night we got to go to. So oh. actually, I'm going to be with Bub Nation. It's uh, Tanner's birthday weekend, and we're, we got tickets for a concert that I forgot about that the wife told me about. So Fatty's going to take my spot up there and get, uh, get everything good. But Eli is out there kicking butt. He built a nasty raffle car last year, and uh, he's doing it again. So a huge shout out to those guys up there. We got a lot of Canadians reaching out to us, letting us know that they're up there. Wow, look at that hole right there. Whoa. I want to know how Fatty did. Did he win the Van I, Derby? I don't know. I was trying to. I was looking at my phone, and and uh, if he didn't win that Van Derby, I sure hope he made it notice that TSL was there. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, God, I just got this just popped on through. You know what? We have uh, we have back-to-back -back MWFA classes um, right over there at the Badger Beatdown and at the Dakota County Fairgrounds, man. So yeah. Friday night we are running the MWFA class at Dakota County Fairgrounds, and then TSL will be at the Badger Beatdown, 
and uh, there's going to be the MWFA class there. And we are going to do something fun. We don't know exactly for 100%. We're still in the negotiation stage with it. But we want to give somebody, like, the if you run both shows, your name goes in a drawing. And we're going to give away, like, $1,000 or something in an envelope. Just give, uh, you know, everybody that's there, that if they run both shows, your name goes in a drawing. And we're going to draw and give, like, 1000 bucks away. I, I mean, love something cool out like you. that. You give away money like you're Oprah. <laughs> I love it. That's coming out of Josh Decker's pocket because he just got a huge bonus for being the number one salesman in New York. So, uh, Josh, I think we're going to try to get Josh to sponsor that one. Uh, I can just answer for him. He'll, he'll do it. All right. Sounds good. Thanks for representing Josh Decker. And I that, represent many uh, Demotion Derby drivers. I'm an agent now. Uh, he is an agent. I'm going to sign with him here so that uh, uh, I don't gonna, make I, wrong decisions and we're taken care of, you know, as to right. – who it you, is. You've cultivated <coughs> this identity, and I want to make sure you get paid. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. Oh, uh, you know I love it. Along with the sand bony. Sand bony. <laughs> oh, we got a different driver running the sand bony. Yeah, I was wondering. He's a little slower than the last guy. He looks veteran. Right. <clears throat> that guy's had a few more hundred hoagies than the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about, okay, so so we talk about destination stuff. I know we already talked about the chicken sandwich once, but, you know, as we sit here and we go out and we, we travel the country and we're, we're seeing the different parts of the country, we want to find something different and unique that we can tell you about when we come to these different towns and everything like that. Oh, I so, got, I got Jace, a, oh, sorry. Oh. I got a good one. Like, okay, we let's, got a fan. Nuno Nanas already told us where the skate park is. Nice. Right? I'm All right, that. there it is. Skate park. I don't know what we're looking at. There it is. Josh Decker. Oh, he's giving us credit. No. No way. Someone must have his Come phone. On. You've been hacked, Decker. Decker, have you been hacked? Decker's been hacked. Or wait a minute. I, I bet you Katie's got his phone. Katie's always she loves Finally, us. Finally the brains of the Yeah. <laughs> the better looking part of that family. Jake. Well, JK. I can't say that. I can't say that. Yeah, it's a Trent, beautiful Trent family. Trent is good looking. Yep. <laughs> they look like the Italian mafia when they come to a funeral, though. Oh, yeah. They just yelling at me about my artistic outfit. I could never wear that sour. I'm like, dude, you could just put on some blue pants and roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what, though. I mean, Josh and, and Katie, they're, uh, they're, they're strong Italians, um, and they, uh, they believe in family. They, they you know, support a lot of different things and everything like that. And it's just uh, it's awesome when they come when they come it's 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 love and passion and everything like that. But uh, Fatty made the comment. He, he joked with him. He said that uh, that if they showed up, if he passed away and they showed up to the funeral like that, everybody in Fatty's funeral would run away thinking they're the IRS. <laughs> so it was it was a joke. But uh, no, it, 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 it's it, it's not a joke that we, we laid somebody to rest. But it was, it was kind of fun when we were all together and. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the TSL family was, was truly there. We missed uh We missed were Micah. dressed derby casual. I, I Derby wore, casual is my favorite outfit. Yeah. I did, no. wear, I did wear my talking jacket. Derby casual. Yep, yep. But, no, only Alex and Decker had the full suit on. Yeah. Well, Alex is, Alex is a professional. Josh is a professional. So that's uh, they, they pulled it off real good. Talking about Derby Casual, you guys, let's not forget, you can go on to uh, trackshotshop.com, and you can get on there, and you can see the apparel and everything like that that we got there. We got some new awesome stuff coming out. We got uh, the, the Skin Dog shirts, Free 99 are out there, Free 99 family. We have a, a, a new stadium shirt that we just uh, – we changed up the saying on the bottom, you know, because it's truly what it is. We have, uh, we got the Hog Barn shirt we're working on, and we have Back our sponsor. Yep, we have our sponsorship shirt that has all the sponsors and everything on it. Um, so get on there, take a look at it. All of the Bobby Brockway Memorial shirts, um, you know, we did finalize those sales, and all of that stuff is being taken care of, and those shirts are going to be printed and shipped out here shortly. So thank you so much for uh, being, being patient. patient. You know, patient because we didn't want to do it in two runs because we wanted to keep as much money as possible to go to the Bobby Brockway Memorial Derby that we are working on putting together next year. So uh, thank you so much for the support of that. It was almost $10,000 in sales and shirts. In Bulls shirts has done some amazing stuff for us. Um, they've got an awesome patch that is coming out. 
that uh, we can oh, put on yeah. our jackets and everything on like our, that. Our vests. Yep. The car club vests. Yes. All right. Is it consolation time? Uh, it is consolation time. Right, so one five got, one. Oh man, we have to check the this. This is gonna be tough. I got you though. No, I don't. Oh, Michael Tick. One fifty two. I'm sorry. One fifty two. Right up here. Okay, Alex. Wolotes. Wolotes. Number seventeen X. Mike Kett. Oh, Moose. Moose. Moose has got a lot of car because he got stuck. There's 66 coming on in. That is Nick Segovia. Dixon, California. 199. We got our Canadian. Uh, Rylan Prosik. 18 hours came here. The one third car. Jason Chan. 199 is Ryland Prosik. 24. Oh, the Jeff Gordon car. Or Kobe Bryant. Javier Orozco. I had that on my podcast once. I kind of I listed the numbers 21, 22, 23, and 24. What was the first anything that comes to your mind? You don't have to answer this. It was just a question on one of my on my Cash on the Hood podcast. But 23 is is that Michael Jordan? Yeah. 23 is Michael Jordan. 24 Jeff Gordon. Okay. 21. Or Kobe Bryant, depending on who. I'm just saying other answers that came about. 22 and 21 are hard because you have to be from Pittsburgh. Yeah. 21 is Roberto Clemente. You know, because we love Public Enemy. Yep. You know I love Public Enemy. Yep. So Roberto Clemente. And then 22 is McCutcheon. Uh, McCutcheon does so much great work for 412 Food Rescue. And you know how I love community service. Oh, yeah. And so he's back in Pittsburgh. So that's a very Pittsburgh joke. So we'll move on. Or not joke, but Pittsburgh reference. But we'll move on. But, uh, yeah, you got it. So, like, the guys I was interviewing, they are all, like, into basketball. So they, they really knew the, bas the 23 and 24 is basketball, you know. It was just, it was, I, I come up with ideas, like, in case the conversation kind of gets slow. I'm like, well, let's try something fun. And, uh, you know, so when I see these numbers, I'm like, what else do these numbers mean, you know? You know, and the worst part about it is you get put on the spot on times and you go blank. <laughs> it's tough. You sit there and it's like, oh. <laughs> right, well. <clears throat> and it might turn out to be some entertaining. Some come up, might come out of your mouth a story that turns the uh, how it goes? Oh, we got here. There we go. That is the Concy, and that is the Concy. Okay. Do we have a feature? No, they got to win. Okay. So all right. There it is. I see it. Excellent. Got it. Perfect. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. They're taking eight into the feature here. Oh, I told you we're trying to get everybody to the feature, and I think that's wonderful. Michael Tix, how old were you when you had your first derby? Uh, when I had promoted my first derby? Uh, or when I derbied my first derby? You derbied your first derby? I was 15. Really? Yep. And it was your mom that got you into it? No, it's actually no. It was actually a vocational teacher of mine that helped me get into it. Um, yeah, so no, it was it was kind of one of those things that uh, I used demolition derby to occupy my time, so I didn't go to prison. You've done well. Derby has uh, helped you out. Yes, I it was. Uh, I had way too much free time on my hands, and I was making some horrible decisions with my free time. So I heard uh, you had a pager. Uh, I did have a pager. <laughs> I had a blue see-through pager, and I had every color of jabos they had. My <laughs> wife hated me. <laughs> she thought I was. She. Um. I don't know what she thought I was, but she did not. She did not like my appearance. <laughs> so, um. You know, it is what it is. But I. I, I won her over at the go. end. So. Yep. That's how it works out. You're the best. <laughs> there we go. Now we got it figured out. 
your law and order did not work worth a crap sour, all right? It, there was missing evidence is what it was. You missed that on law and order. Right, yeah, I got to watch some more, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, but so back to my demolition derby. Yes, I, I got into it to occupy some time and uh, and keep me out of trouble. So and uh, it did a great job of that. Um, we've had a, had a lot of fun. And, and over the years, it changed from competitive competing and helping people to promoting to track shot to were all this stuff. Were you an inspector before you were a promoter? Yes, I was. Yep, yep. We uh. We inspected. Uh, we inspected with uh, DI. We ins we inspected with a lot of different places. Um, you know, I, I, I had the privilege to travel the country and, and help out multiple places inspecting and in doing that. So um, that was a that was a privilege. So uh, I had some behind the scenes before uh, I I done my own shows. And all right. Uh, Josh Tag sent me a message of what I was smelling in the air. I was smelling California. Remember when I was like, what is that smell? <laughs> He's like, it's California, buddy. Well, I thought you would have known that. Then it's something new to me. <laughs> <laughs> so it is California. All right, we still got more cars coming out. You said the 24. We have the 44 coming out. Justin Monk. We have a 23 coming out, bright yellow 23. Jim Miller. The 107, old Ford coming out. Kyle Moorhead. We got the Shark, a 34, I believe it is. Do, do, Apex Predator, 34 is Joshua Holt. And we have the 23. Jim Miller. 83, I'm sorry. Oh, 83 is Jesus Campos. We have the B09. Bobby Burley. The number 11. Ken Dreska. The 16R. Robert Bright. The 69. Ron LaPlante. That is a beautiful, clean, beautiful, clean convertible car. They got that rear end down. It's not chained. They got her down. Springs are folded in, and that looks like that might round it up. The number 69 car, the last one coming in. What would you say, eight? Eight going to the feature. 15 cars out there. It's got a one or two chance. There it is. There it is. We got a helicopter coming over for a sneak peek of what Demolition Derby is all about in Northern California. Oh, 66 is done. He's out. He just drove out. Nick Segovia. Something's happened with Nick. Now it's a full one to two shot. Take seven out of these 14. There's some good clean stuff out here because some of it got stuck. Let's do it! Moose is already on the gas. He's like, let's go party. Okay, Barbie. Wow, number one. Number one zero seven, seven coming in front of us. Got a got a bad side on that motor, laying a smoke cloud down. Oh, the number eleven is buried right in the middle. Moose is buried in the middle. The track is just falling apart right there in those little soft spots. You got to be smart and stay off your gas. Don't dig that hole. I don't know that. I do not know how to drive like that. 30 less seconds. Sour will be stuck. Yes. I'll either ruin all my equipment or be stuck in 30 seconds. <laughs> all the way from British Columbia. Woohoo! Drove right up the back of Holt. Bobby Burley. Nice shot right there in front of us, the B-09. That's Bobby Burley. Yeah, that car is so straight up front. 83, remember got shot out of the stadium. Jesus Campos, he's back. This time gonna stay away from the tires, I can assume. Wow, Moose is buried. No, Moose got out. Moose is over there, the 44. Oh, that's 44 that's buried. Yep, Moose got out over there, Someone 69. Took his place. Wiggled his way over there and got buried, and Moose wiggled out. 
Ah, oh, great shot right in the middle there by Moose Took. Yeah, he did. Oh, 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 oh. Moose, Moose, Moose goes over. over. He's, kicking tire, he's kicking dirt in his face. Lay off the gas. He's too old to have dirt spit in his face. Moose laid himself over, but what a good shot on the 199 he laid. There's the replay, folks. Watch us closely. Here it comes around. Moose is just laying it on. Almost sends Ryan over, and he takes the lid instead. Uh, what did Moose say? 30-some years of Demolition Derby. 40. 40. 40 years of Demolition Derby. Look at him. He's out. He's happy. He's pumped. He's like, turn it over. I want to go somewhere. Yep, let's get this thing going. I don't know, you guys, but I can say California is putting on one hell of a show for you guys at home. Ooh, those headers are just full of mud. Oh, don't touch them, Moose. They're hot. Yeah, there's some hot, some hot pipes. I will never forget the time I jumped out of my car and grabbed onto those things. <laughs> one time. <laughs> one time. Were you Thank God I had gloves on. Oh. It still was miserable. Ooh. Oh, God, you got my feet tingling just thinking about oh, it. Oh, my goodness. No, thank you. They're trying to clear that stuff out, get that dirt out of there. I mean, you're, you're shoving it down, though. Yeah, you got to hope like hell that you ain't got any burnt valves that's going to suck it down and in. Well, this is above my pay grade here. What happens when the header is full of dirt? Tell, tell me, because I don't know. Well, number one, it's going to block all of the exhaust. It's not going to be able to come out. you got to hope and pray that if you turn it over that it could push it out, but it could do worse damage in there. So What could happen if it is blocked? It'll just blow out the header manifold-like gasket? Well, obviously, it's going to find its weakest point to relieve itself, so... You know, and if it's got nowhere to go out and that compression's coming up and, and you got all that extra compression on there and it ain't releasing anywhere, you know, it just doesn't work. It's an air compressor. It's got to yeah, release. It, it, it won't fire because yeah. it won't get any air. Well, it'll get air. You know, that's coming through the carburetor. That's okay. exhaust, so it can't oh, relief bad. it. It's kind of like being constipated. you got to tell me like I'm dumb because I don't know. Well, I just told you it's kind of like being constipated. Okay. Yeah, they're straightening out his roof sign a little, popping on his roof. Popping that hood up a little, or the roof up. That thing was uh, down in his head. He's a tall boy. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he needs, he needs everything he can get. He does. You know, you see some of those guys that run those really short headers. You know, that would protect them in that way that, that they wouldn't have to worry about that. But, you know, there's benefits for tall headers and short headers. Everything's got its place. What is the benefit of a tall header? Well, some motors like that back pressure in them, and they just run a little bit better, so that's kind of one of the, the give-take things. Um, you'll see guys that'll, that'll run headers, and they'll find out where their best back pressure is, and they'll cut them off at that point and put their collector at them. Huh. What about the headers that have those, like, hoses off of them that go to the manifold covers? That's an EVAP system. That is, uh, that is crankcase evacuation pressure right there. That's gonna gonna drop if you got a motor that produces a bunch of crankcase pressure. Crankcase pressure, uh, that that'll actually evac that pressure, so it takes stress away from the motor on the bottom end. Mm. My my red line motor has those. Yes. Yep. Steven Sickles red line motor. Yeah. Well, I, I was speaking in past tense. <laughs> past story. My uh. one time red red line motor before I went all in on the most wanted class. And you know what, Jason, thank you so much for giving up that stuff and going all in in the most wanted class because I'm telling you, that, uh, that, is, that class is, is going places. It proved it. In a couple years, look at what that thing has done. That is so cool. In a matter of 18 months, it changed my, everything about my derby. I was constantly chasing you. How do I have Michael Tix's stuff, equipment? How do I participate where Michael Tix and his gray Lincolns participate. And it just, I couldn't keep up, man. I just couldn't keep up. I just don't know enough about it. And I'm just so busy with other things that I, you know, it, my passion is still there. I just don't have, 
it just didn't work out for me that I just didn't have what it took to move on to the level. Look at that beautiful drone footage sponsored by 448 Design right there. Yeah, Thank we're you back. so much. Back live demolition derby. Is Moose in his car? He's not starting. I don't see anything coming out of that exhaust either. I think he... We might be to our seven here. Oh. Burley's stuck. Number 34 Holt is stuck over there. He's buried in. He's got just buried hard. Yes! Good one job third. by one third. Jason Chan. You guys seen that overhead. What a best view you could see that from right there from that drone camera. I heard a, I heard a horn. I heard a horn. Nope. They're telling a dude to break a stick. Oh, Moose is in his car. One third, third coming back in. Nice front corner right shot. Right on the wheel. The shot. 152 is coming in. 152. Let's up. There we go. There I think we're flag. down to it. There it is. Trunk I'd monkey car made it to the feature. All right, we got the 152. All right, 152, Alex Wolos. We have the 16 junior car. And that brings the conclusion to Robert Bright. Down, we have the one third car. Jason Chan. I am thinking that the 99 and 34 are making it also. Joshua Holt. And the 199 of Ryland Prosik. And I can't see what that last car is over there. So, how, what happened to 69? Ron LaPlante. That golden black car. It's way over there. Remember, he got it was buried. All jacked up real tall. He got buried. Would have been a good time to have a tall car, huh? I guess it's the. It doesn't matter how tall the car is, it's how hard the rear end is off the dirt. I'm learning. All right. Oh, we got a mad dog too. One oh, guy. awesome. Good job, Ryland. 83 was that other car that's making it. That is Jose, er, Jesus. Jesus Campos. I bet you he feels pretty good about that because in that heat, remember, he was shot out into the parking lot. Yeah. So to be able to come back in from that and be able to make it to the feature, that's that's pretty cool. So now these guys are going to get to go back, work on their cars for a little bit while the trucks come out here and do their damage and uh, put on a good show for you all across the country. These guys got not a whole lot of time to work on them to get them ready for the feature. What do you think? It's time for some videos from Bill? Yes. Bill doesn't have his headset on, though. Oh, that's, that's right. right. He's flying he, the drone. Come on, he can't do it all. Do it all, Bill. Ah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Look at these instant replays, though. This is uh, they've got some good, some good, good replay stuff going on. Yeah. Yes. I need a water so much. Yes. This California sun has got me Purge. dehydrated. You are so burnt. You've never seen that much sun since you went to Florida. Yeah, <laughs> right? We're doing it. Doing it and doing it well. We're going to have to keep getting you shorter and shorter sleeves as the week goes on until eventually you're in a tank top. Yeah. That way you can get you burnt from the shoulder down to your <laughs> fingers. <laughs> I got a week in California. I'm going to go back a crispy critter. Are we going in the ocean? Might as well. Right? Might as well. Why not? Got to touch the ocean. That's kind of how it goes, right, when you get to California? Well, that's the reality of it. You know, it's like, well, Garrett's never seen the ocean on this side. Well, yeah, I guess he has. He's been up in Seattle. So, yeah, he has seen it. Yeah, I say that's where I had Rowdy in the ocean is in Seattle. Yeah. What? what? Yeah, let's get him going, Bill. Let's do those videos, please. Maybe he has a chance to see Maddie 
What do you say? He's hungry. We want a little bit of warning? Hey, Bill, how about put those videos on now? He's, he's like, I'm hungry <laughs> now. He's like, you guys have got me out here working. Yep. We'll get the videos going and everything like that. Look at that. Bobby Brockway in the background. This side. Right, right. Um, stage yeah. left. I haven't figured yes, out where I'm at on camera. Is. Hey, that Bob, is. we love you. Salute Anthony from Cannonball who made that for us. Yes. Uh, he didn't even tell me what he made. He's just like, you get the mail yet? And then when I did get the mail and I opened it, my heart. He's like, you don't mind if I combined all those images? I'm like. No, just go find somebody and put oh, that wait, one no, in there. No, no, no. You that, want oh, the guy who got oh. who had the camera last time in the old car. Who was the guy with the old car that got the Mad Dog? He runs trucks, too. Uh, um, 100. 100? All right here. Uh, Dylan Peterson. Okay, so yep. That was at uh, the 100. He's got the 100 car. He's parked right over there. By oh, wait, wait. No, no. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Hold on. He was... He was in that white car that we put the... Uh, no. It, that car is in rough shape. No, he's he, running trucks. Oh, I know, but let's let's put it in for the feature. Let's put it in Dylan Peterson's car. Oh, I thought he's putting it in a truck. No, no we want it for the feature. Hey, Jason I will Sauer. never talk over top of you again. No, no, please do every single time because then when I'm wrong and you talked over me, then it's your fault. Right. I'm, I'm totally good on... I am totally good on protecting my bad decisions. So if I can pawn my bad decision or my bad call off on anybody... It's 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 upper management. I get this stuff, so you know. My bad. I just jump right in and start talking, and I should have just did some listening. No, no. I think Dylan Peter. He's got the he's got the best car going out there, out of the Mad Dogs, and mm -hmm. you know we'll, we'll we'll send it out there. And he did a good job running backwards, running everything, giving us a and great, a great paint job. Yeah, absolutely. Great. You know I I love absolutely. that. Absolutely. And here we go again, waiting for Bill. Bill's hungry. He he needs a Snickers. He's guy. Yeah, I know. He's being a diva right now. He's gonna turn into Josh Decker <laughs> if you don't feed him. Yeah, it, it's coming. It's right around the corner. You know. Burn, burn. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen, we're getting some insider information on how the production is done. You're watching it in real time. That's what happens when you do live. And you're live with track shot live as you get to see real time production. Yeah, absolutely. That and that and that's kind of the funny thing like that. You know, if people sit there and talk like, oh, you know, this, that, everything is like, remember, we are not professionals by no means. Um, so last night it was really fun because we got here and uh, we had a couple cold adult beverages and uh, they had some great barbecue. We didn't do that. We were fuller than heck, you know. And uh, they did the live draw. So it doesn't matter who you are, what you are. There's no favoritism here whatsoever. So right here, you're going to see what last night was all about, where they did the live draw and everything like that, drawing the second round of the heats. And uh, Bill, why don't you go ahead and take a, let's take a look at that, please. What a day. Holy crap. You guys are making us work today. But thank you for being here. We are uh, very excited to get going on our uh, second day of 2023 Spring Extreme. Um, it's been a, a long day, but we are uh, beyond excited to, to have everybody here finally. We've got the, the folks that are here to drive. We've got some awesome cars, super clean cars, trucks. Uh, so we've got our youth class here. We've got some of our youth drivers, MWFA folks. Derby trucks, mud trucks, tough trucks. So we're here, we're ready. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody for, for showing up today and, and uh, doing their part to get their vehicles prepared to compete. And uh, we're going to get into our drawing here in just a second. But before we do, I want to remind everybody that tomorrow morning, driver's meeting, a mandatory driver's meeting at uh, 9 a.m. right here. So 9 a.m. tomorrow, all drivers. If you know a driver, make sure that they understand they gotta be here tomorrow at nine. Uh, we're gonna do a derby parade. So one of the coolest things about Spring Extreme last year that I thought was the parade of cars leaving the barn. So at 10 a.m., right after the driver's meeting, we're gonna have all the, dri all the uh, derby vehicles. They're gonna exit the barn. They're gonna head out to the asphalt here and loop around to the pits. So. If you're uh, at home and you're going to be here tomorrow, show up at 10 and check out. We've got, we've got a number of cars that are going to be out there. It's going to be great. Uh, after the 10 o'clock release of the cars from Impound, Derby will begin at 12 o'clock sharp. So 
be ready, get the stuff topped off, get it chained up, tightened up, and ready to roll. Merchandise. We're very limited on merchandise this year, so if you want something, you better come get it tonight before it's gone. Uh, track shot has also, if you haven't seen them, Sour and Ticks are here somewhere. Uncle Bill's right in front of me now. This is his microphone. Uh, so make sure you say hi to them. They brought some merchandise with them as well that we're going to have over here in the merch tent. If you want to get some TSL stuff, uh, I'm not exactly sure what they brought, but Kate will get it up soon, and uh, we'll get going. So... Check out, get your merch. Okay, we're gonna move into our heat draw now. All right, you know what, Jason? This is one of the great things about a destination derby and a traveling derby because this is how the heat draws are done. There's no favoritism, there's no behind closed doors. It's all right here, right out in the open. You know I love it, I like transparency, right? This is really cool. Look at this barn that's happening right here. He's holding court up here. Everyone here is anxiously waiting what heat they're gonna draw because they don't know who they're going to battle against. A lot of these guys already know each other. You know what I mean? So it could be friend versus family or maybe something else. Yeah, absolutely. So, hey, if you guys are out there and you're watching this, this is why you come to Spring Extreme right here in Yuba City 2023. It's proven two years in a row. This is a fair, clean, honest show, level playing field. Don't forget, be one of the travelers. Get your butts on out here and wreck a car right here at Yuba City. You know it. We love Destination Derby here at Track Shot Live. So... Follow along. Hey, I need you to please like, share, and subscribe. Without you guys, without the sponsors, Track Shot Live can't be who we are today, right? We need Blaine to bring in them sponsors to help us out because free 99 is because they're sponsors. It's free 99 because you great sponsors out there, we thank you, and it's not for you guys, it's for everybody out there. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> We're here in Yuba City just tagging strollers. All right, right back here, 2023 Yuba City, Spring Extreme. Who am I standing here with? Mark Hare. Mark Hare. Now, you know what's really funny is I got to meet you last year, and uh, I never thought I could ever meet such a manly florist. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's what I do. <laughs> All right, this guy builds the best flower bouquets, and then he's out here on the weekend wrecking cars. Tell me about last year. Uh, pretty fun. Blaine put on a good show. Felt uh, he made some good improvements already that we can see before the show's even started, and fair tech, and it's looking good. So, You know what's really cool about that is, now this year we've got some people that are traveling in. we got some people coming in from a distance. It's not just a California show. Yeah, it's nice to have the out-of-state drivers and little diversity and mix it up, you know. It gets kind of tired going against the same guys every show, so it's nice to bring in a little diversity. You know what? I have to say something, Mr. Harry. You guys put on one hell of a show out here in California. If you've never been out here to see and witness this as a destination derby, you are 100% missing out. The diversity of the cars, the diversity of the build, and the camaraderie that these drivers bring to you as an outsider coming in and seeing, they make it welcome right here in California. Yuba City 2023 back again. It's getting bigger and better every single year. Yeah, just want to say thanks, Blaine, and thanks to all the drivers, and let's get it on. That's what it is. Track Shot Live bringing it to you 2023 once again. All right. Mike Tix here. Who am I standing here with? Ralph Garcia. Ralph Garcia from California. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, one of the inspectors here. Tell us, what. Uh, how was today with inspection? Uh, it was okay. It went well and kind of got rocky, but, you know, I think we got everybody on the same level you know, level playing field, so. You know, it's kind of tough. I, I know there's a couple cars on the trailer out there. Yeah, I know there's a couple yeah. cars that are still working on some stuff and everything right, like that. Right. But you know what? Uh, putting a level playing field, that's what makes outsiders right. travel in, correct? Right, right. That's it. I mean, we try to get everybody on the same page. Um, we don't want nobody to be over, you know, built, get everybody just to have a good time out there and know that they're, you know, equal, you know, 
no more than the other. So, yeah. And that's, you know, a tough thing to do. But, you know, as long as everybody, you know, plays to the rules, then we'll be good tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. So last year we were here, we got to enjoy, you know, 2022 here at Yuba City with you guys. We've seen a lot of things. Blaine spent some time. He came to New York. He took a look right. at some other shows, brought some uh, brought some out-of-town inspectors to help you guys yeah, out. Yeah. What do you Very think cool. about that? that? That worked out pretty good. I mean, these guys, you know, helped out quite a bit. Um, they know their stuff for sure. You know, and they caught on real quick to what, you know, our role package is because I know it's different than, you know, out-of-state stuff. But um, for the most part, it went really well, and I'm glad to have those guys. They're really knowledgeable. So. You know, it's really good to have somebody like you, Ralph. I know you've been derbying for a long time. How many years have you been behind that wheel, sir? Uh, okay, uh, you don't got to say it. <laughs> 37 years, man. Uh, you know, I got the great privilege to meet you uh, years ago and everything like that. Uh, the Derby family just keeps expanding right. and everything like that, and I absolutely honor what you guys do here in California because it Thank is a you. unique show. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I mean, I know our rule packages are probably a lot different than, you know, a lot of the out-of-state, you know, shows and stuff. Um, but we're catching up. I think, you know, we're, we got our own standards and stuff, and they're high standards. You know, we're just, I'm just trying to uphold that, you know, with all my experience and stuff, and just trying to, you know, kind of spread that out, especially to the newer folk and stuff getting into the sport. So, you know. You know, the biggest thing that I have to say is don't be afraid of what the rules are across the country. Worry about what your rules right, are here right. because what's written on that rule package here is what exactly. you guys follow. follow yeah. So that outsider making that travel over here to Northern California to be here at Yuba City, that's gonna they know they're going to get a fair shake at it because they're following that rules and that's what you guys are inspecting. Yep, yep, you're correct. And, um, you know, um, that's what you're going to expect when you get here. You're going to get uh, Thorough Tech, you know, with all my guys that helped me. Um, we've been doing this together for a long time. And um, I think that's been our standard, and everybody knows that when they come, you know, we're going to hope we don't miss much and hold everybody to the same rule. Well, you know, the thing of it is, is you're going to miss something because if you're perfect, you yeah. can never be better. I'm and you always want to be able to be better. And you know what I yeah. like to be better with is drinking them cold cervezas with yeah. the afterwards, my <laughs> yes, man. Sir. That's right. We'll throw a little bit of tequila in there because that's my favorite. <laughs> you know that. So, um, yes, yes, for sure. And, um, you know, I just hope everybody that comes out ends up having a good time. I know it's frustrating for a lot of the guys to get on, you know, get their cars, you know, to tech and get through tech, I should say. And um, just going to try to make it, you know, a good, fun show the rest of the way. We might have hit some bumps and bruises here along the way, but we're going to better ourselves. I never say I'm perfect. You know, I just try to be the best I can be, you know, and push that on to everybody else. Absolutely, but you know, from Track Shot Live, we cannot thank you guys enough for being Track Shot Live family. We love you guys for free 99. We love everything that you do on and off the track and uh, the recreational portion. I love that big hug when I see you every yes, time, sir. buddy. Yep. I look forward to that too. I'm so glad to see you. As you know, you saw when you got here and I saw you, I got to come over and you know, give that hug to you, man, because you know, you're part of my family too. You know, we go out out of state and wherever I see you, you know, we're always going to be family. So. Yeah. You heard it right appreciate there. No, we Thank we you. appreciate you. Track shot all the way, brother. All right, man. Love you, Ralph. Yep. Thank you so Thank much. You. You're, you're welcome, Mike. Okay. Hey, I'm Jason Sauer here with Track Shot Live. I'm with one of the most wanted fine art minivans that's going to be running this weekend. And what we have is we have Madison up here holding on to the first place trophy. As you can see, we got a Track Shot Live sticker on there. The Spring Extreme 2023. Someone's gonna win that first place. We got a second and third place, of course. I'm very humbled and honored that promoters across America think the most wanted fine art class is something that they wanna put on for their grandstands. And I'm telling you, it's deep in my heart. I love it. Madison, you love it? I love it. I love it, man. I'm telling you, Yuba City's where you wanna be. With Williams Enterprises, they throw off the Spring Extreme 2023, we're gonna have Demolition Derby on day one and then Tough Trucks on day two. I'm excited to see what the Tough Trucks are about. We're gonna meet some- Mud Bogs. And the Mud Bogs? And the Mud Bogs. And the Mud Bogs. So we're gonna be meeting some of these drivers in the pits and we're gonna bring them to you, especially on the second day. You're gonna to wanna to stick around and watch some great track shot live action. Come out guys, It'll be great fun for the whole family. Where'd you go? We did do it a derby. Ow, my head! You wanna do a derby? Hey, Derby World. 
This is All For Him Racing Videos, where Derby never ends. We have people come up and ask, what is All For Him Racing Videos? And the answer is a YouTube channel dedicated to growing the sport of demolition derby in a positive and fun way. Our passion is to show the next generation this sport and capture the memories for generations to come. We're just trying to show that you can be a Christian, do crazy and exciting things like Demolition Derby, and just spread the word. We have traveled all over the country filming events all while meeting many great people, hearing amazing stories, seeing the passion for this sport, and falling in love with the Derby community. We have grown to be the largest Demolition Derby channel on YouTube across the world, with millions of views within our large library of videos. We love what we do and can't wait for what the future has in store. We always want to be a place for positive, exciting, and action-packed derby videos. Thank you, Derby World, and enjoy the videos. back again and that's what it is we uh there wow that's crazy a little bit too much all right turn it up a little bit who's playing with these things dang it knock it off all right much better nice <laughs> so, all right you guys you just watched ab cat tech right there you watched some of those uh, commercials uh, that is a huge shout out to AB Cat Tech. I mean, you want to sell your catalytic converters to a professional company. You just seen it firsthand right there. That's what they are. They cut, they test, they know exactly what it is, and they keep trying to pay the top dollar they possibly can in a tough industry right now. So uh, it is. Things have changed for you guys. You've got uh, paperwork to do now. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on, which is that's good because that's eliminating a lot of the illegal activity in there. Uh, we always did the due diligence and everything like that as I speak. You know, I'm a, uh, a buyer for AB Cat Tech, just like Skinny and Chris and Mikey and all those guys. And that's just what it is. But, I mean, it's uh, uh, they unfortunately weren't able to make it over here to the, to the northern part of California to buy stuff uh, for this show. Just a little busy. California laws are quite unique over here. But uh, that is the key thing with AB Cat Tech is they follow the laws. They do the things right. And they try to pay you the absolute best that they can in the tight market that we are in right now. I'm looking for the truck paperwork. I don't have any truck paperwork yet. I uh, I have not seen that myself. I keep either. getting. I got the most wanted text. Oh, you got that? One, yeah. Yeah. No. So we just went out there to uh, the food court or the food. I guess it's not a court, but it's out here. Like it's like a park. 
Yeah. There's like a water park out back here. And uh, the lines along, the food trucks are kicking out some great stuff. We tried to feed Uncle Bill, uh, maybe in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, trying, trying. Hey, I got to give a big shout out. I just seen this one. Bean and Mel down in Iowa, some of Bobby Brockway's best friends. Um, you guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting and everything like that. Miss you guys. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's tough, but, you know, looking and seeing Bobby in the background every time, uh, it's got to help just a tiny little bit knowing that he's still here watching over us and uh, that's that's just what it is. So thank you so much, you guys, for giving us a shout out, man. Yeah, really. Uh, don't worry about us getting our sunburns. I let the top of my skull burn. I really do. Just let her have it. Yeah, uh, my, my, my toothpaste arms <laughs> are cooked, <laughs> you know, but uh, I didn't want to put on a sweatshirt and cover up my arms and not, not let you see the Brian's Machine Shop shirt. You know, one of our great sponsors this year stepped up and having fun with us. That's uh, super awesome. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, I, just, I just couldn't cover that stuff up. I got to get a new uh, Delara Los Angeles hat. I was going to wear it because I was coming out here, but it was so filthy. I ran it through the washing machine twice, and I was like, I think this thing needs to be retired. <laughs> like, it needs to go. Like, so I have, like, stuff like Demolition Derby uh, stuff that I saved. One of those things I've saved is the sport jacket that you were able to find in the back of a truck for me uh, that was all cut up from, like, a Halloween costume. Oh, Dylan's jacket, yes. Dylan's jacket. I yes. still have Dylan's jacket. So I put the Delara hat next to Dylan's jacket. Uh, the Iron City Nationals where the bumper came in and ripped the sport coat off my shoulder after it hit, hit me in the skull. I uh, kept that jacket. Uh, that was a good one. That was the first time out ever called in a demolition derby. <laughs> I, wasn't, I was making sure that I didn't lose my uh, shoulder muscle because it, like, come in right to the window and, like, clocked me in the side of the head. That's why you guys have your Minnesota Nets. No, oh, I do not run Minnesota Nets because I had a Minnesota Fire and my fat Minnesota butt could not get out of my Minnesota truck, and I will never run a net again because I want every exit I possibly can have. That is that is from one nervous, fat son of a gun. I don't fit through the uh, door window. It's because my legs are short and not flexible enough. I, like, I watched Steven Sickles do it, and he's – bigger and taller than me and he just like steps right into that car and just gets into a compact and i'm like through the door yeah i like watch jd king do it he doesn't even weld or do anything his door he just opens the door gets in shuts it go wins the derby opens the door and gets out yeah well you know there's something to be said with that you know it's uh one of those deals so uh, i'm gonna tell you one thing we're having a ton of fun out here in california it's everybody's coming on out here talking to us and cheering us on and giving us mm -hmm. thanks and props and everything like that. We uh, we absolutely appreciate the living heck out of y'all. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for it. Right? I do love it. And, like, look at, we're about to see some security. Security guard The right security there. is He's, so yep. tough and full. What is this? Two of our friends sent it to us from home. Uh, you made it? We're watching. Yep, there it is. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Uh, ah, we got French track shot live. Yeah, worldwide. Our man, right there. There's one of our interviews. We've been waiting for this guy to come on up here. Mark Hare himself, the 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 meanest, dirtiest, nastiest florist you'll ever meet in your life. Right here, Sour. You got this, man. I mean, I, I got figured, you. I figured a couple artists should be together on this one. Mark, I'm going to give you the. Oh, we got the extra set of headphones. Yep. All right, that's awesome. We were waiting for this man to come on up here. All right, world, who do we have sitting here with us? Hold on, we got a chair coming for you. Pause. Pause. Whoop. Live production. It's a, li it's a live show. All right. All right, we're in. All right. Who do we got here? Mark Hare. There it is. Yep. The, the meanest florist you'll ever meet in your life right there, you know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, you guys, when we sit there and we joke about him, we talk about him being a florist and everything like that, he truly is. That is his profession. That's his, <laughs> his, his art is making pretty bouquets. So he'll send the prom date off with a beautiful bouquet, and he's going to take her grandma's car and go wreck it on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I look like a florist, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, you work with your hands all day, right? I do. I do. You, you're there working with the flowers, and then you go home and work on those cars. That's it. That's it. So right? The, tool, the tools fun. just change. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all fun. 
So, Mark, where is your shop at, and what is the name of it, buddy? Uh, Forever Yours Flowers and Gift Shop. We're out of Grass Valley, California, right on the border of Auburn and Grass Valley. So, What a great name for a town. Um, they call it Grass Valley for a reason. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, where Tix and I are from, we don't have valleys or like you know like how you guys have mountains we were yeah. talking to somebody who has eight generations in a valley out here and like, yeah and just to hear how it spoke you know it's gotcha. pretty yeah. interesting we're on the foothills there so not not crazy up there in the mountains but mm. base of the foothills so it's nice well what's up with those tires you had a lot of flat tires out there i i don't know what that was about uh i yeah they're not flat they both came off so really we're not allowed bead locks for this show so um it's all good Got it fixed. I uh, got a serious caddy kink going on. So um, we're going to send it right out of the gate. Nice. So nice. I can't dink and dunk. We're going to send it. So Good. No, yep. I was going to ask you what your strategy is going to be, and you just answered that one without asking. So yep. I'd love to hear yep. that, you know. Mm -hmm. Not hiding it. So that's what's All right. Happening. All right, you guys. So you're going to see him out there, and you want to cheer this man on. Get on there. Get the pictures. Send it out there. Follow him on Facebook. See what's going on. You know where his shop is. Uh -huh. Get on there. Like that. Follow that. You guys are on Facebook. I'm with your shop, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, yep. all that. Yep. I, I remember seeing it. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't get that. I'm not that smart of a guy. I see the stuff, and it's like, oh, my gosh, darn it. <laughs> You know, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys get on there, love, like, share, and uh, let them know what's going on, and right. make sure you make some noise back at home for them. Right. Do you uh, ship flowers? We do. There yeah. you go. So anybody anywhere in America can get a bouquet from you. We can do wire outs. Yep. So that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. So. So yeah. you do more than that. You and I are in the sticker trade. Yes. I yes. love it. You yeah. were one of the first. I put a call out in the world. I was like, who wants to trade some stickers? Yeah. yeah. You mailed me some stickers. I did. It was yeah, pretty cool. That was cool. I took your stickers all the way to Miami. I've taken them to L.A. I've taken yeah. your stickers to New York City. Yep. And I, I appreciate you being a part of my tiny little yeah. click of stickers. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a beard of flowers. Yeah. I, I'll have to bring one by later. But, yeah. I yeah, probably have so. some in my Well, you don't somewhere. have to go too far. All you got to do is go back and look at TSL Live because we put it on one of the California shows. We put it in yeah. the banner. It was here and it was Red Bluff. Yeah. And the O of the shot. Yep. I was going to yeah. say is that we put it on the O. I couldn't remember if we got it here first or if we got in red bluff here then red bluff and it's actually on a couple other shows yeah uh, we, well, we keep it yeah we keep yeah, it going funny. and it's yeah. you know it was great because yeah. you've seen it elsewhere and then you you commented it to us that yeah. like yeah. it's like so so cool so yeah. you know the sticker's famous so so his floral <laughs> shop and his sticker is right there right for on. everybody to enjoy yeah yeah we love it All like right. i so when i pass it on to the other graffiti artists you know yeah. they look at it they're like cool they're like, Sour, what? What is this? What, is <laughs> what this? have you done? Yeah. I'm like, I've included everybody. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. in on this game. It's pretty cool. And I appreciate it. And I know that we've been, like, you've already met Tix a bunch. Like, we've been, like, it's been, like, yeah. we've been circling around each yeah. other. You know what I mean? Following you for years and like what you do and bring a. Well, I like what you do. I So great, I grew up with here. my mom making wedding cakes. So I hung out with the florist every weekend yeah. uh, while she made wedding cakes. And I helped her make those cakes. And there was always a, well, there was one guy in particular that was mostly on the same circuit we were. And uh, so I have, like, from my youth, something about, yeah. you know, I don't know. I love it, man. I think it's cool. I think it's yeah. a great art form. For sure. Uh, trucks, who do you think? Who, who's going to be? Who's? Um, I don't know who's going to win, but. Uh, if you know any of them, call out their names because we do not have any information. Yeah, on we the could really help here. some help. This uh, is the one we don't have okay, paperwork I'll try. for. 57A. Jerry Dubach is 42 out of Dixon. Nice, Jerry. Um, oh, look at these trucks. This is so sick. I would keep my eye on number 61, Josh Babs. He's an animal. He, drew, he took the mad dog in the stock class. First Josh that's what I was trying to, yes. that's what I was trying to Okay, that's what you're He's trying to He's coming out with a Thank truck. <clears throat> Guy's an animal. Great driver. Okay, I, I was guy. trying to reference him earlier. Yeah. What was his name again? Joshua Josh, Babs. Josh Babs, yeah. It's the white truck, number 61. Okay, yep. yep. Uh, okay, here's the oldest competitor in the Farmer's Brewery. He's yep. 70 years old. He drives a drag bike. Yes, nitrous drag bike. I think he won uh, Auburn last year. In uh, a truck, he said. Yeah. Clean so, truck. Nice, Clean nice truck. guy. Unbelievably nice Great guy. Great beer, too. Good sponsor. It, Not oh, farmers. Yeah. Yeah. Good beer. yeah. They're local. Well, let's go there tonight. Can't pay the freeway without going <laughs> to farmers first. Are they lo first. local in Sac, Sac or are they local up They're here? They're north, like Calusa area. Hmm. Um, right in there. I don't, I don't, might not be Calusa exactly, but a little bit north here. Yeah. Oh, Clutch Marls. You're uh, not the only one who backs into a stadium. 
All right, you guys. Well, I got to get back to the hey. car here. I oh, yeah, you got work to thank do. You so Mark, thank we, you. We, 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 enjoy we, it. we I'll appreciate see you after it. it's over when you're holding the first place trophy. Absolutely. And and you know what? Grand, <laughs> ten grand beers are on you tonight, yep. buddy. Yeah. And we're cheering you on because we know we're going to get it out of your pocket yeah. later. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, drive right. safe. Thank, thank you so much for everything. Good luck out buddy. We appreciate you. All right, you guys. Mark Harry, I'll tell you what. He is one of the – he is just a stand-up awesome guy. Uh, met him, met him, you know, a couple of years ago, and we've had fun with him. He follows us, we follow him, and uh, just a, and, and they barbecue, they nice. barbecue, and they do a great job. Super awesome people. Yeah, it is wonderful. Dude, we've had some great help today. Just want the whistle. Oh, okay. I was, yeah. looking, I was looking for the favorite. Yeah, the no. Secret sauce. No, not yet. Not yet. We got to go on Billy later. Billy Joe's? Just, just Am I nice, drinking Billy Joe's? Yeah, Billy Joe's drink there. No, just straight up lemonade to, to give you guys just a little something to, to wet the whistle. Here. Keep it away from the electronics. Yeah, that's right. fine. But yeah. watch your toe. Yeah, I won't kick that down. <clears throat> Whoa, how many trucks are out here? Oh, look at that. We did get that cam in, in one of the trucks. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I, oh, this is going to be ready. nuts. Truck, sh truck. <laughs> Stadium is pumped. The 61 down there at the very far end, that is Joshua Babs. He, uh, he That's is. That's Derby. Awesome. There it is. We are going wild. Here we go. Wild child truck style. I love it. Oh, careful. You're going to eat some dirt. Oh, yes. You know what I don't see? I don't see a Super Duty. No, no Super Duties out here. They're still out there going. They're driving. But they better stay off the gas. They're going to be buried. Yeah, they're going to get buried. And everybody knows once they're stuck to leave them alone. Look at how good these guys are. They know. There's some friends out there trying to help him. There we go. Got a helper. Covington, don't get back in that hole, buddy. Oh, good shot. Somebody lost by a cat, tire out there. By, we got a tire lane out by there. By Cat One in the 57A. Oh, they're all free, Mike. They all got out of there great. We lost the tire, or at least the outside of a tire. Whoa! Wow, what a shot by the 530. That's our guy. Big Newman. 70 years old out there. Showing these young pups how to drive a truck. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at that good aerial shot right there from our second camera up on the top side. Yeah, that number three at Covington's already lost that tire. There you go, there's a friend. Right there, the 213 or Z Z13, Z13. truck has got the uh, the camera in it. You know, the box seat, Bobby camera. I love it. Oh, there Look goes that. the roof sign. Roof sign down. Are they gonna stop it for a roof sign? Probably not, right? Here he comes. Oh, good shot. Oh, man, that's like a 69 Dodge out there. This purple and silver one of Aves, Elves, a El Alves. Just laid a hell of a shot on the 42 right there on the back side of that pile. You guys seen it? OK, we got, got a red flag. Red flag, something, something. What are we going to gather up? We're going to pick up a tire. We're going to pick up a roof sign. What else? There's our track shot view cam right there. Thank you so much, Devil Dog Transmission. Backseat Bobby's cam right there doing it live. For, for those of you at home, that was the Wolfman that just passed right through you. He just went through the screen there.
Oh, this is a great heat. I love trucks. Yes. Trucks are always cool. Trucks are trucks are part of my blood, man. I love trucks. Go! Let's derby! Oh, this guy. Oh! Nice! He's gonna take him over the wall! Shot right there, giving it love. It's getting pretty rutted out there. These trucks are bouncing. Ooh, almost rolled him. Put your lips on a farmer, it says. I would love to put my lips on a farmer later on. Let's go. We got to go try one of them beers. That sounds wonderful. I'm just reading the advertising, Bill. Don't look at me funny. Bill's got his Diet Pepsi. He's back. Red flag. Red flag. Little bit of jam and green day in the background. You got a happy foot. Love it. All right. The Ohio guys have put in the work. Full send. Yes. They are the they are the ones that are out there like back and forth on the track. And that's Alex. Alex got something to say to that purple and silver Dodge swept line. You know, one of our great sponsors, Fueled by Haters, this year, they are there over uh, on the East Coast, loving and enjoying what we got shaking, man. Totally appreciate you guys. Love all the support. We are going to have some fun, great things. And uh, yeah. look at that. TSL in the background, watching her live. Thank you so much, you guys. We love it. I'll see you guys at No Mercy in a couple weeks while you guys are at Prusman Show. Yeah, we'll be at Prusman's. You're going to be over there. That's huge. Did he die? I'll be in the far corner. Well, here, this one just popped through here right here. You know, David Ritchie from California here. We want to wish a great big old happy 50th birthday to Jeff Moore. Uh, happy celebration watching uh, TSL. Appreciate it, you guys. Enjoy. Oh, we, we appreciate everybody, everybody that's staying with us. I know there's a thunderstorm happening on the East Coast right now, and some of you are in it. And uh, hopefully you guys are all right. I know Skinny said it took out some stuff at his house. Mike Ticks ended up with six inches of snow, so that thunderstorm's moving its way across America. Yeah, here we go. We got somebody else that's having the MWFA class in Wadena, Minnesota, full arena promotions. That's what we love to hear. Keep that stuff coming in. It's awesome, you Yo, guys. Yo, uh, send me an email, mostwantedfineart at gmail. I don't have everybody. It's not up to date. If you don't see your name on the Most Wanted Fine Art list, please check back in with me so I can get back, back to date. I was just like doing my thing to get us prepared for this. But once I get home, I got to get back into the two page flyer of the Most Wanted Fine Art class. Most Wanted Fine Art at gmail.com. Please, if I've already talked to you and I forgot it, please hit me up again one more time. I'm please be patient with me. I can't hear you. All right, here we go. Trucks are getting ready to go again. They got everybody over there, and next thing you know, they're getting flags up in the air. Everybody's getting excited because they want to see trucks going track to track, bumper to bumper, and wrecking it, making it sound good. There it is. The flags are up. Let's derby. Oh, the 530 broken axle of the farmer. Really? Yes. Oh, he's still got one wheel peel. Got one wheel, but he is in that little hole over there. He'll get out right here. Come on, right bump. there. A little bit of bump, a little bit of bump. Oh, come on. Oh, he's digging. He's digging. It's, it's not a drag car or a drag bike. 11X, come on over and gave him a little bit. See what he's got. Oh, that's a friend. Out of there? That's a friend. Uh -oh. Friends will be us. Oh, he's got forward. He's got both gears. Look, the right, oh, he does right tire's now. moving. He does not in reverse. What does that mean? I have I'm no idea. I'm not a scientist that's a at all. Move. Does that mean the gears aren't welded shut in the rear end? Oh, he's... He's, got, he's dumping water out the overflow, too. But he's like, whatever, I'm going for Mad Dog. Yep. Say hello to my little bumper. <laughs> little pointy bumper. Oh, no, he got out of that hole. He dove in there. All right, we're down to four. 
A couple drivers are pounding on the steering wheel. They're upset with how they've, they've ended up. Look at that great view of that overhead cam. Love that thing. Bill knows where to put that cam to give you the best shot from the overhead. We got Sequoia jumped in. He's running the, running the movable cam right there. He's giving us the best shot ever. Bill's over there doing nothing. He's acting like a retired person. Decker. He even fed him. But it's my camera, and I get to tell you who gets to play with it. Oh! Yes! 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 Get out of it. Get out of it. Oh, Come on. Oh, you got a friend. In. Oh, buried further in there. That's an Apache, dude. That's beautiful truck. Yes! Yes! Got him turned sideways. Got him some clean dirt to dig up. I have more friends than you. <laughs> Not says my TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, punishing hits. Oh, he's backing up. He's like, you were my friend about nine seconds ago. Now it's over. And now you're my B, boy. I don't know. There's no bends in this 11X. No, that truck's dirty. That is a beautiful, beautiful truck. It's well built, and because he's been putting it down. Newman has really done a good job of this. Stack, there it is. That, Woo! Wow. Now we Look got at this right here, front and center, you guys. That 11X and Newman, he helps them out. Then he puts them in the dirt. They're putting on a show for the crowd. That's what it's all about. Come on. Come on, he's, he's, he's nursing it. Oh, he's gonna roll him. If he hits him again, he's gonna roll him. Yep. If he hits him again, he's gonna roll him. Uh, hold on, buddy. Okay. Oh, he popped him out of that hole at least. He's digging in the seats there. He, this car, that truck hasn't started. Five thirty has shut his truck down. He's waiting on it. Oh, wait, wait. Nice. Right here, eleven X Newman's gonna give him a finisher. Here it is, eleven X. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Come on, one more, yeah. one more time. That's one it. That's more the more time. That's a nice photo finish right there. If that's how you win your. There it is, you guys. You've seen it at home. The excitement right there. Good job, Newman. And the last man He's helping that float in the carburetor. Maybe that's what he needed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There it is. He's taking the W home. The 11 next to Newman. Putting on one hell of a show for you guys right here in Yuba City, California. Got to feel good. Yes. That's got to feel good. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that was so much fun. You know, and I'm going to tell you what, I think these guys were friends out there, but they were having a dang good old time, you know? Oh, that's his son. That's that's his son. Oh, is it really? Isn't it? I don't Maybe know. Maybe I'm wrong. I think right there, you guys, get a picture of that. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, he said the last time he got first, his dad had to help him. Yeah. That's so cool. That's awesome right there, you guys. There it is. That's awesome. Look at them partying in the back of a truck yep. on the track. That's so cool. That's so cool. Look how buried this 42K is in front of us. Oh, my God. It's axle deep everywhere. It man. really is. It's a, I think there's dirt over the axle. Yeah. You know, that is camaraderie on the derby track right there. They got hugs. They got shakes. They got everything. Ralph Garcia is out there, and he's like, you know. Hey, replays, guys. Yeah. Replays. Let's Here see. Here we go. Let's watch things. some replays. Wow, look at that shot right there. Hoo -hoo -hoo.
Michael Ticks, I'm going to give out some. Where's our friend Madison? Give these give these out. I don't know where she went to. I was looking. Oh, she's walking with the with the flyer right now. Is she? Yeah. Nice. What a good derby. Oh, my god! What a gosh. great day. I yes, like it when it, it starts early. Hey, should I grab the camera right now, or should I wait for him to get off? Now. Hey, 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 Bob. Look at postcard. Look. Thank you. There you go. Got to give it to the kids. You hey, know. another one. Good job, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, that was cool. Marshall Tucker's kid. Father yes. Michael. Congratulations, my you man. You look so cool. Thank you. Yep. Nice. I tried to send it. No, you, you did a great job. Fine. You had a really it. wrecked car. Marshall Tucker right there. Really? Yes. God, look at the replays. These things are just awesome. Good wide open shots. I love it. Oh, that one where they buried him in there. They knew they had to take him out right there. Otherwise, they're going to have to fight him all the way at the end. Look, this is one of the originals. Oh, wow. Yeah. Michael Tix and I are signing uh, coloring books. Michael Tix has been working on his autograph. It's pretty cool. This guy got a circle with like a T in it. It's like a peace sign almost. Yep. Young Matt. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, all right, you guys. What do you think about those instant replays back there? You know, the, the, the smash cam, giving it real. That's, I love uh, it. Yeah, they're doing I like the job. production. Bill has yeah. great production. Look at this. Yep. That's Sequoia out there working hard, you know. He thought he was coming here to vacation, but, no, we put him right to work, you know. Uh, he child, didn't think he was coming for a vacation. Yeah, child labor laws right there, you know, 25 years old or, or so. He's doing his thing, so. That's a huge shout out, huge thanks to Sequoia there. That's Bill's nephew. That's uh, kind of helping us out with the uh, with that cam. Sour doing the autos. Love that thing. The coloring books are so cool. You did such a great job on those things. Oh, uh, I enjoy so. giving them out to the kids in the stands. You know, yeah. the fans get to take home something home from us there, Michael Ticks. Yep. I'm gonna there. yell at Sequoia to tell him to go put that camera on that 100 car. Um, All right, I got it. You got it? I got it. Can you go put it on that 100 car, Sequoia? All right, listen. Dylan, Dylan. Uh, that was Mike Tix. He's giving orders. Mike Tix likes to be a director. Dylan, I don't know if you know that, Bill. Right he likes to produce. He likes to direct. What he needs to learn is how to push a button like you. He needs to know how it's done. Right? Right? Ooh, I'm looking at you, Bill. <laughs> all right so they left me up here to kind of entertain y'all i want you to know that i am very thankful like i can't tell you enough i'm so thankful that you watch like and subscribe comment i heard there's 76 x's all up and down the comments in youtube that is so beautiful bobby is all the way here in california it's Touches my heart, make me cry instantly if I think about it a little bit harder. I miss the guy. We had some great times together. He made fun of me for driving slow all the time <laughs> because he's from Indiana, home of the 500. You know, they're going to be speeding up, you know. Don't worry about my sunburn. I'm not worried about it, you know. It's cool. Listen, so we're getting ready for the final heat, which is going to be great. All right, this is what we waited for all day, $10,000. So if you're at home thinking, I can build a better Cadillac than that. I can build a Mopar to beat all these Cadillacs. You should come out here next year and bring all that energy. See if you pass tech. Right? See if you pass tech and come out here and get a chance at this $10,000.
that seems to be where the Derby world is headed, right? We got a lot of $10,000 to win shows. We're going to have to see who's going to bump up the twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, right? Where are we going with this? But Blaine Williams, uh, everybody's been so kind to me. Here's what I did is I went to Blaine's Williams Enterprises TikTok, and I went and followed every single buddy on the list that follow him. And guess what? We have done nothing but make great friends out here because of it. I love it. It's, it's amazing how social media really just brings us all together and uh, creates a family, if you will. Like, so before I met you family, before the Facebook family found me, I felt kind of alone in this world. I felt like I was a derby guy just doing my own little thing. I was in the world. I was living next to Siopas and didn't even know them. Like, swear to God, didn't even know them. My wife's like, there's these dudes called the Chapas that live down the street. And I was like, what? I had a uh, 73 Plymouth Fury hanging in my gallery that I'd cut all up and it was hanging on the wall. And it was at that moment Casey Smith came in the gallery. And it's when the Derby World kind of said, hey, come hang out with us and uh, let's bring all that energy here. So I'm thanking you all so much. And I, I'm, I love it. So if... if if you want to follow some of the stuff I do, I got a podcast called Cash on the Hood. It's a bi-weekly podcast. I do it out of Studio Media in East Liberty. It's on every streaming platform because I like to invest in myself when it comes to this stuff. I bring my main man, Stephen Sickles, out there. Right now, uh, you're going to find Colin Ray from TikTok. He's pretty famous prison talk. So if you, again, I'll tell you a little story about me. I do community service. It's like my jam. I've won the best job site in the state of Pennsylvania for people recently released from prison. So Colin Ray does prison talk. And I was like, most wanted prison talk. Let's make up. Let's be friends. All right. So he's very kind to me. So I get to drive past Colin's house every time I go to Josh Decker's house up there in New York for mini meltdown in San Filippo. So at that point, we always make some uh, content and whatever, move on with that. Look at Mike Ticks. God, he's a beautiful man, isn't he? No wonder he's married. There he comes. I was telling people how pretty you are. <laughs> I work out. I work out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Somebody's blowing bubbles out there. They're blowing across, uh, getting me excited. <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> All right, I need you to sign the uh, inside page of oh. your ticks here. Gotcha. Got Let's that going go. on. All right, you guys, We had I had good phone service there for a little bit, and I was just checking out some stuff up. Uh, I absolutely appreciate all uh, the That's great. his, right right here, this is his signature. Does that say ticks? Well, good enough for us. It does. It's got the <laughs> peace sign in it. It does. That's all I care about is that peace sign. That's all I want is peace and love in the world. You are a kind, kind fella. <laughs> all right. So my wife was telling me about Minnesota, about all, I know we don't want to talk about food nonstop, but tell me about the types of cheese curds that one could get in Minnesota. Well, you got to remember, it's not Minnesota. It's Wisconsin. We're just fortunate enough to live next to Wisconsin, so we get all those premium good cheese curds. And that's where you took me for Bloody Marys, right? Yep. That and, you know, nice the biggest place. problem is is we didn't go over to Joey Legrander's. It's uh, Legrander Hilltop Cheese or Legrander Hilltop Dairy is where you want to go. They have the best cheese curds you'll ever have out there. They come from Legrander Hilltop. You look them up; they will ship them cheese curds wherever you want them. That is the coolest thing about them. And uh, Joey is a is a local demo derby guy from over there in Stanley, Stanley, Wisconsin. And uh, but that is the best cheese curd you're going to find is right there at their hilltop. Um, they have got Colby cheese that is um, presidential. They they had presidents that requested it at the White House, and they've shipped it over there and stuff like that. They've got rewards or awards, rewards. <laughs> nice. That's a reward program to get something. They have uh, they, their stuff is all over the country. They've shipped it, like I said, to the. Go ahead. Look at that! Look at the kids getting there coloring books. There's a coloring book for you. It's it's, it's not for you. It's not candy. You don't have to worry. He's he's not a bad person. <laughs> Hey, you want some? Here's some coloring books. There we go. Look at them kids just getting. That's so cool. Jason's, nice. Jason's good at what he does. <laughs> I love giving out stickers <laughs> and coloring books. It's like it's such a blast. 
But I'm going to oh. tell you, you know, we're talking about the cheese curd and everything like that. But it's funny, though, how people uh, like Rock Morris down there in Mississippi, you know, he asked, hey, ship me down some cheese curd, you know. Um, you know, the Koi family, they wanted cheese curd. It's so cool because, you know, people people have had the cheese curds up in, in the upper Midwest. And next thing you know, they just want more and more. Pleasure. Now they're running out of the stands. I'm down to three, buddy. Oh. <laughs> it's going to happen. Nah. No, that sounds good. That's what, uh, you know, so when our families fly in here, that's what my wife wants to do is make sure we find places to eat. She wants to make sure that we get a seafood restaurant there in San Diego. So anybody wants to send us, we want to see the ocean in San Diego and eat seafood. So if you have, yeah. a, if you have a place, I'm open. Um, oh, name escapes me. If I think about it for a minute, it'll come to me. All right. But help me out, Mike Tix. A name? No, no. I, I oh. was I was just like, help me out with the uh, what we're doing. Here. <laughs> my brain, my brain kind of came to a halt there because I, I got locked in like all the names running through my skull. Like, all right, which one? What all the right. tag family? Uh, no, we're going to oh. San Diego, so it's a oh. Delara family. It's uh, Hernan Hernandez, I think. It's a Delara uh, nephew. Oh, uh, he gotcha. lives in San Diego, and I uh, wanted to uh, maybe he would know exactly where. Oh, we're coloring going. books. Yeah, yes, more customers, Jason. All right, we're down there to two. There you go. We good? Did you got one yet? Okay. Yeah, so it, it, it's, uh, you know, for me being from the upper Midwest, you know, we don't get seafood hardly ever. It's Robbie. We, Robbie, text me. We're in California. We got to know. We got to know. Uh, I'm enjoying. I got it. Oh, I started this morning. Uh with a lot of text messages from everybody from the expo. Frankie Guy, uh, Casey Smith, Mark Elliott. How's everything going? Going good. Steven Sickles, uh, Scotty, they all, Fatty, Clutch, they all checked in. Like We got up at like 5 a.m. California time, and uh, Demolition Derby has been pretty stoked. This is a big day for Demolition Derby for oh. in, in America. Absolutely. Absolutely, you know, and the, and the the best part about it is, I mean, we are spread out all over right now, so um, yeah, it's totally cool. Yeah, I love it. I love that we've got going on here. I know that Casey has reached out to Blaine, and uh, they've had some productive talks about the youth class, and uh, you know what efforts Blaine, you know, I mean, what knowledge Casey may have to help out Blaine, and vice versa, actually. And I think it's pretty cool, promoters. Uh, you know, thinking about, okay, like, you know, how can we help each other? How can we get the youth involved in the sport, you know? Uh, what age is the youngest that at your shows? Like, I know that you're always about the, you have insurance. That, you know, so is there a cutoff? Like, what? Oh, there is a cutoff, you know, and it's, uh, you know, you have to have, you have to have the legal guardian and parents state their age on that on that legal paperwork, you know. So, um, you know, we do it at 12 years old is is when those kids can start running. We run 12 to 12 to 17 years old. That is our gap right there. But we do kick some kids out before they get to that 17 years old. <clears throat> Hunter Elzer, um, you know, because they're just a little bit too good for that. That it's it's entry level. We want those kids to be able to go out there and have a level playing field and level of competition and everything like that. So that's kind of the ticket right there is, you know, certain kids are just a little too good and they, they you know, they're ready to step up and, and drive with the adults. So, um, you know, that's, that's keeping it, keeping it real in that, that aspect. So, so what it is, is there's this gap between power wheels and youth class. I don't know if there's anything there to fill that gap. Well, you know, it's like, you know, they tried lawnmowers and stuff like that. Well, then all of a sudden, a bunch of adults, here, you know, young adults got into the lawnmowers. And next thing you know, it's like it, it, it's not it's not truly that gap filler. It's, you know, some of those some of those people should be driving cars, not lawnmowers. But, you know, then there's also oh. welded welded car, or welded lawnmowers. Um, yes, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that young kid yes. just loving it. They're like, that's so cool. 
cool. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, like, that would have been the gap filler. But, you know, it's, it's better off. Just put them right into the cars. You know, it's like when they're a little bit too big for that power wheel, they got about a five-year window of where they get to watch Derby, analyze Derby, learn how to drive, and, and then next thing you know, they get to jump into that car, and they're, they're right there ready to go. So And that's where my son's at because I was like, what do I do now that his knees are, like, touching his chest and that power wheel? I'm like, this isn't going to work out. Like, what do I, you know? You know, what do you do with an 8, 9, 10, 11, small, 12-year-old? You know what I mean? So, yeah. it just, I guess there's that derby stream on the computer. You can play computer derby. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, that's that's one of those things that are out there. And I, I sit there and I tell people, it's like, you know, we don't want our kids playing video games and stuff like that. But, um, you know, in, in reality, it's that, that kind of is a gap filler if, if need be. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's it gets them introduced into driving. Uh, I guess that that derby video game is pretty real. I mean, it it shows wheel shots, it shows forty fives, it shows mm -hmm. you know. So if you drive that car and you know you understand how to put damage on a car, it's it's truly how it is, you know, in in real life. So I've never played it, I've never been part of it, but um, it's it, it's pretty neat. I mean, so that's cool. I watched my buddy Terry Doyle played in his garage there in Sabina, Ohio. He's got one of them big super see-through computers or whatever that takes to play that game, and it's always running. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, and that's they're speaking code to me. <laughs> oh, it's I, I was trying to watch the watch the signals. Yeah, I didn't know what he was saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're all got our headphones on. We're not on the same channel. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what we got the feature coming up here, and I am absolutely pumped on it. You know. Blaine said that it, we're going to get out of here five six o'clock, and you know we're we're looking at a we're looking at about a five o'clock start once they get this thing done, and they're going to probably grade this track off again and fill in some of them big holes. Um, you know, them drivers going out there in that feature. There's some hard hard spots in the track. There's some soft spots in the track. You know, um, you know, a, a good feature driver is going to be sitting here watching this thing and seeing where this track's breaking apart to know where the hell to stay out of. Yeah, definitely, it's right here. It's right there. It's that spot. Oh, you're pointing it out, huh? I'm going to tell you, driver, there. <laughs> That's the one. That's the spot. And, like, you don't want to be on top the tire. That doesn't help much. No, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Look at that. Sequoia's coming back. He's already got that camera in. He's got a couple bungee cords back. And, I mean, this guy has got it going on. He's got wow. these things figured out. So He's trying uh, to take our jab. Yeah. Oh, he can have it. You know, no. there he goes. He's walking back. He's got it just a... Uh, Oh, I'm sick and tired of walking back and forth. I don't care if I got long legs. I just, oh, come on. It's like know? four steps. He made it all the way out to the pits and four steps back. You and me with our little short legs, that's 400 Watch steps. Watch when he climbs up here. That's a six-foot step up, man. I got to, like, dive and roll to get up here. And it's embarrassing because it's in front of the stand. Yeah. So you're like, all right, Sour. Yep. First thing you got to do is get your foot up that high. Yo, Second, oh you got to get this mass yep. moving. Yep. So it's when like you grab all that fence. So what is what I'm talking about is right in front of us. There's like a, a VIP like get in and out of the stadium, and uh, there's no steps, so you just have to get up and on it. And I got them short legs too, just like Mike, and we're just like. <laughs> well, you know the thing of it was is last year we were sitting down there. That's where Decker and I were sitting was right in front of us, and and I mean you know that's a tight area. You put that table there, you move it out. I mean, granted, nobody's Whoa. nobody's come over that side, but I mean, 15 feet that way, that truck was coming over. Yeah. I mean, if they wouldn't have let off because they're buddies, that thing would have been jacked right up and over, and we would have been we would have been kissing bumpers. Yeah. So, um, you know, and we're watching all the different parts of the show, and you know, we're not watching directly what's going on in front of us. So, um, you know, it, it it could be that dangerous area. So it's like let's let's uh, let's let's go up here where it's safe. I like it up here. Now we're with the fans. There, everyone's been real cool with us up here. No one's tried to, like, jump on our live stream and yell something crazy. Oh, exactly. It will. Nobody went streaking through the comments. <laughs> streaking through the comments. <laughs> Frank the Tank. Nice. We're all doing it. <laughs> We're all doing it. <laughs> We're going to the quad. That's what it was, the quad. I was off. The quad, the comments, it all sounds about the same. Right there, you guys see that Lenu Auto Parts, uh, new sponsor this year that stepped on up. Uh, thank you so much, Lenu family from Minnesota up there. Back yeah. to back to back years, NLR Derby Parts, you know, the Superstore Demolition Derby Parts, Otis Motors. Yeah, oh, Joey. Yeah, no doubt about it. He's uh, he's really proud of that thing because, uh, you know, there's, other, there's somebody else out there in our country that lives over by him that won it twice, and he doesn't have a personal license plate like that, you know, so... 
I uh, I can't I can't believe how that feels. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I am I feel good. I think the weather has been nice here. So if you're thinking about this for yourself next year. You're like maybe I want to start my season in California. You couldn't go wrong, right? No. Uh, it, you, it's impossible to go wrong with weather like this. I mean, they've had rain and everything like that around here, and then all of a sudden, the rain just kind of settled down and gave Blaine a great place to have a derby and some good Mother Nature weather right here. Mm -hmm. And Michael ticks a forever sunburn. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> yes. I just love Like, oh, Let's see how bad it is. Oh, it, it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. It, it's printed. Wait, hold on. Let me see mine. Yeah. <laughs> yep, definitely. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Too. My fat little cheeks are hanging out from the sunglasses and the hat. They've got it too. I couldn't believe that when I went and used the restroom. You know, it's like uh, yep. I don't know. If I've got goggle face yet. <laughs> like I've been skiing all day. Yeah, the wind burn <laughs> going good. Uh huh. You know what else I noticed? The amount of square body Chevy pickup trucks still in use. Oh. If you're a square body Chevy pickup truck fan. This is it. There's so many. They're still in use. Oh, yeah. Yup. you seen that big dually, that four-door dually, that six by your three plus three truck. That thing was gorgeous just sitting there just sexy screaming. Mm -hmm. We got a square body sitting at our house. He's getting a new motor this week. And uh, big shout-out to Naders. He's sitting at the house busting his tail. You know, he uh, got some cars loaded up and shipped out this morning through the big snow. And and then sitting in the shop working on stuff, He uh, he's uh, kicking butt, making things happen. So you got plans for that short bed? I'm going to do burnouts with it. Nice. It's got a nasty little small block going in it right now. Yeah. I had that had that small block sitting there on the nice aluminum heads, roller roller motor, and it's going to be uh, quite interesting. So uh, um, That's cool. I'm going after picking up a prom queen, an nice. adult one. Nice. Yeah. You already married her. Yeah, I got I got mine. I'm you good got You it. got a prom queen. Yeah. Got to be filling in those holes over there. That thing uh, – the, 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 the sand bony is doing a good job out there again. Sand bony. That thing going around and around <laughs> and around. So it's nice. You know, you look at Bill's uh, Bill's background and platforms that he built here, you know, these pages and everything like that. It's not just a common background. It's not that. He's got a little bit of little bit of excitement, a little bit of art to it and everything like that. It's it does. It feels job. like uh, metal kind of like, you know, it's got a metal texture with some little beveled edges. That, that's a beautiful uh Beautiful screen you built there, Bill. That's yeah. nice. Well, you know, and the other thing, too, is I took one of Bill's cameras and I went around and we uh, we videoed the, the parade. That's really cool how the parade works here. I've seen it down in Chino on your videos a couple times, you know, where everybody rides on that car and stuff like that. It's really cool. So they had some of that here. And, and as those cars went around the outside edges, it's kind of a parade to see them and everything. So I did it on Facebook Live and I had Bill's camera and I, I, uh, I took some film and stuff like that so that we can kind of cut that tomorrow and and show you guys some of that stuff so you can kind of show it off to the family members and see, you know, these old these old Fords and everything like that coming through. It's just yeah. it's so cool seeing that nostalgic iron like that. That was fun. So I had to spray paint Moose's car. Moose was like, yo, you got enough time. And Mike Tix is like, I'll hold up everybody. He's got plenty of time. I'm like, thanks, Mike Tix. But we wanted to throw it on a quick, uh, you know, tribute to Bobby on Moose's car. But when the moment I finished, dropped the spray can, all the cars in both barns, like, turned on and just was like you know just wild wide open and like as they pulled out of those two barns and kind of merged into a single lane to make the parade it was just it was like i bet you half the county heard that oh. start up i was you know i was 100 yards away from it and you know i was on the back side where they came around on the pavement and everything like that when those things fired up my back was turned to it and it's like my hair stood up it was yeah. so cool you know, there's a couple nasty motors out here that got some definite thump to them and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, you know, there's uh, there's a nice Baldwin out here that screams, got some huge pipes on it, and it's just got a bellow to it. I don't know if you guys can hear it at home. I can't remember which car it's in. I think it was in one of the caddies. And, uh, yeah, it's just, just a, a really crisp-sounding motor. Um, you know, and then, then you got uh, a couple other guys we were talking to. They got some LSs, and they're playing mm -hmm. with the LSs out here, and, and they're, they're building them themselves in their shops. So... Keeping them economical, like they said. Yeah, they're putting cams in them, they said. And uh, what does that mean to put a cam in them? 
I have what? no idea. I'm just repeating what someone told me. <laughs> the cam just makes some valves go open and close. And you know what? There's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, I know. You know what a cam is. You know, it's like, you know what? But it's for the people that don't know what it is. So, um, you know, the cam is, is what opens and closes the valves for how long they're open and how far they open. You know, that's what that cam does. So you Is hear that people, that long piece and it has like uh, ovals on it? Yep. That that's turn, it. turns the pistons? Yep, that's right. Not nah, it don't turn the pistons. It turns it pushes it open, the, opens the lifters up and down to open the valves. You push oh, the push okay. rod to that's go to the rocker. That's a crankshaft. Yep. My bad. So, so I'm, my bad. That's all right. All right, you know, so cam is at the top of the motor. Middle. Well, middle of the motor. some cams are on top of the head. Some cams are in the middle. You know, your traditional V-run motors that got the cam in the middle, it's uh. You know that all those push rods are in the middle in the valley and open and closing the, the, the open and uh, raising and lowering the lifter so that the valves open and close. And, and that's, you know, the, the longer it's open, the more fuel it gets in. The faster and quicker, it just uh, faster RPMs and just make them wild. That's the, that's, the, that's the wild child of the motor. You know, if you got a little cam, you ain't got much going on. You got a big cam keeping them valves open a long time just to cram more fuel and more air. It's just going to make that much more horsepower and just say, giddy up, little girls. That's cool. That's really cool. You know, it's uh, it's one of those things that a uh, 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 gasoline combustion engine or a diesel or anything is just basically like an air compressor. The more air you can cram into it and push out, the more volume, the more power, the more horsepower you're going to get. So, you got a high horsepower Mustang. Well, that's got a that's got a hair dryer on it, so that's a cheater motor right there. You know, a big turbo. Oh yeah. It don't take much motor. Much motor with the big turbo to make horsepower. Mm. Hair dryer. <laughs> cheater, cheater horsepower. Now I can't say that because it's it's amazing the technology of those those turbos, and uh, boy, it sure does bring things alive. You know, it don't matter if it's diesel or gas. Mm. When you hear something spooling up, it's like, hang on, baby, we're going for a ride. Was that the Derby in Florida that had the diesels? Were you at that one, or was that a different? One. There was a diesel in Florida. There was one when we were down there for uh, for Southern Nationals. Yeah. I remember it. you could hear it winding up. There's a, there's an old timer over in Wisconsin. I and I can't remember what his name is right now. He used to run air cooled diesels. He had a four cylinder air cooled diesel. Yeah. And he had that with uh, I can't remember what tranny he had behind it, but he had machined up a transmission for it and everything like that. So. He didn't even have a radiator in his car. Really? Yeah, it was pretty cool. So then, then they, then they, uh, uh, they, they changed the rule over there that he had to, it had to be a liquid cooled engine, you know. So, but yeah, he ran an air cooled like Deutz diesel, if I remember correctly. Hmm. That's that's impressive. All right, are we betting a dollar on how long we think this feature is going to go, Jason? Yes. You go ahead. 45 minutes. I bet you it's done in 30. I think these guys are going to take it to it and get her going, I'm hoping. That's what I want to see, a 30-minute feature right here. There are some beautiful cars coming out here, but I think there are some heavy right foots that are going to come out. This guess KP Express, Skinny Pedal Express. Well, I think there's some good dudes who think they're not going to make it to the end, so they're just going to go ahead and full send now. Yeah. So if you're someone who's thinking you're going to make it to the end, you better stay, keep your head on a swivel because a, <laughs> a wild person is about to be coming at you. Well, you know, one of the big things here with this whole situation, this track, um, it has a couple dangerous corners in it too. You know, you get down to the far side, the right side of us down here, that track narrows into a triangulated point. Um, it does. You know, and it's, it's one thing that you can't see on TV. It doesn't show a good enough view of that, where as that goes down there, that corner tightens up to a triangulated point, and you notice how that is as dry as a popcorn fart down there? Yeah. These drivers know to stay the hell out of that corner because that could be detrimental to anything that you got going on in your life in this event right here. You come down here to the left-hand side, this whole side is radiused over here. It's pretty hard to get stuck in a trouble and a, and a problem over here. So um, the left side is way more forgiving than what the right side would ever bring to you. Mm. That's good advice, drivers. I hope you're listening and watching Track Shot Live in your cars. Feel free to text your driver friends that are out there right now and just say that uh, some things got pointed out. 
But I'll guarantee every driver that's pulling in here that made the dance, that made the feature, they know. They have been, they have been obviously watching this track. They know where the soft spots are, and it's uh, one of those things. Stay the heck out of the bad area. It's kind of like the saying, if you can't swim, you stay out of the deep end of the pool. You know where you belong on the track, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> that sand boney is pulling on out as jason sauer says <laughs> still funny i love it i love it <laughs> <laughs> still funny still funny i like it uh, uh-huh yeah, it's pretty bad. If anybody knows how fat he did in that van derby over that SMW, let us know. I, I have not heard or seen anything. I've checked, and my cell service sucks, as I said. But uh, it'd be awesome to know how our brother Fatty did. Well, I see the 88 Doodle kind of making its way through there. That was that camo painted car. I see them. They're starting to line up. 007. That was the yellow car from earlier. All right, so what happens if it's between a 30 and 45? Oh, just who's buying dinner tonight? Whoever's closest. Oh, oh, I thought if it went if we went over 45. Then we both lose. We both lose. Then Bill buys. All right, so if it's over 30, then I win. No. If under 30, you win. It's closer. Oh, who's closer? If, if it's in the middle, it's got to go who's closer. Oh, oh, not going over. Yeah, it's not It's not like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Come on. Harry Carey, who had Drew Carey in the Price is Right. If That's you go what over, I was thinking. Bust. Yeah, no, we're not playing that way, homie. Mm, okay. All right. You're so fair. Well, as long as the rules are in my favor, I'm totally fair. They often are. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nice. I, uh, thank you for the messages. Again, everybody's been sending positive messages. Uh, you know, thanks, Todd. Sending me a message about Stonebro. Pumped up about that. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. All right, Sonny Pittman just hit me up. Thank you so much. Youth Heat just finished. SMW vans haven't ran yet. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. I wonder if they're, it, well, if they're in between heats at the expo, if they're watching us in the stands. Oh, my God. Who's watching us at the expo right now? Well, obviously... Obviously, you know, we got Sonny is, so thank we you. appreciate that. That's it. Salute. Thank you. Yes, peace to you, brother. That's cool. If you're watching, if you're sitting in the stands at the expo, send me a selfie. Yep, send us a picture of it. Show us what's up. Hey, I got two bars, man. Somebody, they must have they must have shut down the payphone down there, so I got two <laughs> bars. God, I tell you what. I don't even know. T-Mobile, that's what we got. We had Sprint forever, and T-Mobile is what we got. They are a horrible service. <laughs> I got to figure it out. We've been with them for 20 years, and mm. we got to get rid of We got to get something because my gerbil in the cage is not doing good for service. Yeah. I try to just not even look at it till we get to the hotel room. Oh, God. God, we hear cars firing up out there. I don't know. Sour. I'm getting antsy. I, 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 I'm, I'm just, just antsy. I'm on the edge of the My, my heart's like, like filling up. Like, yeah. I'm just like, come on. This yeah. is what we came for. $10,000. Yeah. Beers on hair. If he yeah, wins. Yeah, beers on hair. I forgot about that. I bet you that. he'll buy beers even if he doesn't. Oh, exactly. You know darn well. he's. Him and I were throwing money down in the uh, at the uh, beer hut last night. We were like going matching each other so you could tip more. I'm like, dude, I'm done. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> oh yeah it went well we met some great you were holding court i love it when you hold court i love when i'm hanging out in a barn and spray painting and i can hear your voice from across the space and i know that you're in there and i'm like here we go michael Tix is in the barn i no longer have to entertain yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's coming in to help me with this entertaining it was pretty cool. I got. I was like, I got to go get the van. And so I went and got the van and brought it to you. I was like, I'm done. I'm gonna pull the, I pulled the van like pretty much up to your hip. Yeah, it's like um, if this isn't a sign, I don't know what is. I'm about <laughs> to blow the horn like it's prom. <laughs> You're done. Get out. If you would have blown the horn, I'd have been like, yes, Dad. I get it. I'm coming. Right, but we're you know? adults. I'll let you finish. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and that's what the guy said. He's like, you're back? I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> he thought, I thought you left. And I was like, I did. Uh. Like, so you guys make fun of me. It's called Sour Needs a Shower. And that's when <laughs> I have emotionally done on my day with Track Shot Live. I'm like, guys, guys. Because we would do, because there's two shifts. There's the morning shift whenever we do inspection, and I'm always part of the morning shift. And then there's the night shift, which is the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you and Skinny roll in for a second shift, where Ben and I roll in for first shift. <laughs> first shift. So yeah. by the time second shift's over, I'm already like, I'm done. I think it's good for everybody. We need to have some like, we need to have a shut off point. Yep. <laughs> All done. right, you got this thing. I gotta go take care of something here real quick. Yeah, I got take you, buddy. Care. All right. I believe in you. That's my man, Michael Tix from Hastings, Minnesota. And uh, he is super cool. He lives next to a town called Vermilion, which is one of my favorite colors, which is like a reddish orange. He lived there his whole life. He never knew there was a color called Vermilion. Uh, so uh, it's a tiny little town where the gas station has the post office in it, and you can get morning donuts and I think liquor. So it's, it's a one, one store town, and it's pretty fun. But what I like about it is on the edges of town, uh, they have like artists who like fill their yards. You probably saw a picture of Bobby with all these teddy bears tied to a tree. And uh, that's, that's something unique around where Mike's from. Uh, I'm telling you, I love Demolition Derby, and I love that you guys like, share, and subscribe. Let me run through it again. Track Shot Live is free because of the sponsors, all right? Without the sponsors, without all these people scrolling down on the side, without Blaine Williams, without everybody, we can't do this show. Our show is free for the people, but it, the people who can help do help and make sure that everyone else gets to see for free. And uh, that's why we're always saying thank you, and it's genuine from our heart. We want it to be free for y'all to watch and enjoy Demolition Derby all over America. You know what I mean? I can't say it enough. I love it, and I love that you guys watch and uh, hang out. I like, look at all this traffic behind me. Look at everyone just having fun. Don't even notice that we have a live stream going on. So um, this morning I talked to Casey again, and I was just like, dude, I hope you could do well. I hope that the expo goes well for you. I hope that uh, Demolition Derby, this expo, makes its way out to California. That way, like-minded people, like-minded parts builders can uh, meet up and, you know, do what this derby needs to do. We're elevating it. We're moving to the next level by becoming, what are they doing? They're bringing all the youth out here. I'm not sure what's happening on the out on the uh, on the track right now, but it looks like many of the youth drivers have found their way back out onto the track. And it looks like trophies maybe? That's great. So that was a good segue since Smith Metalworks and Blaine Williams were talking about the youth class and what they could do. Again, looks like wiring those. kits. He's got a wiring kit. Yo, he wants to talk to you. He wants to talk to me now? Hang on. Oh, yes. All right. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, we'll do something here in a second there with that, you know. Absolutely. I for, yeah, I forgot all about that. That's, uh, yeah, that'll be huge. Giving away the trophies to the kids and everything like that. Hang on one second. Hey, Bill. Yeah, he's Louise, getting getting crazy here, you know, and all that good stuff. It's uh, no, it's a beautiful day here and everything like that, and it's uh, it's crazy. Actually, you know what? We gotta we gotta give some thanks to our uh, to our officers here. Hang on, a second. I'm gonna give love.
Hey, you guys, you guys, that's uh, that's how you thank your security guys. You guys, you go so many different places, and uh, the security service isn't there. It's not proper, and we've got security all over the place, and we just wanted to show how much thanks that we actually got for our security. We tagged them. Dude, I'm, like, speechless of what you just pulled off. <laughs> I hope. I, I complimented these guys and everything like that, and I said, hey, I said, come on over and let me see and picture, you know, and let you guys know what's going on and everything like that. But you guys have to understand, <laughs> you come out and you have a good time and everything like that. These guys. So uh, Michael Tix just tagged a security officer with a TSL sticker. Um. <clears throat> Am I allowed to say that? Uh, yeah, that guy just asked me what TSL was all about. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, hey, you guys, uh, we got to give a huge shout out to the security here because they are uh, good they, sports. Yes, very good sports, very good sports. Um, they are, they're a private service that comes on in here and keeps everything. We go to so many different shows and stuff like that. You normally don't see any problems or anything like that. But you know what? When you have, when you have the appearance of security guards and everything like that, um, it just kind of, it changes the mind if somebody wants to get out of control. And, you know, they got alcohol in here and everything like that. And, and uh, you know, the thing of it is you have to remember also is, is, uh, these security guards, they are first responders also. You know, they're keeping the stand safe and everything like that. So, um, you know, thank you so much for uh, Blaine William um, Enterprises to, to take care of this and, and uh, give, uh, you know, give a good safe place to, to put on a show. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The kids are winning switch boxes. Oh, there you go. Hey, Bill, can we take a look at that? Actually, let's see that out there. Look at that. They're giving away. They're giving away all kinds of awesome stuff out there. I'm sorry, we're sitting here talking, giving thanks to the security guards and all the great service they're doing, and we're missing the kids out there. You know. You're brave, Michael Tix. Oh, we're having fun. <laughs> you are. You know, I'm always trying to one up Sour because he is the best tag artist out there, and and uh, you beat me. You yeah. You won. I had the stroller yesterday too. Ah, two in a row. Yeah, back to backs. Look at that, you guys. That's so cool. You know, uh, Williams giving out all those great prizes to the future drivers right there. They got big Happy Gilmore checks, and what a better way to to show the thanks to these kids is right there. That's wonderful. Oh, listen to the crowd. Crowd loves it. Yeah. Crowd's proud. Whenever we're done. We got one more heat. Okay. 30 minutes. I'll eat. <clears throat> 45 minutes. Yeah. Number 61. Right there, he got a mad dog going to the feature, and he got fifth place in the trucks, taking home a nice check also. I like the Spring Extreme girls. Oh, they're fun. That's fun. Yep, that's fun. They're enjoying everything. What were we saying about the girls? They are welcoming. Yes, they are. <laughs> We're not sure what that means, but we are totally on board. <laughs> right? <laughs> Third place with a little more money in my bag. Truck number 530 is Ron Elmas. Ron Elmas. Oh, 70 years old. Drag motorcycle is his jam. He says you just hold it at 7 RPM. Let go, and he says he has an air actuated button, and you just keep pushing that button and keep going faster. And he says uh, when you're done is when you start your prayer, and it never, and it doesn't finish until after you're done. Dear, and you're done. <laughs> Dear Lord, done. <laughs> just that fast. He said he went, he, he went away from it for like 20 years, and then he just woke up one morning. He's like, I'm, I miss going fast. <laughs> He's like. 
He was like, I got back into it, and he said, he said, uh, uh, when he bought leathers 20 years ago, it was 400 bucks. He's like, when he buys leathers now, it's 2,500 bucks. Uh, in 20 years, how how things change in how, such a time. Yeah, but it was, that's what we do in the pits. And that's what I like about us is that we're in the pits. Yeah, you know what I mean, yes. we're in the pits. We're yep. talking to people. We're hearing their stories. We're part of their family because they invite us. Yeah. And it's super cool how they're like, hey, you know, see you on track shot. Yep. We, we love it. I'm like, that's great. Tell me about what you got going on here. You know what I mean? We yeah. Wanna, I want to I wanna learn how to pronounce your name, everything. Oh, God, I will always fail at that. I yep. suck at that. That's a bummer. Uh, yeah. We have the final coming up. It is the dance. It's what we've all been waiting for right here, the feature of the night. It is going to be a hell of a heat. No doubt about it. So we got that camera set up in Dylan Peterson's car again. He is going to be the backseat Bobby. Double dog transmission. The stadium has grown to standing room only. It is. It is. I can't believe, you know, so we're going on hour five of everything, and everybody is still here at hour five and a half just about, and everybody is enjoying it and doing it and doing it right. So. All right. Oh, Sour's, Sour's got secrets. Secret secrets hurt my feelings. That's all right. Yeah, you guys, look at that. We got the officials getting ready. I heard a couple cars fire up back there a minute ago, and now they kind of settled down. They got some great music, and I got to give a shout-out to this announcer here again. He is really, Talented. really good. Very, very good. He's no Hess. No. Just no. kidding. This hey, guy's good. I'm sorry. I'm just sending, sending shout-outs to Hess. Yeah. He ain't nobody. There ain't no. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. All right, man. Here we go. We got our feature coming on out here. Car number one that's coming on out there is 152. He came through the Constellation. That is Alex Walls. Nice. The 6E car coming out is Doug Emery. Beautiful looking car. Beautiful looking car. Yeah, managed to keep it clean in the heat. Only received minimal damage. 19, looking for a 19. That had to have been a Conci car. 19, Josh McClure. 91. Or, yep, 91. 91, Cameron Wilson. Yeah, that's in this, um, I'm going to say early 70s, right? Because of how the bumper, like, is molded or into the body. Like, what is it? Mid-70s is when the bumper was no longer molded into the body, right? Yeah, well, that's totally different. That's a different bumper for that year car, right? I'm there. talking about the back bumper. Oh, the back bumper, yeah. You know how, like, in the yep. early 70s, like, the, it, uh, it was in. Yep, like, molded it, it in was a little a shape. bit more. It was, like, a, a shape, not a straight line, you know what I mean? Looking for 24 coming out here. 24, uh, Javier Orzoco. Wow, look at that thing beat in. The number 30 of Christian Orzoco. He's got a hot dog on there. <laughs> the 100 that made it as a mad dog. He is carrying the Dylan Peterson. He's got the camera, right? He is the cameraman. Back seat, Bobby camera, and Devil Dog transmission. What was that 88 car, right? Yep, Doodle, Doodle 88. Zach Kennis. The number 50, Jason Yamato. The 33 and Nathan Holt coming in. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a 35. Gasso, no, I'm misspelling the name. Isaac, I think. I don't see 35. What the heck? Uh, it would say good times. 
Oh, there it is. Good times. Isaac Fergasso. I was almost close. You were there, right there. 007, <laughs> Dave Aggie. Eight eight six. Mm hmm. Eight eight six. Sergio Ramirez. With the, with the, the one third car of no. Mason Chan. No. No. Sergio's already stuck. The sixteen junior car. They got some excavators. Robert Bright. The 26 car at Jeff Halfley. The 31 of Brian Holt coming in. Oh, look at the TSO on the back of 16 JR. Oh, it folded perfect. The thing is beautiful. Yeah. Nice 76 X right there. That is true right there. Good job, Bobby. The 31, we already set a Brian Holt right there. I think the Holt family has three of them out there. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines are pumping, dumping in time. The green light flashes, the fire go up, turning and burning. Yeah, I love it, you know? Ah, $10,000 on the line right now. Shout out to Dirth, Steven. Josh Walters. <laughs> Everybody's making fun of my burnt head. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I'll be fine. I'm a landscaper and a poor decision maker. <laughs> Is that 30 that just pulled out there? But I'll get a hat for tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. 83 coming through the Concy. Jesus Campos. Here comes that 61. That 61 made it as the Mad Dog coming out of the first heat. Uh, Joshua Babb. I don't. I feel like they're not bothering putting cars on this side right here. No, they're staying out of that hole, no doubt about it. Can't see what that suey is. Oh, no, wait, they're doing it. They're, oh, oh, no, wait, they're, okay, I see what they're doing. They're, they're just, they're moving four cars down. Some of these guys that don't have roof signs can't see what they got there for a number. Number 38 just pulled in. He, he, moved, he took his roof side off and moved Don his Campos. duck. Post. He got a duck up there. That's the second duck I've seen out here. The 77 mark here. Coming around the back side, the 13X car of Lauren Chitwood, the second. Hoffman Fabrication in the 44 car. That is Gary Moore. Oh, oh. The 33 car pulling in of Holt. That is Nathan Holt. This is going to be a great feature. All right, I'm setting it. I'm setting the clock. There it is. Get that thing set up and ready to go. We got the 3X car that pulled in her. Uh, the 3X car, a uh, Bob Arndt. <laughs> the number seven car of Aaron Hoffman. <laughs> The number 28 of Kyle Sinninger.
Car number 34, driven by Brian Sandinger. Bill. Last sentence. There we go. Looks like we are going to be closing that gate, and that's what we have right there is the max car count right here. This is it. This is what we've all been waiting for. This is what everybody has worked so hard for, making it to the show, making it to the dance, and right here it is, the feature at 2023 Spring Extreme right here in Yuba City, California. All right, Tiger. This is where it all comes to for $10,000. And the right person buying beer after this one, we are going to become best friends. You know it. All right, you guys. This. Thank you so much for following one. us and watching. Let's and derby. Let's, let's derby. 5.33, go. Oh, nose to nose. Dig in right away. Don't do that, boys. Yeah, stay out of the dirt. There it is, Backseat Bobby Cam, Devil Dog Transmission. Thank you so much for your continued support and sponsorship. I love seeing Bobby's face on the screen. Yes. Here we go. Oh! Whoa! Oh, bad spot. They are going to be buried right there. Yeah, they're going to be stuck. Dang it, what a bummer. What a bummer. That's all right. They got friends. There you go. Big bumper on that track on the back of 38. Just kind of dangling there. Looks yeah. like it might be off. Here comes here. Nice shot. Right there in front of Good us. Good shot by the forest. Tribute to his dad car. Tribute to Bobby Carr. Whoa, he's going up. Oh, he saved it. That roof saved him from going all the way up and over that car. Certainly did. Stay out of the dirt. Oh, you're in the, get out of that spot. Dylan Peterson with that cam, backseat Bobby cam right there. Beautiful shot, come right in. 007 kind of been stuck down there in that yellow and blue car. Finally free. Head on a swivel, because here we go. Got red, a red flag. flag. Got that a bumper must have. Oh, there's a spring there's right a spring there by right Stacy. There's a spring on the ground. Hey, yo, red flag. Now, am I supposed to push pause at red flags? You should. But I'm not going to. Oh, I see. I, you so didn't, now, now the rules are in Jason's favor. <laughs> you didn't I set the it. rules up. I to get do. it. <laughs> 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 well, first off, we're only two minutes in. That lemonade from that stand back there is actually really good. It's refreshing. Oh. We got giant buckets of water back in the van. I'll chug one of those when we're done. Yeah. I've, hey. I've enjoyed my first day oh, back. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, you guys, I want you to remember what this track looks like today. Right here, right now, remember what this track looks like with all this excitement sitting on it. And just think tomorrow, it is going to be a whole different beast out here. It's going to be a whole different track, a whole different atmosphere of what's going on and the excitement and the energy that's going to be here in these grandstands tomorrow. That's right. Join us tomorrow for something interesting and new. Mud bogs. In tough trucks. Tough trucks. All right, we got the Ohio guys back on the wall. Uh, I hope Skinny's watching. Let's count it down, buddy. Three, two, come on. One. Derby! Let's derby! Whoa, that sounded good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, whatever, 50. 50's yep. got a nice sounding motor. Nice and crisp. 
Yeah. Got the rear end Ooh. of the car is folded in really nice there. There we go, Maxi Bobby Cam giving you a little action right close on the track. There it is, what a nice shot. We got a red flag. We got we got officials running. We got officials running. Something's going. Red flag, red flag. They're like, stop moving. Oh, they just straight ripped it off. Yep. He's like, they 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 said it last time too. He got warned and warned and warned. So it, that's that's kind of a bummer there. But they're trying to get 007 there. And trying to figure out what the situation was there. Not cool. All right, let's get back to Derby. Go. There it is, back in Derby World. Dude, he ripped the stick off that car and it's still moving. 59 is still derbying and they took the stick off the car. We don't know exactly what's happening. We're just assuming they're talking about stuff. No, they're stopping it. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. The number 19 in front of us lost that wheel. They're making him get out of the car. The uh, driver, Brian Silvera, the 59 car is being counted or called out for driving underneath the red flag is what they're calling it as. It's not safe. Yep. Yeah. I watched the driver at your show get kicked out for that. He's still on punishment. The officials are not having it. No, they're uh, They're like, hold on, hold on, Wolfman's out second. there. Yep. Hold oh. on, Wolfman's out there. Whoa. Oh. You don't like it? Show one to the back? Yeah. And we're back. Wolfman just got a mouthful of dirt. Undertaker in this galaxy is tough in the front end. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's our, our camera's flying across the track. Just going end to end. We got some great action right here in front of us, you know. Yeah, it is. Six E at Doug Emery right here. Got a nice clean car just sitting there. And 31 of the Undertaker. Brian is they're just bumping nose to nose there. Red flag again. I want you to know there was more red flags in this than there was at the most wanted heat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there was. <laughs> Ooh, that bumper looks heavy. That's a two-manner. Oh, he got out. Our mad dog, 61. Josh Babb. Nice run out there. All right, we still got a driver on the track. Oh.
There we go, red flags, we're back to Demolition Derby. Yeah, that soft spot's moving. Yeah, it's working out a little further away from Make, the cars. I making its that. way, it's bringing its way towards the middle. That 13 next, a Loring uh, Chitwood is looking really good there. Ooh. Ooh. Nice shot right on the front wheel there of the 31 car. Chitwood hit Undertaker pretty good right there. 007 with a head of steam. Oh, nice shot. Right, the action's kind of moved at either end. Yeah, it is. It's kind of split up. I think this is a nice set of rules. These cars are bending up just the way you want them to be done after this. No taking them home. 88 Doodle comes right on in there and throws that shot on the 31 right in front of us. Nice shot. Yeah, I saw, I saw Doodle back in the corner there. Uh, -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, that car gets going fast. Peterson there in the 100 with the Bob backseat Bobby Cam. That is looking really good. That is Dylan Peterson. He is doing great damage there. There it is, right there it is. Backseat Bobby Cam, Devil Dog Transmission. Thank you so much. Oh. Ooh, you want to get out of there, though. He's in a bad spot. There you go. There you go. Get out of there. there. Looks like our buddy Hare is fighting some steering. Doodle has something happening here, unable to really get some traction. Oh, the tire's spinning inside the wheel. Or I mean, the wheel's spinning inside the tire, my bad. Yes. Ooh. Oh, what a shot right on the wheel. Nice shot yeah, there. And he was fully spinning too. Yep. They're telling Doodle to break off. Who's the number 50? Uh, number 50, Jason Yamato. Wow, good shot all the way down there. I say his name and he sets it on the gas. Yeah. All that motor, that was Jason. That 3X down here was Bob Arndt throwing on some hard hits down here. I think the 007 found himself up on that wall. Done for the evening. Yeah. We're 13 minutes in. I was completely wrong. <laughs> They're doing it. These guys are putting on one hell of a show for you guys at home because it's a great show here. 
I can't believe what it is sitting in your couch watching it, in your shop watching it with a refrigerator of cold beverages right there. Great friends sitting next to you for free 99 Family lifestyle, that's what we call it. This is a track shop family lifestyle. You know. I guess I'm from the East Coast where the features are two and a half hours. <laughs> Settle in. Not here in California. No, they're, sir. They're like, we're ready. We want that 10 grand now. These cars are putting on a show. I don't even know which way to watch my eyeballs. There's still so many cars out there wrecking each other. Right there in front of us, you're seeing that what's going on in the action. That's a nice, solid part of the track, and everybody knows that they don't have to worry about getting stuck right there. A couple of those holes are getting bigger and stretching out, so you got to be careful where you stretch your legs. Yeah, the cars are starting to bounce whenever they're passing, like going through these things. They're getting some good dancing. One third, I think the back end's used up. I think we're done, starting to. I think that is the only metric car still out there running. There was only a couple of them to begin with. Oh, I hear some popping. Come on. Oh, there's the other duck. So there's two ducks out there. 3X has a duck on the car. A 3X of Bob Arndt is looking really good. Mark here is still looking good. You got the one third car of Jason Chan out there. We got a red flag. All right, up. red flag, red flag. I saw the inspectors all looking at one another. You can tell when they're talking to one another. Oh, they're checking on Peterson for his safety. Oh, he took yeah, his, he helmet, took his off. helmet off. And done. Back, backseat Bobby Cam has come to a halt. We can watch from there. We got something on fire down the other end. That's transmission. That is a dark transmission. All right, they're letting everyone know who's on the clock. I love, uh, look at all the coaching going on from the everyone standing. Oh, yeah. There's 10 grand on the line here. There is. There's some beer drinking on the line right there. And if they can help their friend win that one, they know they're going to get around on the, on the house. Here we go. We're back to Derby. Oh, Jeez. 50. Wow. That's that motor I was telling you about. Something's in there screaming. And that shot really changed uh, how, like that really turned the nose up on that car. Yes, it did. It also changed that attitude in the 152 car right there. Yeah. That 152 is driven by Alex Wazel. Oh! oh. That, that front end really became exposed and shut it off. Hit him and shut it off. Must have took the uh, distributor cap out, you think? That's usually when I know I'm dead, when the distributor cap pops off. Red flag, red flag, red flag. All right. All right, as we're sitting here looking down. We're All right, he's climbing out. Something. The 24 car. But he really, he put 50 in a hurt spot because now he's stuck, he's out of the car, and he's got the nose of that Galaxy buried in the front end of that other car. That puts 50 in a bad spot. We'll see what he does here. Got to be careful. There's a, At least that's the soil down there is nice and firm. And we're back. Woo! Hair still in it. One-third still in it. Yep.
Well, 50, what are you gonna do? Oh, 32X got out of that wiggle over there. He's still going, I see. Nice. I thought he was out there. 3X came down here in some open air. One third sitting there right in front of us. You got the 32X coming down to see where the solid ground is. 27 of Mark Harris right there. Yeah, he pulled Ooh. a door. He pulled his door right in front of one third. One, one third had to stop on the brakes. That one third of Jason Chan's doing good in that old square body. Tires are rubbing pretty hard into that eight, into the uh, into yeah. the dog leg. Yeah, yeah, they, that last hit really shoved every, all the metal in right into the back. It's on the tire; you can just see it shaking. You can hear the motor lugging down as he tries to put it into gear. Fifty still has got the stick on the car. I don't see much going to happen though, but stick is still up. So that means fifty would have got fifth. Unless I see someone else that I don't see. Oh, hair, get out of that soft dirt. What have you done? No, 50 would have got sixth Six. place. Now Mark is stuck in fifth place. He went over and helped 152 all gave him a love tap, got him out of there, and now he's stuck. Well, he's probably waiting for his buddy to figure out. They're not gonna let him help. Nope. They're like, pick up the pace. go stick him in the dirt well we got a cluster now all right we got a flag hair's out he's done Mm. This is a good feature. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm enjoying watching it. Well, the whole thing of it is, is now we got to see where everybody's stuck together here, you know, because the 152 car of uh, Alex um, uh, Wolves came on in there and made that aggressive hit, bumped the one third car out of there of Jason Chan. And the 3X car is not hardly making any hits right there to Bob Arndt. The 152 is stuck. Uh-oh.
This is hard for the officials right here. They got to see who's making the last hits because you got four cars right there. You got to figure out places. Four, three, two, one. First place right now for the hard hits, 152 in my eyes, but you got three other cars you got to make a decision on. And you got to hope like heck that somebody is watching. All right, we're waiting. We're and waiting. I, I can't even say anything. I'm just anxiously waiting. Yeah, I don't know what what how to do it. 24, 24 minutes. What do they want to do? Okay, we're stopping it. All right, we're going to see what happens here. Yeah, way to go, demo drivers. There it is, right there. 152 coming through the consolation. Yeah. Alex Walls. <laughs> Look at that excitement. That's what Demolition Derby is <laughs> about, right there, boys and girls. Nice. Congratulations. That was, awesome. that was so cool. Oh, are they coming to us? Yeah, no. Are they coming to us for this replay? Somebody was watching it. All right, Jason Sauer. I think I won dinner from you, Peaches. Did you? 58 from 33 is 25. Yes, sir, Bob. It was a dollar, not dinner. <laughs> Sounds good, Decker. Just kidding. I got dinner. <laughs> All right. You know what? I, uh, I, I'm, I'm absolutely stoked on, on Demolition Derby opening the season 2023 right here at TSL at Yuba City, California. This is the real deal right here. What a great, great show this was. I mean, can you say anything bad, Jason? No, I cannot. I really enjoyed myself. I was, you know, you know, I'm kind of like naive. I didn't know what to expect. You know what I mean? I came here thinking things, and they did not disappoint. Uh, the drivers, I think a great show happened today. And I think yeah. Demolition Derby uh, should be proud. Uh, nobody got hurt. I didn't see a single fire. Uh, the fire company didn't have to come out at all no. today. No, no. Uh, you know, we had a couple rollovers. They were a little scary. Um, but everybody put on some go a good show. And the most, the most one in class went great. Yeah, oh yeah. No, you did great, Moose. So much, Moose. Yeah, right there. That was Moose just stepping through, giving us some thanks and everything like that. So uh, he's bigger yeah. than the car. <laughs> yeah, he's he's large. Thanks, Moose. Have a good one, buddy. That's super cool. Absolutely. Absolutely, and right there, that fine security guard is helping him doing his job and everything like that. Like we said again, we can't we, give thanks we, to them security we guards. We thanks to the security, yep. Yep. Um, That's really cool. He found a sticker. He took it off. Did he? Yes. That's a bummer. <clears throat> that wasn't going to last long. I didn't figure it would, but it sure was fun. because uh, He turned nice perfectly, guys. though. He turned right into the yeah. camera, and uh, we got it right to beside Bob. But I'll tell you what, the thing of it is, uh, security guards here were great, keeping everything under control. They got beer gardens and liquor and everything like that. So it just uh, when you see that, you don't ever think twice about getting in trouble because somebody's going to be there to make sure. Oh, they got uh, they got uh, EMT out there. Really? Yeah. I think you might be having a heat stroke. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I seen him. I seen him go down to the ground. I thought he was kneeling down, but. 
<clears throat> the EMTs are just out there. They're double checking to make sure that everything is okay. That's uh, that is a huge thanks to our first responders right there. Just the security guards and everything like that. First responders are always the most important ones here to keep everybody safe. Mm hmm. <clears throat> it's beautiful. I hope Blaine feels proud. Yeah. I hope he feels proud. I hope Demolition Derby feels proud. Yeah. I think we had a great day. I want to thank everybody for watching Track Shot Live. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing. Thank you for all the 76 X's that you put in the comments. Yeah. Um, yep. You know we we love that. We love Bob. Um, you know, we were – it's a heavy heart. We're not having Bob here. But we had a great day, and uh, so I'm sure that he would want us to have a great day. You know? Yeah. Nope, absolutely, and that is exactly it. So uh, – this is one of many shows that we'll be doing and and uh, enjoying, and and it's all the camaraderie that everybody gave us. It's uh, thank you so much for it. We've let's, had. Let me see your. Let's yeah. Put your arm up there. Wait, wait. wait oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, it works. It's, it works. <laughs> that's my so that's my new pigment for the season. Red. <laughs> nice. Red. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we had a great day in California today. Yeah, absolutely. started early with the, all the chickens in the uh, in the parking lot, and uh, here we are. That was a there was a fine group of peckers outside of our window this morning. I mean, that was uh, they were enjoying it. They're uh, giving us some noise and everything like that. So, I would say uh, we have one more day of fun here, Jason. I would say uh, I don't know. We could probably say goodbye. Thank you, Track Shot Live World, uh, Track Shot Live family. All right, seriously, it's free because of y'all. It's free because all the sponsors, you guys get to watch for free because Bobby worked so hard in getting sponsors to make sure it was free. Yeah, absolutely. And don't forget, you know, we do have the friends and family reel that is coming on. We've got some awesome friends and families that have thrown out some sponsorship that want to be part of it and see their name go across the bottom of the screen. And uh, we're going to be having that coming up at the next show and everything like that. So um, with that being said, you know, Jason hit it on the, on the nuts. We love Peace. you guys.
you get both of me. <laughs> I just videoed it. I'm gonna send it. Everyone had to be mature, be butts and nuts, and then there's Bobby. Fucking Bobby. Bobby don't like us. 